Like, what's up, buddy? The AO show. How we doing? We're doing good, man. I'm doing good. I feel great today. Holy crap. It's amazing what a good night's sleep can do for you. You know what? Dude, it is amazing how much people will interact with this t-shirt when you're in a casino. It's crazy. I, I, more than any other shirt I've ever worn in my life, people like, like, like say, dude, you know, like point at the shirt. For real, don't be a nit. Or they'll they'll ask, what the heck's a nit? Cool story. And then you get to pull a mirror out of your pocket and just show it to them. What's up, Mike? Yeah, clean up your mess over here, big guy. How you doing? Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of these cops. You're killing me over here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got half the garbage. On my side? Yeah, I put it all on your side. All on your side. Here we go. We're going live. It looks like they're pulling the balls out to lag. We got the first matchup today. Let's go. Tony, T-Rex, Johan, Carlo, Black, Tiger, Beato. This is winner side action of the U.S. Open 2024 One Pocket Championship. Winner of this faces the winner of Shane Van Boning and Sergio Rivas. And I got to tell you, listen, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But if we end up with an SVB Johan match... Ooh. We'll probably just put it. You know where we'll put it? Mike? I'm going to be front row, son. No, we'll probably put it like where we want to put it. We'll probably put it like way back mm. here, right? Put it over here. In the back? Yeah, yeah. Probably put that match over there. Table where the, 30, where the table. On the seven-foot table back there where the don't lights e are off? Don't even turn on the light for him. Yeah, uh, okay. Don't even turn on the light for him. That would be We'll see what happens, though, guys. Uh, this <sighs> this will be a tightly contested match. I mean, Tony's going to have to pull out the moves, I think, because obviously Carlo Beato, Carlo Beato can... Do some mean things on the table. We know how he's pocketing the ball. We know how he's banking the ball. You're obviously going to give the edge to moving to Tony. Probably the edge in banking as well. But I tell you what, you can't leave him uh, any kind of starter because he runs ball so good. Uh, very intelligent player. Really underrated because you don't get to see Carlo playing a lot of one pocket. But whenever he does come here to the States, he usually uh, is, is consistent. So... Um, I'm, I'm excited for this matchup. Man. Yeah, me too. When is the tournament expected to be finished? Will it be going on? <sighs> will it go into tomorrow? 100% we will go into tomorrow. We are planning uh, to get down to the final four so that we have five, sorry, three matches on the TV table tomorrow. That would be fourth place semifinal and the final match. So um, that's the plan anyway. Obviously, yesterday we had a number of matches go for, you know, four hours. But as you move towards the end of the tournament, you get typically cool. better players i didn't get out of here till 9 30 last night and you typically get better players towards the end of the tournament but then you also get people tightening up a bit because and i got here at 9 30 uh, got here at 9 30 left at 9 30 well and that's just a normal last normal two matches day. what time do you, what time do you get out of here 4 30 5 all right here we go yeah. tony wins the lag it's a race to four on the winner side race to three on the one loss side all the matches are firing right now you guys can check out the live scoring of games. I'm not sure if they're keeping up with the balls, but you can check out the live scoring of games on digitalpool.com. Search U.S. Open One Pocket Championship and check out all the action from there. Over on Windows Open, I got SVB versus Sergio Rivas. That is live and streaming. But for now, we're kicking off Tony Chohan versus with Carlo the Beato. The one ball comes out at a funny line, but he keeps it keeps it close enough to the stack. Cue ball comes up a little short. Carlo's going to have uh, looks like a little window here. He'll have a return for sure. He might be able to. I kind of like coming off the face of the five if I can and kind of spinning it behind that that orange ball up there. You know, if uh -huh. you can, if you can get enough of it, you got to be careful not to sell out a return bank. But it you know, depends. the shot that that guys like Joey Jabron, uh, Tony's friend from Sacramento, and Tony sometimes I would see shoot is the kick here. That's a good. If you can stick and then it, you yeah. get rid of the thirteen, and the cue ball wants to go back in here. That's an aggressive, very aggressive. I mean, it's a little risky. you got to make sure well, you hit exactly how much of the 13 you're looking at. But he's looking at your shot, it looks like. If you're Carlo, I don't mind that shot. You know, he's going with the soft kick, which I don't mind this, but you just got to be careful. Yeah, take a foul. That's fine. That's a beautiful shot. Very effective. You're not selling out the bank, which is smart. You're you're basically respecting Tony's break here. He didn't put a coin up. I'm going to put the negative did one, he? but did he glance the 13 on the way in? I don't think he did. I don't think he did either, but uh, we'll see here how the players react. I'm just going to throw it on the scoreboard. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he was just stepping back to grab something. Oh, Ooh, Tony's going to lose the cue ball right out of the gate, and that negative one isn't really going to matter at all. Carlo does put up the coin, acknowledging the foul. For those of you new to one pocket, if you don't have any balls in the tray, you owe a ball. So we're racing to eight balls altogether. 
But if you foul, you got to put one back. Carlos got a starter here. He's going to try to dig on this cue ball and get behind the four. It's all about trying to get position off of this first ball to have any kind of run. We may as well acknowledge, since this is such a highlight uh, marquee matchup for a tournament like this, we may as well acknowledge the general rules of one pocket because we'll probably get some new viewers watching the video on demand afterwards. But uh, one pocket, we play where the person who breaks, who in, by the way, I need to change this song. This song is so annoying to me. One second. Here we go. Um, yeah, so the general rules of one pocket, the breaker, who in this game was Tony Chohan, breaks towards the pocket that they want to select. So Tony Chohan broke this way and uh, didn't want to draw the second line there. Uh, the uh, opponent, his opponent, Carlo Biotto, shooting into this pocket. Real simple rules. First person to get eight balls in their pocket wins. Doesn't matter how the ball gets there. If you make it yourself, if your opponent makes it for you, as long as there was no foul on the same shot, it counts as a point. Um, so first person to eight points wins. Very simple rules, extremely complex strategy to make sure that you get the most out of every shot. He's looking to roll up here, make the four, have a bank. He wants to get beneath it, which he did. Good shot there. No threat of selling out here if you go for this bank shot, and that's what Carlo's looking at. He's going to try to see what he can what he can have afterwards. Maybe a bank on that pink ball up there, Collins? You don't know how to turn off your ring or something? My bad. I'm new. I'm new at this. Like rookie mistake number one. Oh boy, okay. I thought it was gonna be a little low, but he made it. He's got a shot on the five here, and it this is gonna be um uh a test to see how aggressive Carlo wants to be. If he wants to fire this with inside and go into the pack and try to open up balls here, or if he's gonna play more conservative. It looks like he's going with a more conservative approach. I actually like the not making the ball right there because then you especially if it gets deep in the pocket, Tony's forced to shoot at the kick. And the kick is tough, right? Well, I think he got five out of that, which would put him at four. Let me double check the ball count here. Let's see here. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh. thirteen. He's got two. Yeah. Oh, he's got two. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's possible to miss this kick, and that's why I was saying if it's deep in the pocket, this is uh, this is it's better for Carlo to have not made that ball because now he can use that ball to reposition himself uh, for a better move on the next shot. He spotted the ball because he owed a, he owed it from the foul that he took right out the gate at the very beginning of the after the break of Tony. Carlo just kicked two rails behind the ball, but he didn't make a legal contact, meaning he owed a ball. So because. He owed a ball to start with. After his ending, he spotted a ball that now he has in his tray. Watching from Botswana. Okay. Another one from Vietnam. Nice. Bring it in, guys. Great cue ball. Look at this with the bridge. Masterful here. Don't want to go behind the 15, you don't want actually. You too much. He, got, he bit too much on that one. Woo. He knows it. Now you just got to be careful here. You want to have... You want to have soldiers on your side, but you don't want to sell out a return bank. So I don't think Carlo's going to go too aggressive here. Man, if he wasn't so close to the 15, you just punch the 15 into the stack and put the cue ball on the rail. But well, I think he was trying to play for that 2-3 combo. Well, yeah, I mean, but, obviously. But, but, uh, um, but, but right now that he's in this spot, it's real right. tough to get the action that you want on the cue ball and also get balls moving towards your hole and get a rail. Yeah, I just – I'm, I'm – I know how good Tony banks the ball, you know, so I don't want yeah. I don't want to give him an inch, especially being in this position. He's jacking up here. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. And he's going to Got to get some speed here. He's going to move balls to his side, very well controlled here, keeps him off the 11 ball, which is massive. And he's back in well not back in the game. He's he's in control of the game on Tony's break, which is which is really important also. I think Tony's just going to try to kick one rail at this 11 ball. Maybe feather off the 2. Coming one rail. That's a foul. Table is banking. He's That's kicking so long. That's two kicks in a row from Tony that he's kicked long. So if you guys notice, he came in, he hit two rails, then clipped the 11, but the 11 or the cue ball never made contact with the rail after that, meaning it's an illegal hit. Tony owes two. That's why you see two coins there by Tony's hole. Yeah, I like keeping it real simple here. I like keeping it real simple. Just move this 12 out into your banking lane up here. Get the cue ball real nice and close to the stack, maybe. Ooh, this looks like a dead one. I don't know about a dead one, but if it's it close. Is, if, it is. If, if it's close and Tony can make it go, he will 
I don't think he go. can get a go from that angle. He was trying to, Carlo was trying to bury him there in that pack, and if he let him see this 11 ball, that's a, that's a mistake. That is a mistake, and Tony banks the ball as good as anybody on earth. Great shot there from Tony. We're about to find out if that ball is dead because he will be going after it. There's he, a big, would, there's a big yeah. enough gap between that 15 ball uh, and the two where even if it's not dead wired, you can try to figure out a way to make uh, things happen. He's right. looking at it right now. You know, I don't, I don't mind hitting full on the 14 and just sending the six ball over towards my side. Yeah, if I can't yeah, get lock him up on the 10. Right, just yeah, leave that cheap ball there, make him uncomfortable, have a ball on your side, and still have some threats. But Tony's going with this 7-1-3. Try to come back down table here. Wow, what is he? Oh, my goodness. Hit the, hit the, hit the record button, son. <laughs> Look at that shot. The creativity from Tony Chohan. Yeah. We don't have the record button, man. No. Remember we got rid of it because it was causing crashes. What? Yeah, I gotta fix it for the next stream. I don't I don't have the solution yet. For the next uh next event. Good morning, Michael. M and something that isn't M. What's going on, buddy? Next event. This is our last event. And I'm talking about the next like the Lukazi West State tour. Ah. Yeah. We'll that have to next go out. event. We'll have to go in and uh uh oh. Alright, I gotta hop parse on out a, the clips. I gotta hop on a call. Okie doke. Yeah, three consecutive fouls is indeed a loss of game. That's correct. No obvious shots here for Carlo Beato. No obvious uh, escapes for or aggressive uh, positional moves. N n nothing here that lays extremely favorable. So, Carlo, generally in these... Generally, in these moments, it's better to do something simple than to try to manufacture something. And that's what he does. Just real simple. Puts the 11 back in the stack. One ball underneath the 7. Yeah, nice shot there. <clears throat> Sorry, just got a couple messages had to respond to. Uh, Tony using this 12 ball to stop the cue ball. Oh, wow, that's real nice leaving the cue ball jacked up over the 12. When trying to play, when you leave a guy up table, a lot of the times, a lot of the time from here, the, the return is to just come off of this side of the 14 and lay the cue ball underneath the stack or up against another ball that's in this area. Um, but when you're over another ball, it becomes really, really, really difficult to judge the speed correctly. So um, Carlos like looking at this bank, like he's not going after it, but maybe laying it up down here. Cause it doesn't go to the pocket. It's a double kiss if you go at the pocket, but um, I guess he was just glancing at it. Maybe found something in the stack right there. And if he's if he's playing the shot that I was just talking about, it's real good to leave the cue ball like maybe here so that the return banks are not easy. Ooh, that's even better actually. Leaves him way out uh, where the seven ball is not really bankable. I think he was trying to leave him in here. 12, however, in a spot where Tony could probably put it into the stack and remove it from his opponent's position. He's going after this 11. Must be fairly free. 
Overcut. Cue ball in the stack. Wow. He was not trying to make that 11 ball. That was all cue ball. What a move from Tony Chohan. That's called planning ahead right there. Wow, what a shot from Carlo. Getting the nine real close to his pocket, and it's covered by the one ball. Tony can't really get there, I think, without twisting the ball off the rail. Tony's shorts are extra long today. Uh, another great shot from Tony as well. Moving another soldier to his side. Look at Tony's position now. Tony's position very strong. He has a, a ball close to his pocket on the short rail, a ball fairly close to his pocket on the long rail, essentially saying to Carlo, you better put your cue ball. Carlo needs his cue ball either here or protected by the stack. And, and that's the only place he can go. And if, if Carlo goes with the, the, the option of using the, the stack to protect the ball, then uh, it gives Tony a little bit of freedom, depending on where he leaves him in the stack. Right here, maybe not so good, but uh, Tony gives it gives Tony a lot of freedom to just send balls in, in his direction. <clears throat> this creates a lot of pressure for Carlo, especially since Carlo's got nothing within a diamond and a half of his pocket. So even though the ball count is in favor of Carlo Beato here, I'd say the game is sitting really nice for Tony. If he can keep the pressure high, he's kicking to send more balls. He's looking at the stack like a catcher's mitt. Wow. Maybe just a touch soft there. Yeah, kind of allowing Carlo out of the trap a little bit, but... But can Carlo find a creative way to not only pocket the three ball, but also get rid of a few other balls. It looks like the one's going to go rail first into the three, head towards the nine, maybe clear the nine, and possibly even the 15 out. Depends on how hard he hits it. No, he just goes with the sure make. No power. Relieving a little bit of pressure for Carlo Beato. I'd say the aggression there from Tony... Whoops, what did I do? The aggression there from Tony, as far as offensive aggression, may be costing him just a, a little bit of his positional advantage there. If you have a basic understanding of One Pocket, highly recommend Tom Worth's book, a One Pocket, A Game of Controlled Aggression. It's probably the best book on the market for One Pocket. Great book. I want to watch the Shane match. You can on Windows Open on Facebook.
Uh, Michael, I'd say Molina Mike has been playing one pocket way longer than me. I've only been picking it up over the last year and a half to two years, but um, I try to use general logic to, to move my way through the decision making process. But obviously, these guys, it's so tough to uh, to find your way into their minds because not only are they so creative, but they're so good at executing the shot that they're intending that it gives them a little bit more freedom to shoot a shot that would otherwise be extremely irresponsible for the rest of us. <laughs> I like going a little greedy here, using the 15 to move the nine and, and kind of playing like a stun run through to get the cue ball closer to the, to the long rail. The reason I say it's greedy is because you gamble on a chance of double kissing the 15 ball with the cue ball. Um, Carlo going with a pragmatic approach of just feathering a ball towards his hole putting the cue ball on the short rail. I guess the, the problem with my shot is, especially against a guy like Tony, I'm just now realizing, is you're going to leave multiple banks. I guess with my shot, you probably have to try to get the cue ball down here, which maybe wasn't really possible. I'm gonna check, make sure my volume levels are good on the music. One second, guys. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Since books were mentioned, are there any recommendations on other types? 14 and 1, 10 ball in particular. 14 and 1, a really good book, is called uh, 99 Critical Shots in Pool. Uh, you can use the first probably f 10 to 15 shots of that to get a really good, uh, like, strong structural base for your game by setting those shots up as drills. Uh, and then the rest of the book, there's a ton of shots in 99 Critical Shots in Pool that are in reference to 14 and 1. Uh, and a lot of that translates to one pocket, um, and a lot of it also translates to 10 ball, but uh, 10 ball, the best thing for 10 ball is just watching pros play. Carlo going with the same option again, laying the cue ball on the short rail. When you play this shot frequently, what tends to happen uh, is all the balls on your side of the table end up going way up table and tying up uh, so that all your banking lanes are closed. And so Tony in this position is just trying to make sure that he is kind of protecting what he has on this side of the table by maybe either leaving the cue ball long in a position where none of these balls are really bankable to, uh, to Carlo's hole. Oh, this is... Uh, I think he caught that ball a little thinner than he was intending, and, and Carlo might have a bank here where maybe he can leave Tony, like, double and tripled up on all these balls. And what I mean by that is a lot of times in one pocket, if your opponent has a lot of traffic in front of their hole, you try to leave them when you're going offensively, leave them in a position where you the opponent would be forced to shoot a combo. Um, narrow window here where the nine ball is potable between the nine and the uh, or the eleven and the rail. That's what Carlo's looking at right now to make sure that he doesn't. If he does go offensive with this one to try to create some pressure, he doesn't. He doesn't leave any type of easy escape for Tony Chohan. He left him locked up behind the seven. It'd be better if this ball doesn't go in, but the ball goes in. He's a little bit annoyed, but he does have a shot on the seven. He kind of put himself in a trap where he's forced to shoot at this seven ball. Good news being, there's a lot of traffic here. But if he shoots at the seven and misses it, he's going to leave Tony in a position where he can he can uh, put the vice down and, and probably fire at his hole and leave Carlo in a, in a bad spot. So let's see how Carlo does here. Collins, forgive what's probably a dumb question. How crazy do you think it would be that give ratings based on a game on this game since Fargo just kind of blankets all pool? Tony would be higher. Uh, my my general thought with Fargo is it would be extremely useful if you had two separate Fargo rates, same like logarithmic uh, data analysis, but have a, a rating for for one pocket separately from the rest of the games because one pocket has uh, a lot of like an entirely different skill set. Is, is extremely valuable in one pocket. 
And so what you'd end up finding is there would be some players that would be maybe rated 700 in one pocket, but maybe like 550 in 9-ball, 10-ball, and 8-ball. Is he going to make the ball? It's real close. Goes in. Put Carlo in a pretty good spot here. I mean, he should be able to go after this, uh, either the 8 or the 10. I mean, it depends on on the, how you can treat the cue ball after shooting at the 8. Uh, it would be really interesting to see, you know, if some players have like a, are like a 700 in, in all the other games, but maybe they're like a 600 in one pocket because maybe they're just a real good shot maker. Good cue ball. Unfortunate, the eight ball pops out and is left for a bank for Tony Chohan. Is it bankable or does it leave a kiss? Tony's already down on the ball. It's a good bank for Tony. If Tony makes this bank, he's liable to run out from here. And he doesn't. The bank goes long. Again, cue ball escapes him. Leaves a shot on the two ball. Carlo's going to go after it. Carlo's probably going to go after this ball. It's a high percentage to pocket the ball. Tough to leave the cue ball in a favorable position, favorable position on the next shot, though. See what Carlo does. See what Carlo does with his cue ball. Looks like he's winding up for something. No, he just trickles it in. Cue ball behind the other balls. Leaves a shot on the eight. Carlo Biato, ladies and gentlemen, is probably going to run out from here. He needs two balls. Got a good angle on the eight ball to maybe try to nudge the six and get a shot on the ten. Or nudge the nine. He does come after the six, and he gets there. A little kiss off the 15 and still gets there. Nice shot, Carlo Biato, going to win him the first game. Tony Chohan a little frustrated. That bank went long again. So the three uh, what you might call blunders from, from Tony Chohan in this game all resulted from the table either kicking long, right? There was this kick right here that he clicked this rail instead of hitting the ball, went long. There was the kick where he was kicking this way at a ball over here, and it went long and left the Carlo a shot. And then finally, the bank where he tried to bank this ball went long, hits here, and misses the pocket, leaving Carlo a shot. Also, the cue ball slid out above the ball that was sitting right here and uh, loses Tony Chohan the rack. Carlos break, not very effective. Cue ball a little bit too high. Leaves Tony a very easy escape. Um, pretty routine. Carlos going to try to put Tony in the stack here without moving the 15 ball much. He doesn't want to move the 15 ball much, but he wants to protect it. Cue ball, too far, too fast, too furious. And now Tony can use this 13 ball to move the 15 out. I think he's got a really good angle here for the 13 to go two rails off the backside of the 15 this way. Send the 15 into the stack. Depends on how aggressive he wants to be because if you go with that shot and it doesn't pan out well and the cue ball doesn't end up in a good spot, uh, you might leave a return bank on the 15. The conservative approach is to just bank the 13 around the 15. He hits the 15. See, cue ball escapes him a little bit, and he does leave a return bank on the 13 ball here. It's a little kissy, actually. I don't know if you can get the cue ball and the 15 ball out of the way at the same time. I think if you miss the kiss with the cue ball, it hits the 15. And the 15 then kisses into the 13. That might be what he's looking at right now. Because normally on these kissy shots, you kind of got to stun the cue ball as you cross it. 
to get the cue ball out of the way, but the, the 15 ball collision is right there, which would then put the 15 in the place where, of where the cue ball would have been. And there's still a kiss. That's what he's pointing at right now, I think. Let's see if he can judge it. He might just stiff the 13 and, and put the cue ball on the back of the 15. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Just just don't try to pocket the 13. Just bank it long. And then follow the cue ball onto the back of the 15. So you, you've got a soldier right here. You know what I mean? If, the, if you can't miss the kiss. If the kiss is missable... See? See, here we go. Here we go. This is That's where it gets tricky right there. It's real tough to judge. So he missed the kiss with the cue ball, but he banked the 13 short in order to do that. And the 13 went straight into the 15. So really kind of tough to judge th those spots. And, and it gives Tony a chance to, uh, depending on these first two shots, or really the first shot, there you go. Unfortunate for Tony Chohan. Leaving himself with just a bank here. Ball went in Carlo's pocket, so that scores for Carlo. Oops, Car Tony, Tony moved the 13 with his cue. It was only one ball. So Carlo has the option to leave it there or uh, put it back. We can get the camera. We can pull out the camera. I can help him. The 13 ball was somewhere around here. He says leave it. Cue ball fouls only here, guys. Which that means the only time that you can foul by touching a ball is by touching the cue ball or by moving more than one ball. Or if the one ball you did move interferes with the shot at all or crosses the shot line at all, it's a foul. So uh, if you only move one ball, the, your opponent has the option to leave it as it is or force you to put it back where it was. So Carlo decides to leave it where it is, which actually, in in my opinion, might have been a mistake because it's out in play a little bit more, and Tony might be able to bank it back. Or no, sorry, t this is Tony's hole. Never mind. Tony's going to leave that 13 right where it is. Yeah, he could stop the rock on this 11 ball and use the 14 as protection. Kind of overdrawing the ball, drawing the ball there, but the, the two ball... 11 catches the two ball real nicely, and the two ball sits in front of the corner pocket. Yowza. Yo, Daniel Bush in the chat with POV Pool. What is going on, Daniel? All right, Carlo's in a spot here. Carlo's in a spot. And what I mean by a spot is uh, kind of like in, in poker where... The, the the you know a spot in poker is where your decisions will define whether you make money or lose money same thing here carlo in a spot wow really nice shot he got the two ball out and sent the, the 10 ball to his hole off the two that is what i would like to call a positive expected value play that was a really nice shot from from carlo biato to find in that spot a spot, if you will, is an inflection point in the game where the result of that shot could heavily dictate the outcome of the game. Car or Tony's trying to see if this five ball can be used to take the 10 out, but it looks like he's just going to softly kick behind the 10. Just give yourself a little bit of breathing room. A little bit of breathing room, and now Carlo. Carlo never going to shoot the 14 here, right? Too many bad things can happen. But where do you put the cue ball if you use the 10 to move the cue ball? 
is it possible to thin off the bottom of the 10 and go two rails back here without moving the 10 much? Move the 10 a lot, which is, you know, if you can't get the cue ball here, it's good to get that 10 out of here because you don't want to leave any banks in this area. It would be real easy for Tony to score and keep running balls if you don't clear that 10 out. So essentially what Tony did with that soft roll kick was say, okay, Carlo, I'm going to make you take this ball out and give me control of the table for the next decision. Real nice shot. The eight semi free here if you can get to the bottom of the cue ball comfortably. So is the 14. 14's a little bit tougher. Got to watch out for the kiss on the, the this side of the one ball. If you accidentally bank long and twist the ball, because you're trying to pull the cue ball back through this line, right? If you do bank the 14, you're trying to pull the cue ball back through this line. And when you do that, it's easy to miss stroke to the bottom right side of the cue ball, which then throws the 14 this way. And if that happens and you clip this side of the one, it's a game loser because the 14 comes flying in this direction. He was looking at it for a second, but he decides to just move move the 10. This one is really bad for Carlo, by the way, guys. This one is out of play for Carlo, and it impedes so much traffic coming down this way. That if at any point he has like a two-rail bank or something that he could send in that direction and still get the cue ball safe, it'd be good to, you know, if you have a ball coming down this way, clipping the one, making it, coming down to your pocket. But I don't think that is going to come into play in this game the way that the way that these guys are hitting them right now. All these balls are going to say later. I'd say you're on even odds that we end up with a wedge in this quarter of the table. From here. He's pointing at something. I'm not sure what he's pointing at. He's looking at a kick. <laughs> okay. Okay, he says, I've got a dead carom off of the side of the 12 ball towards my hole. I'm going to kick at the 12 and send the 8. But he doesn't hit the 12 thin enough. Did he leave a cut shot on this 8 ball, guys? He needed to catch that 12 way thinner if he wanted the 8 to move at all. He left a cut here. Oh, did I miss? It's zero. What? Negative one. Collins, if it's negative one to negative one, does it go back to zero? Sorry, James Reddick. I was misreading your, your question. Uh, no. No, we are playing true one pocket here. As the rules are dictated on onepocket.org. He's this cue ball to fade the 10. Gets there. Carlo Beato. Man, if he can slide over to this 13 ball or even the 11, imagine. That'd be a real tight cue ball on the 11, though. Why do they keep going to the ball return? I'll show you after this shot. Or I'll show you when Carlo goes to the ball return after this inning. Maybe we need to limit Grubb's power to 10-second timeouts. Has he been abusing his power? Grub says, you guys are really in trouble when I figure out how to do this mod stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Carlo, trying to play his cue ball into a tight window, but uh, doesn't really pan out. Now he's just got to get rid of this two ball or thin the cue ball, put it on the backside of the two. He says, I'll just create some space. So you can see there, Carlo just reached down into the return, and this is how they're keeping score, guys. They're not relying on my scoreboard. They're keeping score themselves. It's up to the player to make sure that they know who is in the lead. Tony going pretty aggressive right here, I think. This is really aggressive. High risk, high reward. If he misses that seven ball and the 14 ball trickles down near the two, Carlo's in a ton of pressure, under a ton of pressure.
Big shot here from Carlo Beato. This is a game winner if he makes it, possibly. I mean, if he makes this shot and holds his cue ball tight, the rest of this rack should be manageable. But you got to make this ball. If you don't make it, you sell out. Ah, kisses off the bottom side of the two. He was trying to go flat into the two to come up with another shot, but doesn't quite work out. You know, the 311 combo doesn't look so bad from here. Or even the, the sticking behind the three. That's what he decides to do, sticking behind the three. Real nice. Now the three ball bank lays really good. The thing when you when you're in this spot, if you're playing the shot here where you're banking the three and then playing the cue ball like back and forth down to here, or like even just kind of like doing it soft and sending the cue ball like trying to drag the cue ball, then uh, you got to make sure you don't leave it in your hole because you often leave a return bank. So it has to lay good enough where you can play it with enough speed that you don't lose the cue ball, but you still get the three ball to like clear out if it misses. When you're playing a guy that plays like me, you can lay balls in this area all day, and I'll probably still miss them anyway. But when you're playing a guy like Tony and you're leaving the cue ball near his pocket, you can't even gamble leaving a ball right there. So Carlo just sends the balls out. I don't think I have some Vietnamese fans. I think the Vietnamese like Carlo Beato. <laughs> I've got a serious goal in the next two years to learn some Vietnamese and learn some Tagalog. It would be so fun to interact with those guys in the chat. Fan Beato. Yeah, there you go. Who doesn't like Carlo Beato? <laughs> Say lumpia. <laughs> Carlo using this 13 ball. What a shot. Or the 12. Is that the 12? What a shot there. If he covered up the 6 and, and kept Tony off of kicking the 6 out of there, Tony is in trouble. Vietnamese was by, by far the hardest language I've ever tried to learn. Yeah, Aton, I do windows and siding. I do construction, and I can do that on autopilot. So I'm thinking about just getting my AirPods, downloading one of them language apps. Oh, my God, he missed the whole six ball. Unlucky. How do you miss the whole six ball right there? And he hit the rail first and still missed the six. It's a big shot. It's a big moment. Wow. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Second game? Second game. Wow. They're fighting, huh? Yeah. I wonder what Carlo's going to do here. He's queuing low like he's going to try to clip the top of these three balls. Just bank the oh, three. Oh, just bank the three. There we go. Free. Free money. And you can protect it, too. Just cinch the cue ball a little bit or roll it forward uh, and use these balls in the middle of the table to protect it. Can you give me a score update on anything? Wow, just make the ball. How about we see if Carlo gets out here? Okay. Wow. Look at that shot. A little long. Perfect speed. Look at the speed there. See ya, 11 ball. He's just 11 to slow down a little bit, actually. A lot of it. I think he's fine, but... Just yeah. kind of flirting with it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think this 11 can clear the stack. 
but Carlo can put it on his side. Next song. I think Tony goes after this. It's pretty free. He needs them all. Yeah, why not? Real slow. Make the ball. Control. Get a shot on the two or the seven. He's good. He's good. Yeah. He'll get both of them here. Yeah. All right, score update. SVB and Sergio, either they don't know how to use a tablet or it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Oliver Ruger's up 1-0 on Mark Vidal. Billy's up 1-0 on Lee Van Corteza. Oliver Ruger, by the way, the gentleman that sent Roland Garcia yesterday to the one-loss side. Tell me what Tell me what Roland said to you. <laughs> so we're watching the last two matches of the night. Roland had already been gone for a while because he was done for the day. Wow, Tony missed? Oh, boy. Oh, That's my God, that. he missed. We just <laughs> took it for granted. Wow, okay. Uh, Started talking about something else. Roland comes back in the pool room. Carlos warming up, you know, just staying loose, hitting balls. And he sits down next to me and he goes. Make sure that's pointed like right. He goes, Pare. And I said, what's up, Pare? He said, that Oliver Ruger, he's good, huh? Who is he? And I started laughing. I said, he's a, you know what, m monster, you know, effing monster. <laughs> and uh, I said, he's, uh, he's from San Francisco. He said, is he American? And I said, no, he's from Estonia. I said, and I told him the story about the first time when I saw Oliver at Hard Times and I walk in the tournament room and I see him playing Joey Jabron. And I'm thinking, who is this guy? Because he looks like a fish, you know? Oliver. Oliver does, yeah, yeah. Because he's got the beanie on, he's real unassuming, you know? And and uh, I'm like, who is this guy? And then I saw him play. And when I saw him play, I said, oh my God, this dude can play. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, it's been it's been he's been consistently um, playing well, not just in on the West Coast, but everywhere he goes. So. Yeah, w w even when he plays all these pros, he fires back. Oh yeah, he and he applies pressure. He had Sky like seven two playing rotation WNT rules out at hard times. Um, that one event they did the five thousand dollar ad or whatever it was. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he could play. Had Sky stuck seven two so. He plays real smart. Roland gave him a lot of compliments and respect, and rightfully so, because he, he Oliver plays the game really well. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan. He's going to have a, a bank here on the, on the one ball to win the game. Yeah. And there's no way you don't take this on. Especially with the five and, and four tying yeah. up up there. Well, I mean, they go, but still, oh, he's banking the two ball I like flat. The I like the stiff two ball. Yeah, yeah, just draw back. Yeah, just because then back. you're you're playing it at the speed where if it doesn't go, you leave nothing. Yeah, the other way you're kind of twisting it. I mean, not kind of. And you're you kind of setting the yeah. cue ball loose. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. Close, but no cigar. No, but he's fine. I love, love the way he played it because he was. That's what I was talking yeah, about with speed. that shot. The speed is is like required where the two balls not. You either win the game or you don't give anything up. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, Collins, can you check that seven ball down the rail? Tony missed. Looked like some. Maybe it rolled off. Yeah, we can play a little replay. See what happened there. Tony trying to two rail here, and he can win the game off of this shot if it holds, and it doesn't. Instead, the five four lock up and it looks like Carlos going to have a cross bank here to win the match I think it's just enough off the rail where you can you can make a, a solid contact and, and not have to worry about oh. letting the cue ball go too quick on you two ball pocket speed for the money dive it is and that's game 2-0 in favor of Carlo Beato yeah look at this uh, Mike look at this shot you got it queued up? Oops. I got to hold on. I got to do a little reset transform here. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Here we go. Here we go. Watch the seven ball. Oops. He overcut it from the beginning. I don't think no, it, it looks like it looks like it was pointed at the uh, pocket facing at first, but then do it hit it like maybe a little piece of chalk just by the side pocket. Watch right after it goes past the side pocket. Right there. Maybe a hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit. A At little that bit, speed, it looks like there that, must have been something on the table. By that diamond by the side pocket. Yeah, I could see that. It wasn't much, but it was enough. Shane is up 2-0, to zero, Al Holden says in the chat. Is he? Well, maybe they don't know how to use the... 
Let me refresh. How to watch SVB match. Go check it out on Windows Open on Facebook. Go to Facebook, search Windows Open. Hit the follow button. Watch it live. Oh, Look at this know, cue ball. You know my, my page finally, huh, pal? Is Carlo about to 4 0 Tony? Don't get ahead of yourself there, buddy. Everybody relax. that good so if you hear me sneeze or something that's not intentional just tell him how disgusting he is i'm sorry i apologize i've been out here i've been on the road for eternity and then i just have to jump on a call to get ready for the uh, bca trade show that's coming up after this oh, event nice, because nice, nice. you get to go home i get to hang out in vegas for a couple more days yep i do a little bit of work with uh, uh lucasi and brunswick and so look at this bank he hit it with speed and it comes yeah. around three rails just unbelievable execution does he have a window to the combo Colobiato. he does have a window to the combo it he's looks got like a seven ball if he wants to also just depending on what he wants to do here great shot from carlo get ready to hit that replay button i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna make sure i get you on the uh on a daily call to make sure that everything's going okay with the roulette table after I'm gone. I don't even, why do you got to go there this morning for? Why do you got to go there? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean why hearing, you got to bring up old stuff for? I've been huh? hearing things. You've been, who, who was saying it? Dave? <laughs> huh? Schwan? Uh, huh? You know it's a bad sign when you walk up to the roulette table and the pit boss says, what's going on, Collins? How much you playing today? Yeah. Did <laughs> 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 you know, they, then you know you got to reevaluate your life. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's watch Carlos, see how he proceeds, and then we'll do a little replay okay. here. Just tell me when, because I'm going to get the phone ready. But, yeah, it's uh, it's been a fun trip so far, and uh, we've been fortunate enough to be able to bring you these U.S. Open, you know, one-pocket, ten-ball banks, and eight-ball. I can tell you guys we got a lot of uh, fun things in store for next year. And if you haven't heard, we'll, we'll be back. Um, and so, oh, he's playing the ticky off the the fifteen. I kind of like. That I actually can, that was one of the first shots I saw because you can draw the cue ball behind the seven. Yes, you draw yes. the cue ball behind the seven, and oh, he didn't get the cue ball behind the seven. Didn't care. That he was, was going to make the ball. That was a little risky, but he's it, just gonna it make paid off. Here's your little replay here, buddy. Why not shoot the bank if it's just oh, free? Oh, hold on, do it one uh, more time. Come, come on, I had the perfect intro. Come on, just shoot the bank if it's free. Look, check out this cue ball. How good is that shot? The Free money at the bank. Legends are made of. Looks like Carlo got another ball here. Yep. He needs help on twenty-two. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carlo Biata might. Uh, if he makes two more shots, he might run this rack out. The next two shots are key. If you can cinch this this cue ball behind the five, or sorry, the seven. Real tough to get the cue ball to kill here. A low outside ball. You want to hit this rail first and then hit here with the outside spin still on the ball. It should slow the cue ball down if he decides to go for the seven and not the ten. He does he does sides, pardon me, decides to go for the ten here. It's a lot more natural. Or is that the 14, whatever this ball is? Can stun above the 15 ball right now, and then you just need one after the 15. Just draw the ball three rails. Just draw the ball three rails. God, this game is easy. He ends up on the good side of the ball, too. God, the amount of Q power... Let's call it cue ball power that Carlo Beato has is absolutely disgusting. Banking the four ball for the win. Got to twist it around the 12. Didn't really end up with a good angle here for the shot, actually. 
I think I just saw a little bit of the Carlo Beato head scratch. He's going to count, make sure he only needs one, and it's the truth. Seven balls down. With all the balls tied up in the middle of the table, I say you got to go for it. Got to go for it. Goes long. Kind of kisses off the point. Maybe leaves a twistable return bank at the seven. I'm not really sure. See what Tony decides to do. See if he decides to kick and go like a little gambly. There was a, a return bank and the seven does not go and he doesn't end up protecting him, protecting the cue ball. He was going all out there. Am I covering the BEF Junior National Championships this year? Tin Can Corner asks. Um, still waiting to hear back from Shane Tyree. I think things are good, but I haven't gotten confirmation yet. Carlo Viato makes a good bank on the nine ball, and he's coming up to break on the hill. Carlo Viato, absolutely pure domination in this match. And Tony just slowly walks backwards and sits down. We might be able to sweat a little bit of the uh, Oliver Ruger versus Mark Vidal match. If this game finishes quickly, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It ain't over till it's over. It's over. Wins the finals. <laughs> tomorrow. Finals tomorrow. We got 16 players starting out today. We'll be back with four players tomorrow. Cue ball kind of had an extra kiss out of the stack there. You see how close it got to the corner pocket. Also slowing the cue ball down and making it take a different line. That second kiss, really subtle, but the way that Carlo hit the ball, he was expecting the cue ball to come like this. Instead, he gets that extra kiss, and the cue ball comes like this. He does avoid the scratch, though. Tony's just going going ultra aggro down in this match. <laughs> that kick for the rest of us, never question, never question the superior one pocket intellect of the man that is Tony Chohan. Okay? But don't try that shot yourself, guys. Don't do it. You will sell out. <laughs> I'll sell out like literally. 25, 27 out of 30 times is a sellout for me. I can't hit the ball that good. When he when he makes a kick like that and makes it look easy, it makes it look like it's a really playable shot, but for the rest of us, it's just completely ill-advised. Obviously, Tony not really in this match anymore mentally. Seems checked out going after that carom off of the, uh, for the four ball. Breaking the stack wide open, essentially saying to Carlo, if you make this 14 ball, you win the game. What's the next tournament, Collins? U.S. Open Golf, U.S. Open Cutthroat. <laughs> this is it for our U.S. Open extravaganza. Today and tomorrow are the last days. We're finishing just a day early. But not a dollar short. We've had a great time out here. We've had a lot of fun. Caleb Vaughn says, I'll take Carlo for 20. Yo, Caleb. Don't be a nit, Caleb. <laughs> Carlo missed the ball. He's going to give Tony an opening here. How many times are you going to stand up and show your shirt, man? Well, someone in the chat just said, I'll take Carlo for 20. Look at the score. Did you, uh... It's 3-0. Three, three, is it 3-0? It's 3-0, and he says, I'll take Carlo for 20. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I, how do you not show him the shirt after saying something like that? That's an awful thing to say. <laughs> That's an awful thing. 
Look at this kiss off the eight ball, opening the stack up. Tony uh, Chohan. Like, like he could not have ended up any better here. You want to come into the... You want to make sure you can get on the six ball next. The 12 passes, I think, so you got, you got enough. options. You got options. Enough. I like just drawing back here if the 12 ball doesn't pass. 12 ball passes, but you're going to shoot the six because you got the window. Because the window is... Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Open. Come on. There it is. Open. We can do 25. <laughs> This is Tony doing Tony things. I didn't get to see the miss by Carlo, but I know he doesn't miss too often. That might have been the third one he missed this month. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's over the one ball. He's in trouble here. I think he just got there. I think he just got clear. What? Okay, so it's 5-0? Yeah. I mean, you got to go, but you're going to sell out if you miss. Wait. It might be 6-0. Uh, Tony Chohan, look at this. I think it's 7-0 here. Or did Carlo get a ball in that last inning? No, he didn't. Should be 7-0 here. Excuse me. Good Lord, Sorry. dude. Sorry. Drink some water. And don't breathe on me. Uh, yeah, Tony Chohan playing the double bank, the super aggressive double bank, trying to take advantage of the fact that the one the one was doubled up on the nine right here, but the double bank ends up clearing the nine ball, so Carlo Biotto is going to have an opening to possibly run two, two, three, maybe four balls here, depending on how good the cue ball ends up. And Carlo misses the ball. Gonna leave a shot on the ten. Gonna concede the game. He says that's good. That's, that's good, good. body. Uh. I gotta step out and grab water. You're on your own for two seconds, man. You give me, give me that in a red bottle of water. Yeah. yeah. Could you give me that at a Red Bull? Yeah. Hydration and energy. Bike. Bike, are you gonna be okay, Dude, or do you do you need a Red Bull? Come on, man, get out of here. Come on, bike. <sighs> He's making fun of me, and I'm sick. <laughs> He's making fun of me. Yeah. Seats taken. All right, here we go. T Rex the break. Three ones the score. It's a race to four. Carlo Biato's on the hill. And Tony needs some help. He needs Carlo to make some mistakes. He made one the last game. I like trying to put him on the six ball here if I can. Yeah. He went with an, he went with this with a full hit on the six ball, real controlled, nicely done there from from Carlo, making sure that he was going to end up right where he's at on the six ball. Definitely no no fluke there. That was purposeful and he and he hit that real well. Tony coming with it with some inside, sending the ball back down towards his side, leaving the cue ball on the rail for Carlo, trying to give him things to think about. <laughs> yeah. He might cross this three ball here. That's what it's looking like. He's just sitting it full. He wanted to lay up on the 12 ball. And Tony's going to have some kind of defensive shot here. Will the Filipinos be here in Vegas and play in Premier League pool? So there's a few Filipinos that are playing in Premier League. I think Feliciano and Bernie and I don't know who else, but they're all going to Connecticut. Uh, there's an event going on also, I think, um, outside of Boston, the World Nine Ball Tour event um, as well. So we uh, want to try to do a podcast pretty soon and cover some of the stuff happening in pool i might go to i might go to premier league I'm debating whether or not i'm changing my flight we shall see but i ain't been home in a while and tony we're trying to put him in the pack here playing with fire if you miss hit it because you you might have sold out a combo on the six seven you might have left a return bank here on the five and he could send the cue ball all the way down table hit it with a little bit of power oh instead he just twists it and comes back and plays uh, all cue played, ball he played the belita bike move the what? Bolita Mike. 
Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, the, that's the shot that you play on me. Like every other time you come to the table, you just like, okay, I'll find just a way to roll behind the ball that's by your hole. Boring. <laughs> I do. Oh, I like that shot. You might have fouled here. You that's, did foul. That's a definite foul. That's a mistake from Tony. He knows it too. You think you think race the four are good race on the winter side? I think it's too long or too short for next year. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. You think it's too long? You think it should be raced to three? No, I mean if they they want to get their monies in, I get it. You know, so I'm just curious to see. Race to, to five your, is way too long. No, race to five is not going to happen. That's not going to happen for sure. Uh, race to three. I mean, because you got to think. Listen, next year. I, I'd bet we get a full field next year. So yeah, you gotta yeah, think yeah, about yeah. That. yeah. Just given the way that we plan on formatting the event in general. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Chad says, I think four is good, three feels short. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you got to think it like the reason they do race to three at Derby City, obviously, is because they got a field of 400 players, you know? I think players are getting more... I don't want to say open, but they're at least like you can tell even the time frame is tough on them because I had a few players that came to me and asked, they're like, Mike, are we doing any kind of like, you know, Derby City style rule here when it comes to time frame? And I'm like, nope, we're nope. playing one pocket. <laughs> you know, but I think the one rule that I think I might be open to doing um, where I don't think you're fundamentally changing the game is the um, if you're both on one, it just zeroes out. I would say you know? not not negative one. I would say pick some negative number that's beyond zero. That if you both go beyond that, oh, I think. it evens out. Like like you can't both owe more than two or something like that because owing balls is a fundamental part of the game. No, for sure. But like I mean, in having both players owe balls and be able to make the decision to to want to go back and forth on taking fouls and like play that that. Uh, yeah play that like cost benefit analysis you know what i mean it's like yeah. if you take it away entirely then people will just foul back at each other constantly and avoid three foul you know what i mean right yeah i could see that i could see that yeah so if you say like you can't go past negative two so or maybe something choose like that. the number then yeah maybe yeah two. if you're at two you go that, back i think to that's one. a good compromise on that rule yeah tony's on zero again thank you guys he's got a coin up no he's got hole. a coin up what he's you got doing? a coin what are you guys talking about? Take it easy. Look at this. Going with oh, no, the... Carlo has a coin on his hole. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Carlo does. Tony, because Tony's... Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, come on. Come on, guys. How could you ever be? How what could you, you ever what be you right? What do you think the tournament format may be for next year? Um, I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves when it comes to things that we're going to... Um, like we're just talking about we which events we're going to... Which events we're going to use, right? Which titles we're going to have on offer next year, and then the order in which those events happen. Right. Uh, we're going to change it in a way where it's it's more enticing for the viewers at home and more enticing also for the players, uh, where the event structure will kind of like ramp up towards the end, if that makes sense. Yeah. Without getting too far ahead of ourselves, I think that's a fair amount of info for you. <laughs> but I can tell you that even a year away, we're already working on it. Yep. So, um, and you know, we're real, we're real lucky to have uh, Brandon, Brandon, who you know, we've been we've been all working together pretty well. Yeah. You know, I think and, we get along. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. And but like just as far as like. Um, the communication and bouncing ideas off each other and uh you know no egos or things like that you know what yeah, i mean look and at just this just absolutely damaging cue ball from tony chohan that's good touch for for a big guy man you know that what i mean damaging like, dude just... i mean the, the difference between that and and you know out here is the difference of i was about to be on almost a, a another perfect, foul. almost another yeah almost a guaranteed another foul no no Close. foul there good shot um, <sighs> but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, I wasn't a fan of the Derby City rule just because I think it completely changed the game. Yeah. You know, there was, um, like, even during big matches, like on the TV table where 
balls in the kitchen are getting spotted up and there's a whole different type of strategy then it just becomes it's it's a different one pocket than what we've seen before yeah yeah you yeah. know i like pure one pocket yeah look at that tony might leave free-ish um, bank i don't think that, that's hard i don't think that's hard to make collins But can he can he cross this ball, Collins? Wow, that answered that question. And putting him on the three. Tried to put him on the three, but yeah. I think he gave up access to the seven ball. I think you have to hit it at that speed to avoid the kiss, so it's um you know, it's a give and take, but yeah. I hope that mic was live, by the way. No, it um, wasn't. Yeah, no, I think, look, I love seeing, I, I love seeing um, players have to grind and, and different types of way of playing one pocket versus just running eight balls. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not in love with that style of play. It happens and it's great. And you're always going to get that having these great players, but I can appreciate the moving side of it and the strategy. You know, last night I was on dead fumes, man. I mean, I was just done. And uh, we had two matches that were going, and it's like six o'clock. And I told Con and I told Brandon, um, you know, hey, listen, I'll stay and I'll rock it with you, and you know, in case they have questions or need. Look at that shot from Tony Chohan. Beautiful shot there. Well executed. But you know, it's like they start getting into this um, this moving game, and I just get this this third win because it's great to watch. You know, and it was a, a lot of safety play, um, a real chess battle. And it was, relatively speaking, against two guys who are not, you know, marquee names per se. But just the fact that they knew one pocket and played it so well, I just love. So, I don't, you know, listen, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. The game is great the way it is. Um, I think, like, when it comes to time and stuff like that, there may be something to do to kind of just um, adjust it a hair when it comes to fouls and stuff. But other than that, let, let them play one pocket. If I got to be here 18 hours, we'll be here 18 hours. If I got to be here 20 hours, we'll be here 20 hours. If you got to be here 30 hours, that's just what we'll do. So, um, meanwhile, let me see here. Okay, so we got four balls, five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, Tony's got two balls. Maybe you guys can help me out here because Carlo owes two. So, it's an interesting way to play it. To play it. He's showing... He's showing some heart here. This looks... You gotta be careful. Playing a little carom shot. Alright, so Tony should have three. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he's got four. I think maybe that ball counts right but yeah I think I think next year um, one of the things we were talking about is the place in the tournament where we, we would put one pocket um, we're hopeful to have you know more more added money for every event um, and to kind of figure out a way to just maximize it for the players that are playing so we're uh, we're excited. All these balls are going up table here, and if you're Tony, you don't mind this at all, for a couple different reasons. Number one, you know the guy that's at the table right now is dangerous when it comes to just pure pocketing. Number two, you got the lead in the game, you got the ball count advantage. You're down in games overall, so you got to do whatever you got to do to make sure you get back in this matchup. So for Tony, this is this this is fine. Tony didn't want to make that ball, but it's okay. You know, keep balls close to the rail. Actually, Carlo, I don't know how aggressive he wants to be here, but he may have a bank on this on this two ball. I know the eight seven looks. I know the 8-7 looks um, a little close to the hole.
Gilbert asks, who's still in it? You can check out the bracket at digitalpool.com. Search US Open. One pocket championship as Tony banks that ball in with ease. I love the way Tony plays. He, he processes things so quickly. And at times he may be a little lax, but Tony's just got a, um, a, a superior way of just analyzing things on a drop of a dime. He doesn't he doesn't Hollywood or or try to drag his feet. He sees it. He executes it. Um, it's rare that you'll see Tony just kind of overthinking things. And that's part of why, um, along with his creativity, why he's such a great player to watch. And you can learn so much from, from him if you just really look at the table and then think about why he's choosing to play the ball the way that he is. Tony's got five. This is winter side action. Let me see if I can bring up some score, some score updates for you guys. Well, I got y'all here. SVB's two zero on Sergio. Oliver's two zero on Mark Vidal. Billy Thorpe two zero on Lee Van Corteza. Roland Garcia and Ivan Belmonte one to one. Mike. Mike N 1-0 over Randy Walker. Kali is up 2-0 on Ryan Nelson. Take a look here with Tony. Tony's just going to nip off this two ball and send the cue ball down table. Let's see if he thinks he can bank the ball. Oh, he's at the corner of the 11 ball. Excuse me. That was a free bank. He's going to have a, a cross. But I don't mind firing there. You only need three. And just you got to be careful. You don't want to let Carlo get back in this game or have an easy start or let him pick up any kind of momentum. Might have to hit this with the outside to avoid the kiss. That ball with the outside. Didn't make it. Leroy asked, do fouls carry over to the next game? Boy, that would be a whole different game there, but no, they do not. The fouls are specific to that particular game that you're in. They're not match specific, so. But that'd be fun if it did. <laughs> Nobody the world beats Tony 10-5 with balls up table. Well, yeah, you might want to ask Alex about that, buddy. Because I think you might be a little mistaken there, Doug. But he left a, he left a uh, cut here on the two ball. He was trying to get behind it, but he kind of went a little too far. Ooh, and Tony just missed Oh, what missed a terrible it. kiss out of the pocket, too, and for Tony. Carlos about to get back to even here. He was looking to make that two ball and have a bank on the 11 ball. What about just firing at it right now to get up there? You know what I mean? And if you come up short, then you just, you, you have pressure by your pocket still with the 11 and then you got maybe another move. Or do you just take the ball you can get right now? He just takes the ball he can get. And he ends up super straight. Look at this. Five to negative one.
Oh my god, he found the side pocket. And now Tony's going to have no shot. Tony's going to have two on the spot with ball in hand in the kitchen. Funny that Carlo still owes two, but he's still able to spot two balls in this spot. That's funny. It's a really uncommon situation. Oh my gosh, no, the 12 is over the line. 12 is over the line. Look at this. And he actually overcut the ball. Wow. Doesn't look like the 12 is, is cuttable from here. It's only a little nod of like, okay, yeah, that's where we're at. I see. Oh, he does have a cut on the 12. And he makes it. Gin City. Stiffs the eight in the corner. Needs one. Fifteen ball might be playable here. And he makes the ball. A couple of fantastic banks from Tony Chohan to, to lock up a second game for himself. And we got a match, folks. Don't go nowhere fast. What's the rule on the line? Is it half the ball? No, whole ball over the line. Full ball. Tony is back, says Gamp in the chat. Guys, I'm sorry. I have to go check on one of my cameras. It looks like somebody might have accidentally unplugged it. I'll be right back. Gonna leave you right here. It looks like Tony stepped away for a break, but I'll try to be back as quick as possible, okay, guys? to fix it after the conclusion of the SVB versus Sergio Rivas match because somehow I, th I think someone just hit, turned it off I think someone just flipped the switch here we go Carlo looks like we're ready to go Carlo to break Tony Chohan back from his break zone in let's watch some one pocket
A Yodger. I have explained the rules a couple times already in this game, uh, but we'll do it one more time. It's a super common question, but uh, essentially we're playing one pocket where Carlo, who just broke, broke in this direction, selecting this pocket. So therefore, Tony is only allowed to shoot into this pocket to score points. So any ball that goes into your pocket, no matter how it gets there, as long as it happens with no foul, counts towards one one ball is one point for you. So it's first person to make eight balls wins. Since there's 15 on the table, you cannot have two players score eight. So first person to score eight wins. Look at this fantastic kick from Carlo Beato catching half of the four ball and putting the cue ball in the stack. Yeah, super, le super easy rules to explain, but extremely complicated strategy. Tony Chohan showing us why. Showing us why not only does he get the kick and the good hit on the three ball, but the three ball bounces back out and takes away essentially this entire portion of the table for Carlo to play with. So Carlo going to do a similar shot here. Thin off the side of the three, put the cue ball on the other side of the stack. Protect the position of the three ball. Very important. Carlo trying to keep pressure on Tony. Tony going to just roll in, it looks like. Ah, thins off the 10 because he saw that the 10 would kiss off the 6 and lay out in the open for uh, a little pressure of his own. Nice shot from Tony. Nice shot from Tony, creating a little bit of movement out to his pocket. Tying up these balls on the long rail for Carlo. Uh, Prop Joe, uh, we're still at an even ball count. Even ball count. Oh, 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 oh. When did Carlo foul? I didn't see the foul. Did he kick and take a foul? Maybe I thought he made a good hit and he kicked and took a foul. I don't know I'd say so much that Carlo's in trouble. He definitely has the, the positional advantage on the table. Like, the way the balls lay on the table is, is much better for Carlo. Even though he has things tied up right here a little bit, he's still got options if Tony blunders. No rail on the second shot. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like going going and leaving Tony Long here. Leaving Tony way long. Yeah. Now, there might be a line coming off this two ball that's really good for Tony, but he decides to just ignore it and go for the bank on the 14, it looks like. No, just takes the three out. Interesting choice there, too, because it kind of unties things a little bit for Carlo. And he didn't really leave the three very low in front of his own pocket. Interesting. How's the seven ball look, guys? No good. Really good. How much did he get out of that ball? Wow. I didn't even think he could get it 
half a diamond from his pocket, short of the pocket, but he got it half a diamond long. Holy moly, he got maximum twistage. Maximum spinach on the seven ball. Looks like the seven was covered up pretty good by that 15, but Tony Chohan. Tony Chohan doesn't need angles, he creates angles. Last couple games look like have gone up table or a fair amount of the balls have gone up table at some point. Both players coming to their decisions pretty quickly here. They're, they're pretty much both settled into the fact that this is going to be a long game. Billy Thorpe taking 4-0 versus Lee Van Corteza. Holy snap. <laughs> Oliver Ruger on the hill versus Mark Vidal Clermont. 3-0. to SVB won 4-0 to zero as well. Wow. And actually, since that match is over, before they start another match on table 13, I got to go fix that camera. I'll be back. I think I got it, guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to check and make sure it's working right in front of you guys. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think it's working. You know who else is working? Tony Chohan. What'd I miss? Tony get two?
He did get two. Oliver Ruger is on the hill versus Mark Vidal and is currently, well, was. Oh, apparently it's not working, guys. Cool. <laughs> I got to go find out what's going on with that camera. Let me see if I can get Mike in the booth with you guys while I work on this thing. It's working! Mike says he's on his way, and unfortunately, like I said, I have to do this again in front of you. Hopefully, it doesn't glitch out like last time. Nice. Okay. We are good. We got a little green line across the bottom. Maybe one more calibration. We should be good. All right, okie doke, guys. Sorry, I wouldn't have spent so much time on that if I would have known that Mike was going to take so long to get in here, but we are where we are. And where we are in this match is Carlo Biotto still owes one ball. And Tony Chohan has three. A little bit of a moving battle up table, looks like. And uh, the thing I like watching, the thing about up table games, pardon me, with these guys that play at this level is you know when when you're watching somebody like a couple guys like my speed or even a little bit stronger than me when when one pocket goes up table like this you just know you're settling in, into like an hour and a half two hour long game you know hour at the minimum but tony is so good at like managing 
how and when to send balls back into play. He's so effective at it that the pace of play, the pace of, oh, he finally made it here. There we go. Finally here. He told me to come in. I was coming in to help out. I mean, I helped Yeah, out. he I mean, said, yeah, I'm on my way. And I said, okay, cool. I'll work on this well, camera. Here's the thing, is that and then I it took him 10 minutes. That's not true. <laughs> it's close, but not true. All right, so Carlo is on the, which side is Carlo on? Left. Oh, great. Oh, boy. What happened there? That's what's going on with that camera. I have to keep uh, recalibrating the, the HDMI sensor. So hang out with these guys while I fix it, okay? Okay. All right. Colin just hates when, like, one of his toys stops working. Mm -hmm. So he gets on. Okay, who's where, though? Just help me out. I said Carlos in the bottom left. He owes one. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. That's it. I'm good. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. You do your thing. All right. All right. All right. So just a bit, bit of an update. Billy beats Lee Van. Shane beats Sergio. So depending on depending on what happens, more than likely it'll be the winner of this matchup will face SVB on the next TV table match. So um, and then the other winner side action, Billy Thorpe versus the winner of Oliver and Mark Vidal will be on Windows Open. So I think Oliver's up 2-0, so I'm expecting an Oliver versus Billy matchup there. But anyhow, back to this matchup here. Tony's back in the game, back in the match. 3-0 on balls. Down one game, but looking to make it hill-hill. It's a race to four. You know what's funny, Chad? Is that so when I was a kid, my mom would always tell me, hey, can you help me, you know, plug in the cable or do something with electronics? And so I was that kid to help out my mom like as well I should, you know, and now I feel like I'm that, you know, older parent where, you know, technology scares me to death. So <laughs> it's funny how life comes full circle. Anyhow, Collins is calibrating his camera. We're here, U.S. Open One Pocket Championship. We've been here now for, I don't know, a week and a half, three events. We're getting, we're gonna get down to around four players today. Over on Windows Open, you can see Shane and Billy, bang, you know, banging them around. One last try here, boys, and then I'll wait to the end of this match. Right. Nope. Oh, boy. It's gone. It's toast, guys. The camera's broke? Not really. Oh. No, it's not because I can see it here. Something's going on with the HDMI. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, say, I'll take it off your hands. I'll buy it from me. Yeah? Yeah. No, don't do it. I won't sell it. All right, here we go. Tony's Tony's got another one. Look at this six ball banks towards the hole. I too. love this shot, man. I love this shot. It's such a strong shot, especially if you got cover. I mean, I know he left everything out in the open there, but man, if you got cover, such a pretty shot. You know, yeah. and it's and it really it's the only game on a pool table that it comes up in is one pocket. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice shot there from Carlo. Daniel asks, anybody know statistically what the breaker gets for an advantage in one pocket, like by winning percentage? So it's, I, it's negligible. It's only like, I heard it was only like 5% or something like that. Really? Like, like, yeah. They did the, someone what ran the, the numbers. What are they studying on? Who ran the Derby, numbers? I think they ran Seven? the numbers on Derby City Classic or something like that. Well, who ran them? I can't remember. Oh. Usually they'll say the break is worth like a ball and a half. That's what they'll say. Who's they? I mean, just it's that much of an advantage, you know. So. Yeah, but who's saying it? Just I'm asking one, the same question one pocket, that you're asking. One pocket aficionados that I've talked to over the years, you know. Yeah. So that's why part of giving 
like, and this is part of the beauty of the game of one pocket is the different um, types of handicaps that you can give and one of them being hey I'll give you the breaks I've heard that it depends on the player and how good they are well, at course. the early I game. Mean, if you're playing and a so fish like I've, me. I've heard that the break is usually worth a half a ball to a ball and a half, depending on who you're playing. Collins just has to be the contrarian. I'm not being a contrarian. He just wants to give me a hard time. He's got this big... Turn on the camera, will you? He's got this no. biggest smile, this evil, like, Joker kind of grin on his face. No. Just looking to burn down the world. <laughs> Some people just want to watch my old Ben. <laughs> no, but the break is massive. And that's why, look, Collins, let me ask you. Every time me and you play, what do I tell you? Break the balls. Break the balls. Because I like starting from a disadvantage because I feel like it's such an, it, it's such an important part of that game. I mean, like every game on the pool table, but especially in one pocket, I feel like. You know, getting out of that break, finding different ways to kind of like weasel and squirm and, you know, just find little caroms and tickies and, you know, until eventually you can start moving balls to a more favorable position. It's it's massive, man. It's great, too. I mean, it could take you, it could take you, you know, half a dozen to a dozen innings to get out of a break sometimes, you know, maybe longer, just depending on the game. So, are you all right, man? Just thinking. You got this weird look on your face. Maybe that's just, just thinking. Your, maybe that's just your face in general. Know. You know what the weird look is for? It's because of this. Okay, sorry guys. Sorry. He's on tilt. I'm sorry oh, is guys. That what it is? He's just on tilt. Okay. I'm sorry guys. Okay. Nice. Had to do it. Yeah. Tony trying to protect the cue ball here. Is it going to get low enough? Well, he wanted to get behind that ball, but he's he's okay. He's going to be able to clear it though. <laughs> Robin says. I was looking forward to one pocket. However, oddly, I'm bored right now. I'll be back. I wonder why you're bored. <laughs> Look at the balls. Yeah. We got two wedges forming yeah. on the table. Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah, I don't. I think. I think. Um, you know, Shane. Guys like Federer and Shane and top one pocket players. They don't oh necessarily. Oh my God! Get the are respect. you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this oh, shot. It's not the HDMI cable, it's the HDMI out on the camera. I know what the problem is. I'll get it I'll get it sorted out, guys. Don't sweat it. Two railer. So it needs it to dive and it does. Forgot what I was saying. We're on a one way track for a hill hill finish here, son. Oh baby. And this table lays real good for Tony. Everything's out of play. You only need two balls. This is what you want. This is part of what makes these elite one pocket players great is just, you know, how, how much they can be a chameleon. You know, they can press when they need to. They can uh, they can squeeze when they need to. They can move balls. They can get them out of play. You know, you have to kind of offset Carlos' um, pocketing and run out ability. And, you know, yeah, you his want, power cue ball. You got to put them out of play. Yeah. Uh, you think Tony's banking the six ball, putting Carlo between the the three and the the rail there? It lays good because you can bury it. He's playing you know? with a high cue ball to get down table here. He's going at a million miles an hour. Yeah, and makes the Jeez, ball. Jeez, look at that shot! God, that's so. <laughs> Tony, oh my goodness! Hey Tony, could you do me a favor? Show us why people say you're one of the best in the uh, world. Do me a favor. I thought this guy was good, huh? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's one of the best bankers in the world, man. Wow. I think Tony... Did Tony get... Where's that guy in the chat earlier that wanted to put 20 on Carlo up 3-0? to zero? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty funny. He was being a nit, Steve. 
he was being a nit, and sometimes nits lose. I'm not saying he's going to lose, but there is justice in this world. Tony Chohan stealing two games out of the last three. And we got a hill-hill match, baby. All right, it's Tony's break. Who do you got? Tony's won, what, three in how a row? You, how do you not take Tony after what you just three watched? How do you not take Tony? I, I mean, I bet you, but you don't bet on your own stream, so. Yeah. Since 3-0, Carlo hasn't made a ball. Is that true? Is that right? I mean, he's made balls, but maybe he hasn't been above zero yeah. in score. That's a strong stat. That's the case. If that's true, that's really strong from Tony Chohan. Kind of going a little bit thick into the pack right there. Losing the cue ball a little bit and leaving a look at the the two balls sitting in front of his own hole. So, Carlo is going to have a move here. Everyone's on Tony, and I get it. I get it. Yo, what's up, Russage? There's some, like, look, I wouldn't be surprised if Tony wins, but Carlo's a champion. Carlo's got intangibles. He's got, you know, massive heart and incredible fight back. So, I just, you know. I wouldn't be surprised, all I'm saying. Look at that. Simple shot, but I like it. Look at where the cue ball's at. Limits his options. That's a great stat, though. From 3-0, nothing in the positive. Little kiss off the 11. Good speed on the 10 ball. I don't like trying to come off the eight ball here and trying to put him behind the six. The eight, yeah. Put him behind the six again. It's real thin though. You got to hit it real thin. No, I think you can actually get a more full hit to get a better cue ball. Here, I yeah. think the full hit goes straight into the six. Yeah. Like half the ball goes. Yeah, I mean, you got to hit it real thin here to go like this. He's looking at the stack. What's what's he looking at? SVB has been here hitting balls since I first got here, and he's still doing it right now. Guy's just a machine. Just Talk about a machine. Him. Look at this guy. Dead focused on this match. Three games ago, he couldn't be less interested. Well, that's like the give and take you get with Tony, you know, is that. See how it thin is. it was? Oh. See how thin he had to hit the ball? Wait. Oh, my God. He might have just sold the match. I mean, I know it's early. And I know that he's only got three or four balls out in play, but it's like, it's Tony Chohan. Yeah, Carlos shrugging here. I can tell you guys something, though. Look at the body language. If Tony comes back and wins. We're going to have Tony Chohan we're versus gonna have SVB. We're going to have SVB and T-Rex on the TV table. With next. a decent short race, you know what I mean? Like a decent length short race. Yeah. Race to four. Look, if you're ever in a pool room with those two guys, <laughs> don't be very far away from Tony because... He's barking. Tony Needle Shane like nobody on earth I've ever seen, and it is the best experience <laughs> it's ever. It's super entertaining, yeah. Yes, it is. Because Tony's got the... Tony's got the he's got the gift of gab. Let's let's get real. You know what and I mean? He's, he's got, got the jabber. He's got the cojones too to, you know. He's the one guy. Everybody else is like sh oohs and ahs over Shane and rightfully so, right? He's you know, he's great, but Tony just loves to, you know, get in his head. Ooh. He might have No. No, I think he was trying to clip that a little bit thinner. I wonder if you can play the combo and lay up on the 11. It's kind of, it looks like what he's looking at, Collins. I like that shot. Don't no, sell out, No, no, no. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Just make the ball and keep running. I got to close this door. I'm, like, yelling in here. Tony T-Rex. Just draw it perfect to have God a shot on the 11. Me, man. What a nice Why shot not? there. Don't tell me he's going to go high inside here. Don't this tell is, me he's Tony, going into man. the pack. <laughs> Look at so, this, man. It's so silly <laughs> how good it is. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. 
That's the thing about Tony is that he he's high care. risk, high reward, he and when, care. He, he when it's all working, go. when he's it's great. all working, it's so good. There you go. See a cue ball. Don't find the drink. No, he's fine. He's Don't fine. find the sewer. He's fine. Perfect speed. Where's that Caleb guy now? He's probably wanting to bet on Tony. <laughs> Who said that? You? No, the guy. No, oh. I said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. guy that was trying to bet on Carlo earlier will probably yeah. bet. Probably is like, well, I'll take Tony now. Yeah. Up three zero, right? Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. he is. Now he says he got twenty on Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, you're a hero, buddy. Yeah, you're. I mean, yeah. Tony, just send them. Get them, rid of them. Get them all up table. That's right. As quickly as possible. Get yeah, them all up there. Keep them locked up with no options. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> up six to negative one after you fought back from being down three zero in game count. You're like, you couldn't hit a wedge fast enough. And still, Carlo Beato hasn't been positive in game in in ball score. He can bank this five ball if he wants to. I don't think he will. No, right? it's it's such a narrow window. I mean, I you, you, you got a good full hit on it, man. But you got to twist it. You, you know do. what I mean? You got to twist it to get it go. And the twist makes the the five want to throw into the four ball. I don't think you can go after it. Just send them. Just send them. I don't mind that play, Collins. Respect yeah. respect your opponent. Yeah. More importantly, respect your ball count. Yeah, got to play the game. Down 3-0, Tony Chohan looking to win four in a row against the four, the current world 10-ball champion, Carlo Beato. And if you're Carlo, you just got to play the game. You need ball. You don't want to send balls up table. You want to keep them here. You want to keep Tony uncomfortable. You want to hope he makes a mistake and leaves you something to bank or to shoot at. Something where you can get a run going, but you got to have balls up here to maximize. Yeah. Yeah. Tony's, Tony's not going to let him out, dude. It's going to take a massive blunder from Tony for Carlo to have a, a chance here. He's just not going to give up the cue ball. Well, Tony's got to come with a shot here. I wouldn't even mind hitting the... Well, I was going to say the seven off the five, but you let the cue ball go. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Not the cue ball in the world that you hoped you for, but you didn't sell out a bank. One of my monsters? Those. No, Those. no, I don't got anything. Those are mine. Michelle handed them to me. She said, I got these for you guys. I didn't hear that part. You weren't even there. That's why I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful yeah. cue ball there. Yeah. Just one mistake by Tony and Carlos running out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know about that, Chris Chris. Well, not right now. I mean, not where all the balls are sitting. Huh. Paul McCastlin says, John Morrow was pissed after being so unlucky against SVB. He's taking it out on his last three opponents. He's playing good. Yeah. Is it is it beer 30? No. No, I'm uh You what? I'm down with the sickness. Oh. I don't know what that means. 
Ooh, ah, ah, ah. They're, not, they're not sponsors of the show, buddy. Relax. All right. Oh, yeah. Not a sponsor. Monster, if you do want to sponsor the show, please, uh, you can reach me at postuplivestream at gmail.com. Crossing this ball over, sending the cue ball back down table. Oh, it's two railing the ball. Tony found, finally saw a ball he liked. Didn't get it protected by the four ball, though. Imagine if his cue ball rolled another three inches. Ooh. This game would be like over. Over. Now I'm going to have that Disturbed song stuck in my head. Because <laughs> the chat's going off about it now, too. <laughs> like, dude. Thanks, pal. What's he doing? Can he not see the 13? Has the 7 got it covered? The 7 had it covered, dude. Wow. So he, he's forced to sell out another bank on the 4. Because the 7 ball covered the 13. He had to go out at rail first. And this might be... This is going to be protected by the 7 again. And it's close to the pocket. You're trying to make this ball. You're trying to make this ball. You can't get it out of there, right? Um, you got an overhead? I got a shot of Tony. Ooh, Where's you might not even be able to see the rail. And then if you go with the twist off of the short rail, you're gambling selling the cue ball on the 13 or the 7. Carlos in a spot. He might roll up behind the, the wedge up there. He's trying to go off the short rail here. This is risky. Like, oh, he used the 7. Woo. Look at the way he played his cue ball. Woo. That's like perfect stun run through. <laughs> and Tony needs one, guys. From being down 3-0 in game count, Carlo Beato hasn't had a positive score line, and Tony's about to send the cue ball. Oh, my gosh. He made the four, the three-railer. Wow. And almost scratched to win the game. Tony just slowly walks up the walk-off fist bump. Can you? What a match. Can from you, Tony Chohan. I didn't see. Can you can you uh, replay it for me? Let me see. That was a wild shot. I didn't even see it coming. Tony Chohan going full T-Rex mode in that game. So sick. Here it is. This is why I didn't see it. Tony was covering the whole shot. I didn't even see what he was shooting at. Look at this. Just a little three-railer. Wow. And here comes SVB. He knows. SVB knows what's next. And if he watched that match between Tony and Carlo at all for the last three games, look at Carlo showing his last shot that he had. I wonder what which shot this was. Oh, talking about a miscue maybe. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Up next, Shane Van Boning. SVB. Let's update the titles. Give a shout out to our sponsors. Dude, thank you guys for helping us host a, such a fun event. Premier Billiards, sponsoring the all around. Fast and Loose Designs for all the fantastic work that he did with the promotional material. Chris Santana, Diamond Billiard Products, helping us out with the Aramith Balls. Michelle Griffin Realty, Realtor. Make sure you check her out. If you have any questions or if you're going into a real estate transaction anytime soon, give her a call. She might be able to hook you up with somebody in your area or answer whatever questions you might have. One PKT, of course, sponsoring this event in the U.S. Open One Pocket. Shout out to One PKT. And uh, our title sponsor, Q-Tech. Oh, how could I forget? Town with the Town Max Rack, the official template rack of the U.S. Open 8-Ball and U.S. Open 10-Ball Championships. Uh, 
only good things said from the said from the pros about the max rack check it out nice thin plastic rack and uh the holes where the balls set are all round so you get even pressure distribution towards the center of the rack Fantastic match between Tony Chohan and Carlo Biado. A nail-biter to the end. Tony looking out of sorts for the first three games and then just goes full God mode. Unbelievable. Good, good, good stuff. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to go try and calibrate that camera one more time when I get back. SVB versus Tony Chohan. Let's see if SVB can hold on. Oh my god, is it John Mora versus Carlo Biato on the one-loss side? No way. How tough has John Mora's draws been? Unreal. They're getting started on table 11. Next door. We got three more rounds to go on the one-loss side. Whoever wins between SVB and Tony Chohan is done for the day. Billy Thorpe as well, going to play the winner between Mark Vidal and Oliver Ruger. By the way, Oliver Ruger was on the hill 3-0 versus Mark Vidal, and now the score 3-2. Mark Vidal, Claremont, fighting his way back into that match. All right, I'll be back. Let me try hitting that camera one more time. You guys can watch SVB warm up. sweat this one actually while we're waiting for Tony to come back to the table there on table 20 Hey guys, can I get some freedoms in the chat? Looks like we're getting started here. I want to see some freedoms in the chat as we get things kicked off between SVB and Tony Chohan. Let's see it. Let's pump up this match, baby. Yes. We just watched a hell of a match between Tony Chohan and Carlo Beato. Tony Chohan was down three to zero in game count. Comes back 
doesn't let Carlo Biato into positive ball count for the rest of the set and wins four to three. What a match. And now we got Tony Chohan to play, I mean, the man of U.S. Open so far in SVB. Can SVB keep his run alive? He's on the winner's side. The winner here comes back tomorrow to play in the hot seat match. Oh, wait. I might be lying. We might play the hot seat match today. I might be lying. Stay tuned for that one. Freedom! Let's go. Looks like SVB is off and running. Tony owes one, too. Could you mic Tony up? What did that say? For this one? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I wish. I brought wireless mics, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do it for just one match without doing the rest. It looks like Shane's finding something here. Playing the five off the stack towards this hole. Does he keep it protected? He does with the the 13, 15, and 14. And now Tony is. Oh, wait a second. Nobody owes one. That's from the last game. That's from the last game. So looks like Shane has one. Score confirmed. Shane has one, and he's trying to figure out how to keep this five ball in that spot to keep the pressure on Tony. He's looking at sending him way up table and keeping him like double and triple doubled up on the uh, the balls along the right hand long rail without selling a shot on the two maybe. I'm confused at what he's looking at because there's some threats by Tony's pocket. Is he looking at kicking off of the two? No. Dude, is he looking at kicking here? Off of the top side of the two and sending the cue ball this way? No way. No, he just thins the ball. Okay. Why was he looking from that side of the table? I'm so curious to be inside his mind while he's looking at that. Check out the Windows Open interview from Tony with Tony from like five minutes ago. It's hilarious. I'll have to check it out. If you want to know what we're talking about, just follow Windows Open on Facebook. He does all the post-match, pre-match interviews. Tries to get the players to razz each other a little bit. Tony went off. Okay. Yeah, we need a Neuralink implant for this match. Yeah. Tony needs a rail. Just barely getting there. How do you hit the cue ball just perfect speed like that? So sick. Uh, Miko, I do have the wireless mics here, but I'm not just going to throw it on him for one match. I, I, 
yeah, it's it's an extra thing for the player to have to worry about. Eventually, it'll be standard on the stream. You know, when we when a post up stream is live, the players just have a mic on. But uh, Billy Pepper's Windows Open. Just go to Facebook and search Windows Open. It'll be the first thing that comes up. He has like sixty thousand followers. Uh, John, politics in the chat. I consider that a selfish topic. Number one rule of the chat is don't be selfish. We're here to have fun. If you can, if you can ever talk about politics in the chat in the chat and it's fun for everybody, go right ahead. But too too often people get carried away with their own opinions on politics. And they get selfish with it. So, number one rule of chat, don't be selfish. We're all here to have fun. Yeah, Gary Thomas, you're going to have to go back and watch that one. I'm going to upload that video probably later tonight. As a video on demand. It was a hell of a match between Tony Chohan and Carlo Beato. It looked like it was over. It looked like Tony didn't even care about the match anymore. Came back firing. I, I don't understand. I guess he didn't leave much for, for Shane here. Since the, the five is really, you know, tripled up. I'd say if Shane had a look at the 12 ball right now, he'd be tempted to shoot the combo, but... He's really just... Shane's number one priority right here when dealing with this two ball is making sure that he doesn't leave any look to remove the five. He needs that pressure on Tony. Come on, David Hunter. You know better. Just, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. There's a time and place for that discussion, and it is not here. It is with all your friends and family and people that you care about, but not in a pool chat. Last warning, guys. We're here to have some fun. Tony looks like he's trying to either go off offense with his four ball or use it to move the five. Oh, he just comes underneath the five. Just comes underneath the five. Man, the 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 fencing, the jousting, like the dance that they do because of that position of the five, everything matters. Look at Tony, the the move he just made, tying up the four and the twelve. Before they laid out like this. Now they're tied up on each other. So the combo for the five doesn't exist anymore on the 12 ball. Tony looking like four or five shots ahead on that one. David, Daniel, David, I think you're, I'm going to take that as a joke. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Kidding, of course. I don't want to see that either. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel David. Where can I find that Tony interview? Check it out. Windows Open. Yeah, the person right underneath you put the, the name in the chat. Windows Open. Facebook. SVB going full offense. Where's the cue ball going to end up? Ball's tied up all over the table. It's going to be tough to run more than four balls here. Maybe five. Going to be tough to find that seventh ball that he needs. Or sorry, sixth ball. Oh, 
<laughs> right before Shane shoots that shot, Brest, Brett, Brett, what's your full name? Castellanos says, I always find these positions so tough. You know you have the advantage, but it's hard to find a concrete way to cash in. Talk about cashing in. Shane Van Boning finds a shot, rifles it in the hole, doesn't care if he sells out, and gives himself an opportunity to pick up a few balls. Plays the combo, finds gravity, and now... <laughs> Now what does he do? Every other ball on the table is tied up. Every other ball on the table is tied up, but if you can run flat into the 9 and 11 right now, you come up with a shot on the 12. Is that what he's going to try to do? Just go smack into the 9. It's that easy. <laughs> Joking, of course, guys. He's looking at maybe a Z positional shot here. Yeah, Shane, I think you need four. I like going into the balls that are on your side. Yeah, he tries to. It's a gamble because of this. If you go into the 12, obviously you, you end up with uh, a pretty bad spot, but it's much better than... Uh, in my opinion, it's better to try to disturb the balls on your side and open them up so you create more pressure for when your opponent comes to the table instead of trying to play position here and even if you get a good shot you're starting to open up things on your opponent's side look at the 11 and the 9 and 11 wiring up And Tony just saying, let's create a wedge out of play on my side. Did he leave a free bank on this nine ball, though? He, I think he left a free bank on this nine ball. And you can get the cue ball low enough where you don't have to necessarily worry about a return bank on the 10. Or even so, you could leave your opponent jacked up on the bank. I say... I say he's going to go. Full access to the whole cue ball. Comfortable. That's about as comfortable as queuing gets when you're on the rail and you got about 10 inches of bridge to work with. It lengthened out a lot. It's going to find the hole. Look at this shot from Shane Van Boning. Gives himself a little bit of room to bridge with. Over the 11, 3, and 6 as well. He's going to need one after this. Shane Van Boning coming out and showing he ain't scared. Wow, he's even got room to queue in between the balls. Leaves himself a bank shot, a free bank on the 12 ball. Probably, I would think he would have it would have been nice to roll forward just a touch, but probably try to keep the cue ball behind the 1 and 8 while you get the 12 close to your hole. You're not necessarily concerned with making the ball. Just create a ton of pressure. Wow, oh, he goes with the other option. Just make the ball. Screw the cue ball. Shane is so dialed on this table, man. He showed how much of a commanding edge he had on the field in the Banks tournament. Never even sweat a match. Guy's got the table completely dialed. Tony Chohan to break. Gonna take the pocket that, sh that Shane broke to. Ton of speed on this break and he gets a kiss off of the wing ball. Man, he was going with an aggressive break style, trying to get the ball spread open. And Shane's got a shot on this 15 ball. Is there a way to manufacture a second shot after this 15? Got to go full into the eight ball and like follow through it. It's going to be tough. 
Does he just blast it? He does blast it. Full through the eight. Gets a shot on the three. Shane might run this rack out. Two good shots here, and he puts himself in position to run the entire rack out. First shot to gimme. Does he not get there? That's what you get for calling it a gimme, Collins. He can't believe he didn't get there. Wow. I was sure he was going to get there. So he's looking if he can go rail first and twist the ball at speed. Maybe and go around the table to the two. I, I have no idea. He just gestured at the two ball. If it's bad enough, he might he might play safe, but it looks like he wants to go aggro. He's measuring out the rail first to see if it's possible. And he's doubling it. Can he twist the ball? It's close. It can be so frustrating when you were sure you were going to get like six balls. And then you come up with a shot like this and leave yourself hooked. These guys always trying to bury the other guy. And not give him a shot. Once you have an opening. Nope. Catches the ball thin. Overcuts it. Six goes back in front of Tony's hole. And Tony's got an opening. First blunder from Shane Van Boning. Comes in game two. The Tony fans come out to play in the chat. Tony could run 15 from here. That's definitely a possibility. Tony owes one. Oh, snap. You're right. He Because of the break. Yeah. Tony does owe one. So now the score, the ball count is accurate. Tony needs seven from here. Forgot to mark it when he scratched on the break. It's so tough to remember everything, especially especially when the game gets super interesting like that. God, this game is so interesting to watch when these guys play. Drawing off of the cluster for position on the 14. Absolutely perfect. Has an angle to move towards the eight ball. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick right there. And he just did it like it was a hanger. Like, oh, that's just the way you hit the ball. No questions asked. <laughs> the imagination, man. That was beautiful. Shane needs, or sorry, Tony needs three. Looks like he's going around these balls. Maybe to the 12. Does he have an angle to get back down to the 11? I think he just does. This is going to be a 9 and out from Tony Chohan. T-Rex. And Shane, all you can do is sit there and think about catching that 8 ball a little thick and hooking yourself on the next ball. Tony Chohan steals the game from a blunder on Shane Van Boning's part. That game took what? Eight minutes? Yowza. Meanwhile, dude, when Shane loses a rack like that, he couldn't he couldn't rack faster. He's just so ready for the next game. He's like, I'm gonna win this one. Mark Vidal Claremont. Versus Oliver Ruger. Game. Moving towards a climax at Hill Hill. And look at the spot that Oliver Ruger's in. Wonder what the ball count is. 
Oliver Ruger running balls. Interesting break from Shane Van Boning here. Uh, all access to these balls is kind of tied up except for the three ball. You can do whatever you want with the three ball, especially considering that the balls are tied up in front of his hole. Oh, and Tony's going to scratch. No, he's not. Wow, it looked like a scratch for sure. Tony went trying to move the three ball into the stack to get some openings on his side, but nothing opens up except the 11 ball. And now SVB free to play the 12 into the 5 and 9, maybe even get a ticky into the hole and, and play the cue ball into a safe position on the table to protect it all. Doesn't quite make the ball. This is okay. I mean, he's not going to be ultra disappointed unless Tony comes with an, a fantastic shot right here. Look at him looking at Tony, just looking straight at him. Okay, he's not thrilled, guys. It looks like Tony can get through to the 5 ball pretty easily based on... Shane's reaction barely catches the ball and now the five drops into Shane's pocket removing the pressure a little bit wow someone in the chat has caps locks on le caps lock on when you keep on caps lock I just ignore your messages because <laughs> it's I mean, you you got to use the, the capitals for emphasis, not for attention. <laughs> no worries, buddy. No worries. <laughs> no way he shoots the kick combo here. There's no chance. Just to, just got to protect the um, protect what you have with the nine and twelve. Well, he sent the cue ball up, and now... Now gives away some, some freedom for Tony to decide what he wants to do with this table. Because I'm pretty sure that Tony can see all the balls that are sitting in front of Shane's hole. And if Tony doesn't have a way to reliably run a few balls, the next option is to remove... Remove the advantage that your opponent has. Loud noises! <laughs> I don't know what we're yelling about! <laughs> I just tried to let him know because it seemed like you wanted attention. You know what I mean? Caps lock isn't the way to do it. Is this 12 ball cuttable? I don't think so. They're, they're only applicable, guys, if you're actually funny. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> now he plays the kick combo, and look how he lays the cue ball on the good side of the seven. That's a sick shot right there, guys. And Tony, look at the body language walking to the table. Tony a little bit less than thrilled, I guess you could say. The half smirk of realizing the position that you're in. The problem with uh, the, the, the real tough part about this position is normally if there's one ball over here, you might even be able to use the seven ball to get it out. But since there's two, it's really tough to reliably get them balls out of there. It looks like he's, he's kicking two rails to try to get behind. Oops, pardon me. Trying to get behind. He's going to go flat into the face of the 12 here or the 14. He's going to sell out. Oh, no, the 14's high enough. Guys, a little drama. Look at Shane. Shane knows. Tony and Shane both know Tony got away with one right there. Tony got away with one right there. When you go into the face of those balls, it's pretty rare that you don't leave a shot for your opponent. I would totally sell out, yeah. I don't think the seven banks from here, guys. Just got to protect what you have. He got a little skid on the cue ball. 
He got a little skid on the cue ball, so the cue ball stopped rolling forward. Look, that's what he's disappointed about right now. The cue ball, like, hit the brakes as soon as he hit that ball. And now Tony's got the freedom to slowly move these balls out. This is still winner's side. Yeah, the winner here plays for the hot seat. <laughs> what? Why is... Why is Melina Mike coming in here and throwing gang signs at me? What are you doing, man? Coming in, buddy. Why you gotta be like that? Dude, that last match. Did you watch the end of that last match with me? What, with Tony? Yeah. Yeah, when he three railed the ball, whatever it was. That's right, that's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Pretty strong. All right, what do we got? What's going on here? Fill me in on what have I been missing? One one? Uh a ton of action, actually. I like normally Is it limited? Normally to the hype? I talk too much, but like I really can't shut up with this match. That's wow, it's tough to do. Shane doing everything he can to protect this uh, this twelve and fourteen. <sighs> he left the cue ball a little low here. They're accessible with the kick off the short rail, but can you reliably get them both clear without scratching and without getting a funny kiss? So he just rolls at him, slowly moving him away. Just bide your time. Go with the reliable shot. Relieve a little pressure. Think he's banking this 10 ball? The 10? I don't know. The 8, maybe? I don't know. What about the... What about using the 2 to stick him in the, s in the stack or something? He, he likes your 10 ball. I mean, I kind of like Just bank it. it at the 12 and send him. Yeah. Send him up table, put him on the short rail. He's digging in. I like just dragging it over. He's digging in here. It's a funny little shot because you got to, like... You want to go into that side row and then push the cue ball down. Don't want to hit the 15 here. That's okay. Ooh, That's ooh. not bad. Got a hold of it in a good way. That's not bad. Can't see what's going on. Now, oh, wow. look at that. Look at how it ended up. Wow. Tony, does this 12 ball... Um, you can use the 12 to get to the 14. I don't think you can. I think, I don't, I think it's on the rail. You think it's kissy? Yeah. You might have to use the 15. And that's super dangerous because you're going straight at the ball. And, then and you might scratch you, behind it. Well, or you're going to leave a bank on the 10 ball. I think he's, he's just, just going. I think, it. I think he's, he's going. banking the ball. Yeah, just bank the ball. Sometimes you got to go. Sometimes you got to go when you're in a trap against SVB. Yep. Yeah, I interviewed Tony. He was a little tilted. Tyrannosaurus. A little tilted. He's a little, he's I didn't get to watch the interview yet. The, the chat's been talking about it. <laughs> he, was a, he was a little... If, if I thought you were spicy, Tony... Tony does not... Mince words. He, he, he don't care. Wow, look, he got the high karate on the 15 ball in order to keep it by the pocket. Did you see how good yeah. he hit that ball? Yeah. That's sick. Most are just playing to... Laid the 15 ball up on that combo, but he played that in a real smart way. Now he's got options here. He's going to open up the pack with the three ball. He'll have an option either the 10 or the 12 ball following. There 10 or go. 15. Or, sorry, 15 ball, excuse me. 10 or 15. Now he's sitting real good. You come back up for the 10 ball here. Do we really even need to... Do we really Bounce? even need to say it? You know what I mean? What's What are we saying? Rack him. Rack him and tap him. Ah, Yeah, yeah. Tony's the ultimate like like Tony's a what's the word I'm looking for a phrase? He just he's Tony, man. You know yeah. he knows how to build up a fight. He he don't mind. I don't I don't want to say insulting you, but just pushing your buttons in order to get you to you know try to get you to play. Now I gotta watch that video, man. Rack them oh. and tap them, baby. Tony's not arrogant at no. all. No. 
No, he's not arrogant at all. Tony just is a degenerate gambler, and he wants to play, and he wants to play now. Like if if Shane were to say, if Shane were to say, "Hey Tony, I'll play you for fifty thousand right now," Tony would would rake the balls up and flip a coin. He'd say the hell with the tournament, you know, mm -hmm. because he just wants to play, and he wants to play for a lot of money. And this is the same Tony who's lost with the last two or three times they played. You know, Tony doesn't care. Tony just wants to play. So. Tony don't want to play right now. Tony wants to go have a smoke, it looks like. So yeah. we're going to take a little break and sweat this hill-hill action between uh, Mark Vidal, Claremont, and um, Oliver Ruger. It looks yeah. like Oliver Ruger in the ball lead. Looks Mark like was down. Four. Mark was down 3-0. Yeah. And I just talked to him right now um, before I came over here, and he was like, he said, uh, yeah, I was down 3-0. It's hill-hill now, but he's up in ball count. And then he says, man, that guy plays good. The same thing like what Roland oh, told wait, me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oliver's down. No, I think. Or he took no, one out no, of the no, bucket. No, no, he no, had no, one in the yeah. bucket, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're not missing anything here. So, Oliver. SVB just Oliver hitting balls. Oliver plays great, though. He's a very he's a, a very strong player in in every every game really every game so Marvin asks where's Joey you gotta ask Joey that question <laughs> I, I, I know I'm in Vegas where are you at where you at Joey where you at Joey Ryan <sighs> Yeah, listen, Tony's the entertainer. Tony will will say whatever's on his mind. He's not worried about sponsors or hurting anybody's feelings or whatever. You're always going to get... But, I mean, a lot of what Tony says, too, is... Spot on with well, how he feels. <laughs> well, but it's also self-serving to Tony. Sure, you know I what see I mean? what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Calculated. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tony Calculated. wants what's best for him. And I, I'm not mad at it because he's unapologetically himself. You know what I mean? Yep. He, he's... He'll say it like it is. You don't got to worry about where you stand with the guy, you know? So, um, personally, I like that about him. And I, and I like people like that because, I, you know, I don't got to wonder, you know? I don't got to wonder anything. So, where Tony may, like, you know, Tony may like a little more favorable payout in a rotation game with a bunch of monsters. He may like it being more top-heavy in a one-pocket game, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because he knows he's got a better shot at it. But mm -hmm. that's just, that's part of what you get. And, um, but... If you look at any big gambling match in one pocket over the last, like when it comes to top level pros over the last mm, seven years, you'll be hard pressed to find one that doesn't include Tony. Tony's the only dude who'll play Alex, the only guy that can make a game with Dennis, the only guy that can make a game with Federer, Shane, Chip Compton. It doesn't matter. Who is he playing against? Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. So, um, and that's part of why fans like him and his creativity. Yeah. You know? yeah, this match that we're watching right now on the side while Tony takes a quick break is a certified post-up pressure cooker hill-hill match. How long you been sitting on? You've been waiting all two weeks for that bad boy, huh? Look at that and cut. Mark Vidal is going to be able to run some balls here at hill-hill. I don't think he is. I think he's only got one more ball. I don't, I don't think those balls go. You don't think the 15 goes? There's a gap between the three and the 15. Fo fo show. Don't make me pull out the zoom, you know what I'm saying? Can you go to that busted camera you had earlier? Oh, never mind. That 15 goes, baby. Okay, there you go. This is the busted camera. Oh, is it? Yep. He's telling Shane, get the hell out of my way. <laughs> I like it. I want to see Shane's face right now. Oops. <laughs> it's about the face that I expected to see. There's your boy, Brandon Birch. He's going to see the camera zoom in on him any second the now. The man who brought us over here, the man putting on this event. The made it happen. Yeah. The make it happen. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. One of them guys is probably watching right now, too. It's brutal. Who's anyway, that? Who's that? The make it happen people. Who's make it happen? Who's that? Do you remember those events that they did? The make it happen one time. Oh, one those AccuSats events? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. The Make the Title About Me event. <laughs> yeah. Coming to you live. Who made it happen? From, I don't want to say the pool room. I don't want to say the name of the guy either, <laughs> but anyway. I don't want yeah. 
It probably was. If you know, you know. Tony's yeah. here, by the way, guys. And Mark Mark Vidal is going to even up this game at Hill Hill. We got a barn burner. But we're going to go back to the action here on table 20. Just broken by Tony Chohan. SVB checking out some type of kick escape here. Not, not, the, not the best break on earth. Wow. Just get it out of here. Yeah. Just put that 10 in a good spot for you. And put the cue ball... Does he, does he ever kick here to try to move balls? I was going to say, yeah. No rail. No Tony rail. Worth, I think, though. Oh, definitely worth the foul. Yeah. yeah. Such a important um, tool to have there is just being able to kick with a purpose, you know, especially playing one pocket. I'll tell you who's good at that, and he, and he puts me on tilt because he looks like he's about to sell out. This is a dude sitting to my right. Say what? Yeah. What'd you say? I hate giving you compliments, man. But wait, what'd you say again? You, Sorry. You, you do these like goofy kicks where I just think I'm just chomping at the bits. I know he's gonna sell out. I just know I'm gonna get four here in a minute. Then he does these goofy <laughs> kicks, and, and for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, he just gets away with it. <laughs> he's. You know what Paul says? Paul Rossiter says he's so lucky. I don't know how he's so lucky. I agree with Paul a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen. If you if you keep getting lucky, is it luck? I don't know. We, yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. You don't like something. I'm surprised he's even going this way. To be honest with you. It's is he just you can to, you can move the six and four out and force follow underneath the three. You better be careful not to sell out a, a bank on this fourteen ball. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, sorry. I guess I moved that camera on accident earlier. <laughs> there we go. You do not want to let Tony see this fourteen ball if you're over on. If you're following this ball right now. That's not going to do it. Tony's going to bank this ball. How many times do you think Tony's shot at this bank? Ooh, it looks, this angle looks a little funnier than what the It's other a little one kissy, did. but you yeah. can miss it. Yeah, I see. Still Look effective, but... Turns out pretty good, that's hair, for if sure. It's a, cue ball's a little bit lower. It's beautiful, you know? Yeah. Carlo down 1-0 to John Mora. Wow. I'm really curious to see how this this match ends up between Oliver and, and Mark Vidal. We'll, we'll keep that queued up on the side and glance back occasionally at the ball count here. You can see Mark is in the right-hand pocket. And he needs one. Who needs one? Mark Vidal. Wow. Oh, the Tony's scratching. scratching. Uh, Scratch him. And now he owes two, guys. Shane oh, Van Boning's already up 2-0 in, in game count. You oh, okay? It's 2-1. To, to to I mean, 2-1, to one, that's what I meant to say. The funny part about that Tony interview is that after I get done, I kind of thought for a second, do I post that? Because Tony was a little much. And I'm maybe like 10 feet away from Tony. Then he says... And I didn't say nothing to him. I'm just kind of like thinking in my head. And he says, you better post that. You know what? You better post that. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. I guess, I, I guess he, he, he read me like a book. I don't think Tony wanted to play on the TV table with Shane. You know, he says Shane's been playing on there quite a bit, and I get it, you know. So, but this is the fans people want to see. And... I had to break his heart a little bit, you know. Yeah. He was sold out Whoa, here. He sold speaking out. Speaking of broken hearts, we might be seeing one walk into the bucket right now. What does that mean, walk into the bucket? He's grabbing balls out of the bucket. Oh, oh okay, okay. <clears throat> but 
yeah, it was uh it's fun. And I like getting these like, you know, little post game comments from guys and you get to see their emotions for better or worse, you know? Oh my god. It's a little touchy here. Yeah, this is like <laughs> Nobody wants to shoot a shot Nobody like move. this. Oh, oh practice stroke, practice stroke, guys. It's just fine. kidding, just <laughs> kidding. Just take it easy, <laughs> everybody. Relax. Tony's face. Just chill for a second. Let me clean my tip yeah. here. What does Shane have to say? Shane's, he's smiling too. <laughs> <laughs> he knows, man. Look at oh, that. He said, "This yeah. lucky, you know what? That's what, that's what <laughs> he's thinking. That. If you could have one of those yeah. dots with a cloud over his head, <laughs> he's thinking you're lucky. You know Jerry what? Jerry Stucker yeah. calls a ball. Yeah, yeah." <laughs> I love this game, man. I love this game. I might just stack two bridges on top of each other. Yuck. There you go, Tony. Oh, yuck. That's scary for me. I can never do that. That's funny because you're good at gaffy shots. It's when I'm leaning out to the side like that yeah. and I can't get the, the cue in the right position underneath my head. I can't see the ball. I can't see where I'm pointing anything. It's brutal. Now you know where to leave me, buddy. Not gonna get above the fifteen here. Just gonna, yeah. I wonder. Just take the four out. Yeah, but I mean, you don't want to sell out a, a bank either. Yeah, you just find a place to. You, know. you don't got a ball on your side, so I mean, Shane's gonna have a free bank if you just if you leave it. He's checking out the stack. I love I love this part of Tony's game. He's trying to find a spot. Maybe he was looking at the stack where he could come off the stack and lay him behind the four. I wonder if anything in the in the stack yeah, plays favorably for that's, that. That's big. I just I don't know what balls. ball you can hit. Maybe well, the seven. Nope. Had a dead one, maybe. Look at this. Look at this. Seven's almost dead to the hole. I don't think it's dead to the hole. It's almost there. It's throwable for sure. Pockets are playing kind oh, of big. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at this. That makes that makes a difference. No, this is what I'm saying. It's like the way this turned out, it's like money, baby. I might go after this. Uh, he ain't even looking at it. Never mind. The four ball? Yeah, I mean. Twist it off the rail, you mean? Because you can't cut it from there, but you, you might be able to twist kick it. But uh, I, I, whenever you're going man, for that shot, if, Mike. Let me tell you, if you twist kick it, you, me and you can, me and you can play some. No, but that's what I'm saying is whenever I see you going after something like that, I know I've got an open shot the next time I come to the table. <laughs> would you, would you like to play some? <laughs> no, I like combos like this, and I think if the four ball is high enough or uh, off the rail enough where it lays pretty good, I think you know. Yeah. So. Um. And I think you can bring the cue ball around as well and not leave Tony much with a big threat by your hole. The two cutting the four. The two needs to cut the four real thin here, guys. The cameras are deceiving. But it's off the rail, though. That's a, that's a big part of the Yeah, shot. so the four's got a bigger pocket. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Let's see how we do. But I ain't touching them balls over there. I'll tell you that. See what I mean? You come all the way back around just in case, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what do you like here? Well, I like not getting any more balls, probably. It depends on if the seven's throwable or not. If the seven's throwable, it changes everything. Yeah, if the seven's not throwable, what, then you got all the freedom ball? in the world. I think he's just looking to see what the return would be. You know, I'm, I'm, I think that's what he's looking at. Well, yeah, he's looking at what Tony's going to do next. I right. Think. But. Does the 12 go? If it goes, it's not free. Let, letting that cue ball go, though, is a problem. 
then again, that's SVB. Little overcut. Look at the cue ball, though, man. Yeah. Look at the cue ball, though. So uh, almost certainly the seven is not throwable from here unless you go rail first. But I don't think you're ever shooting at that. Because you'd be jacked up over the 14, having to judge swerve. But I'll tell you what, man, if you do go rail first and you spin the cue ball into it, the cue ball is going to have the appropriate spin to maximize throws. So, but obviously Tony's not even taking a look at it. Is he caroming the eight? Look. Oh my God, what a sicko. See, that's the type of you know what that you do all the time. All the time to me, <laughs> man. All the time. And here's the thing is that what what puts me on tilt even more when Collins does it, he'll start he'll start commentating his own his own stuff. <laughs> I'll run around the yeah. table and I'll laugh yeah. at him. He'll start commentating. <laughs> does this go? The same like goofy is, it, is that ball throw? Is it good? Can I get the carom? <laughs> Is it a quarter ball hit off the two? Oh, my God. Like, half the, the chat would be on pure tilt. I mean, I swear. And I'm just rolling my eyes, like, the whole time. God, oh what a God, sick God, shot dude, that was. No, no fear. Just make the ball. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you give me the replay on that? Of course I can. Actually, the whole run, depending on how much he gets. Never mind. That's okay, the end of that. You had to get him. You yeah. had to we say just, something, we just man. just them. Unbelievable. All right, come on. You tell me when you're ready. Tony knows it, too. The frustration there. Dude. <laughs> Hold on. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Dude, I didn't even know he could see the 12 from here. <laughs> to his pocket. SVB. Tony Chohan. Tony's just a sicko. Oliver Ruger lost. Wow. Did he? Good job, Mark Vidal. That, wow. He was down 3 0. Oliver's still in the tournament, though. Well, yeah. Let's see who he draws into on the one loss side. Let's see. He draws into Kaylee and then Lee Van. If he makes the money, he's into Lee Van Corteza. Well. Oh. Okay, now we're going to find out if this seven ball's throwable. <laughs> There's no way it is because then he would have. Come he, on, he, man. He, just he, let me live. You don't in, shoot that shot. Let me live in the fantasy land. <sighs> Rail first, nice and slow with a bunch of right. He doesn't even look at it. He's it banking, doesn't go. He's banking this ball. It doesn't go. What the hell are you saying? Now, is he gonna put, if he banks this ball and draws, is he going to push the six into opening up these balls that are trouble over there? Just look at it once, Tony. He's looking at it. No. He Stop it. Don't he, get my hopes up. He wants to shoot it for you. Uh, yeah, sure. Look at that I stroke. think I got the uh, camera on John and, and Carlo, but always oh, playing all cue ball there. And, and he's going to open it up. So he wants to, to do. There you go. Does the seven go now, guys? Does Perhaps. the seven go now? There's no carom there. And not enough room. Um Yeah, no. This is when I jump out the window against you, Mike, and I What's that? W especially when we're playing for three for free. I'll draw the cue ball off the fourteen. He just and and fire at that carom the combo. Dis <laughs> disrespectful stuff. Well, because I don't respect your game. I mean just the most disrespectful <laughs> stuff. <laughs> No, and then I and then I ask him to bet, and he just no hablo inglés. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. 
That Tony Bank on the 12 looked like a foul. He moved the 14 with his Q and the 6 rolled near it. I'm not sure. The 12 ball bank? Is he banking this ball? Is he... It, it was not a foul. He's just trying to put Tony in the trap here. Bank the 15 ball. I like that shot. You're going to get all kinds of comments on, on Windows Open about that shot. Look. What? It's not a foul. Because look at how little the 14 ball moves. And, uh, and look... At, we'll wait for Shane to shoot here, and I'll show it on screen, but... Shane's about to shoot. Just going through his routine, his process. We would have been done with the shot by now. Okay, he's crossed his legs. Here we go. Watch the 14 ball move, and look how close the other balls come, but they're, they don't cross the area where the 14 is actually sitting. See what I'm saying? So it is technically Shane's option to move the 14 in that moment, but it moves so little it wasn't a foul. The 14 was not hindering the path of the cue ball. Plus, let's, listen, at that speed, oh, my God. At that speed, it's it's very, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't know that he moved it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and it wouldn't be a move. He's looking at, like, three different things going on at the same time. Right. You know? So. Is Filler still in this? <laughs> Steve Griffith. Steve is trolling me. Guys, is David Alcady still in this? El Matador. No, we're playing cue ball fouls only, so if you only touch one ball, it's not a foul, guys. It's not. It's not poor professionalism. Not not in the rules that we're playing, and not in the situation that it happened. You you gotta you gotta trust me on this one, guys. Cue ball fouls only. If you only move one ball, it's not a foul, and the other player has an option to move it back. The ball barely moved. No other balls crossed its path. Its path, and it was not a foul. Can someone get Sky out of the bathroom? He should be up to play. <laughs> you guys are brutal. Well, listen, whether it was a foul or not, it's already over with. And players, uh, it was not a foul. Shane kind of laid that up good for Tony. I mean, not now, not this shot. But he's going to have to keep an eye on that later. Can he get on the right side of the three? I think so. Send it. No, not enough of it. Mora up 2-0 on Beato. Beato really close to bubbling in this tournament. How quickly can that turn? God, you were up 3-0 on Tony, and now you're one game away from being out of the tournament. It was a foul commentator. His cue hit it after the shot. Okay, thank you for educating me, Damo Kav, because you obviously know more about the situation than I do. <laughs> My bad. I'm not going to ban him. I, 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 need to be, I need to be educated, guys. <laughs> well, get your pen and paper out. Yeah. I'll take notes. Tony, no scratch, right? Yeah, catches the point. This is all right. Tony came through. Yeah, Tony's. You can tell, man. They, 
they both love beating each other. Oh, yeah. Like, love beating each other. Shane, like, Shane's a really quiet dude. Very aware of things he says publicly. Dude, look at Tony all that just good stuff. Looking right at him. But just look at just staring him down. He just looked away. But listen, there'll be some friendly words needling back um, if Shane beats him. <laughs> I guarantee you. So we get the mic on him. Jeez. Shane's kind of smirking about this shot. I wonder what he's going after. I think he's feeling a little saucy on this one, guys. Oh, that's that's gonna be a game. That's gonna be game. You think Tony easily runs eight or six from here? Tony's supposed to. Well, I mean, at least get one, two, three, four, five. I'd say three at the minimum. Can I? Well, oh, I'll take the over. Just a little bit of traffic. Yeah, you got some navigating to do, but a player like Tony's supposed to be able to handle it, and and more importantly. You better handle it because you got Shane. Oh, wow. You you got him. Blunders. Blunders be blunders. You're the one that said you'd take the over. I, look, <laughs> look at Shane. <laughs> oh, That's my God. That's the one. That's the Tony one. Tony just can't take it, man. Yeah. The tilt. Look at his head. He's shaking his head. He's just like, <laughs> rolling his eyes up to the sky. Oof. He probably said something like, good shot. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. <laughs> good shot. Come on, give it to him, Tony. I'm not rooting for anybody in this match. I just love the needling. That is so funny, man. All right, Tony, you're getting a second chance here. Is he two railing or is he just cutting it? Cut's pretty risky. For for uh, the cue ball anyway. I thought he would have gone at it with more speed. Yeah. Took the risk out by slowing down on the cue ball, but also <clears throat> gave up any chance of having a, a shot afterwards. We got a game, folks. A little high karate to keep the cue ball down table. Nice shot. He's banking his seven ball, ain't he? The pocket size on this table is four and a quarter. Uh, the, the action table on the left side of the room is four and an eighth. Bank's super short here. It's going to tie up with the six ball, too. It's not good for Tony well, to tie I up think, all those balls on the long round. I think he was just more trying to hold it with the with Hold the, the cue ball? Yeah. yeah. I think he left a bank here on the seven, no? It's tough to tell. It looks like it the way he's going after it. Played it in a two-way. But there's nothing. I don't think he can return anything here. Maybe you can get the nine ball back down table and put him behind that 15 ball. No. No. Yeah. Don't do nothing. Don't do anything risky. Everybody calm down. 3-3 three, three in balls. 2-1 in games in favor of SVB. What does the BNS stand for, Collins? I've been wondering that since like I first came over here. I'll wait. <laughs> Look, even the dude from Russia knows it's balls and score. Ah, okay. I'm okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Clearly. Balls and score. Batman and sidekick. What's he doing? What is he doing? He's getting rid of him. 
He's selling out of bank is what he's doing. He's relieving some pressure. Uh, if you need to take a break, you let me know, buddy. What? Put it on mute. That shot there from Tony. He's got three more and a bank on the nine. Oh, I actually just like the Russian characters. I'm from Colorado, Collins. Haha. -ha. Nice. Great cue ball there from Tony. Making sure to leave him on the rail. Chad's asking, can we get a response interview from Shane? Oh, oh yeah. look at the cue ball. Jeez. Um, yeah, I, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think... Sh Shane heard it because, I mean, Shane follows the page, but Shane was hitting balls warming up. So, you know, I don't think he knew. And to be honest with you, I think if he heard the interview, he probably plays with a little bit more spice in his life because Shane, when Shane's inspired, uh, he can uh, he can play a little with a little more energy. So, but I'll ask him about it, sure. You know, if, if he wins. If he loses, Tony, I won't. You know, I'll leave him alone, but if he goes on to win, I'll ask him about it. Here's the, de here's the deal about all the BS in the chat, okay? I was just following precedent. What are you talking about? What I do? Well, when Derby City Classic covers one pocket, they do B and S as well. So I was just following precedent. But I can change it. If B and G is better, I'm down. We'll change it for the next event. How's that sound, Mike? You I like mean, B and G? If the precedent is I'm following Derby City Classic, then yes. 100%. We're going to change the precedent. If, 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 that, if that's how you're starting off with, okay. 100%. Yeah. Okay, deal. Yeah. So you make your own path, buddy. All right? BS is good. We like yeah. BS. <laughs> Dude, this chat is all about BS. You, you know what I'm saying? We're about BS and jibber jabber. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Saved my life. We love us some BS and jibber jabber. Nice shot there from Shane. Got Tony all twisted up here. Shane's looking to get back in this in this game with two balls that favor him, but Tony is Tony's creative. Look at that. He kept him off that, that 13 ball, too. Yeah. Great shot from Tony. You think Shane might bank this nine? Yeah, I mean. Shane loves these kinds of banks. Like in bank pool. Yeah. If you watch the way he warms up for bank he pool, spears it's, it. it's I mean, with these banks. Just a, a million miles an hour. Don't copy Derby City Classic on anything. <laughs> he rolled down. I like the way he hit it, man. That's it. Yeah. That's too much on the inside. Way too much on the inside. Nah, <laughs> Castle's just trolling. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. He's got one on layaway, folks. And if Shane can't get this ball out, 
Tony's going to need one more. He's trying to. T- he took it out. Easy peasy. Never a doubt. Took it out easy. Ty Arnold, uh, if you want your chat or your uh, video to not be 1440p, or sorry, 144p, just go to this little gear icon, click on it, quality, set it to 1080p60. You'll never have to worry about foggy, uh, pixelated picture ever again. If it keeps doing it, then it has more to do with your your service provider than anything. No, I'm not streaming in 4K. No, 1080p, I'm in. Tony just cuts the nine ball. And has a bank. Oh, my God. Just knowing that those four balls were out of play, he takes the uh, the offensive route. Doesn't stiffen the seven ball enough, but now he needs one, and Shane needs them all. Seven ball going to get put back up on the spot. And Shane's going to try to bring a few down table. I don't think Tony's going to let him do that. I would think that Tony's just going to roll off these balls on the foot spot. Try to put Shane on the short rail. Yeah, Tony doesn't want to allow Shane to, you know, pocket all those balls up table and make make a string down table. Tony needs one. He'd rather have all the balls be out of play except for the one that they're fighting over. This two ball gets low enough. Sh- <laughs> no, that's in a real bad spot to try to cut the seven. So say bye-bye to the two ball. Two ball's got some mustard on it. Ooh, look at this. Kiss off the 13. Ends up on Tony's side of the table. Now Shane having to manage cue ball position without selling out two different balls. Yeah, I believe that Tony, pardon me, I believe that Tony does play with a Southwest. I think I have heard that before. Nice shot from Shane. Although he could go for the cut and and probably not scratch because of the two ball, but... No reason to risk it. Watch out for the seven ball. Watch out for the scratch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shane Van Boning finds the scratch. Tony says, I'll take that. Tony says, I'll take that cue ball. I need one. All I got to do is make a spot shot. Or, yeah, spot shot. Draws the cue ball behind the two just in case. Wow. (laughs) Wow. That is strong. Never in doubt. Never worried about the scratch. That is strong. Take it easy, Tony. Show us an even game at two to two. Two apiece. 
Fahim Zia, I'm, I'm glad you like the vibe, man. Thanks for the, thanks for the love. Yeah, this music is giving a little hyphy, isn't it? Let me change it, change it to the next song, see what we got on deck. Oops. Yo, what's up, Alex Crossman in the chat? <clears throat> One of our local Sacramentans. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Fahim, it's in the uh, video description underneath the video. You can see it down there. Make sure you get all the um, the correct letters capitalized there. It's it's dollar sign post up live stream. Every word capitalized P, capital U, capital L, capital S. Cash app dollar sign. Cash app is dollar sign post up live stream. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, obviously. Not required to donate, but if you do send any money, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We also have Venmo and PayPal if that's easier for you. Those links are all in the video description. Thank you for the inquiry, sir. Shane trying to get this cue ball up nice and high so that Tony can't kick the seven out, but I don't think he got high enough here. Tony's going to be able to bump that seven near the two, I think, unless he finds something else to shoot at. Yo, what's up, Corey? Corey Buchanan, the cannon in the chat. Yeah, we can follow up on some other scores. Um, let's see, things getting kicked off between Kaylee and Oliver Ruger. Looks like still on the first game. Roland Garcia playing Sergio Rivas. Current score, one to one there, and John Mora up two to zero on Carlo Biado. Not sure what the ball count is, but it looks like John Mora in the lead or in control of that match. Things just getting kicked off on table thirteen between Mark Vidal Claremont and Billy Thorpe. If you want to watch that match, you can see it on the Windows Open stream on Facebook. I take it back. They might have turned the camera over to John Mora, Carlo Biado, maybe? Shane Van Boning just kicking into the stack to move more balls to his side. I believe he got a rail. The cue ball gets sent up table. Nice shot. the 10 wired in Tony's hole I think it's pointing above the hole there I think he's looking at it right now now he's looking at Shane
I'm watching from UK and learning the rules here. If you hit a ball other than the white ball with your cue while preparing to play a shot, would that be a foul? If you only move one ball, it is your opponent's option to leave it where you moved the ball to or ask you to move the ball back. But if you disturb more than one ball, it's a foul. Or if you disturb the cue ball, it's a foul. It's called cue ball fouls only. Hey, Fahim, thank you so much. I just saw that. Thank you, man. Glad you've enjoyed it. All right, buddy. I'm back. So glad you're back. Where's Shane at? Correct. If, if you commit... If you go through the shot as well, Damo, if you, if you actually play the shot... And while playing the shot, you disturb one ball. If any of the balls involved in the shot collide with the ball you moved or cross paths with where the ball was on the table, that is also a foul. So basically, if you move a ball during your shot, a single ball, and it would have affected the outcome of the shot, like it changes the outcome of the shot, then it's also a foul. Wow, Tony, dodging a bullet here with the 11 ball falling in. Did you see that? He didn't see it. Look at Shane mean mugging him over that. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at the little exchange. What, I wonder what Tony's saying right now. Just... He's buttering him up. A little back and forth right there because of the fortune from Tony Chohan. Wow, Tony, or Shane just says wow and then licks his lips. Doesn't know what to do. The way these balls are sitting and Tony's like, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, P Shark Clay, uh, the reason a lot of players don't know about cue, cue ball fouls only is because it's really only extremely common in the States, in the United States. Everywhere else they play all ball fouls, as far as I understand. Learning a lot tonight, playing my brothers. They tend to make up their own rules. Yeah, it's I called, heard that. It's called I win. It's called I win. I got yeah. a two, a nine, a three, yeah. and yeah. a seven. Yeah. I win. win. <laughs> i tell you my favorite line from that movie. I can't say it on air, though. What is it? Yep. Do we have mics that we can place around the table to pick up pick up player talk? We only have I have some wireless mics here, but I'm not gonna just randomly spring it on the guys just because we know they like to needle each other. Eventually, it'll be standard for my streams, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to culture shock these guys when they're just trying to focus on the game, you know. Uh oh, uh oh, nope. No cut on the 12. Turned out okay. Hey, Tony, I'm glad you're having a good time, man. That's the one. <laughs> Jesse London. What? That's the quote. That's the line I actually said, buddy. That's the one. We put it on me right as soon as... uh. Yeah. Right as soon as we said it. That's exactly what I said. That's funny. Nice shot. Look at the cue ball. Wanted to protect the nine. I wonder if he's going to kick at the nine ball here. Oh, can he see the kick? Yeah. Maybe it's not good it. enough. Tony's real good at these shots, too. With all the other balls tied up, too, you, will he go it with speed? It passes the six. Yeah, it passes the six. Yeah. It passes the six. Sicko. Yeah. Good shot from Tony. Look at him get nothing. Look at him get nothing. Well. Yeah. 
Come on, Tony. Don't he's, you dare. Is he is he jumping? No, I think he's looking at swerving because if you swerve into this ball, you end up with a shot afterwards. But the problem is if you clip the 15 at all, you sell the game. He's weighing it right now. He's weighing the option. Yeah. If he decides to go with a swerve, we'll keep the camera angle right here. <laughs> no, he'd lay up behind the 12, right? Tie up them b other balls more. P depends on how aggressive you want to get here. I mean, you could bank, bank the, seven. the seven. Yeah, I like the seven. There's ball. a lot of traffic on the right side of the table. A lot of good things can happen here. Look at a lot of things can happen that are terrible. Oh, corner hooked him on all these balls here. That's he's looking at the stream. Say hi, Tony. Shane saying you all won. He's checking to make sure oh, that Shane had got? a ball because okay. there were two in the bucket. Yeah. yeah. Is he playing this kiss shot? The kiss off the eight. Yeah. Well, he's got nothing really from here. He can't see the seven because the one's in the way. So there's no there's no ball to re really roll off of here. He's in a spot. He's got to go. Try well, to kiss off the 15 and, and uh, send the cue ball to the backside of the three or something. I might but try you got to dig in to get there. I might try banking this one ball and laying the cue ball up. I'm trying to get the one ball to come off the top of the six ball and go towards my hole and leave the cue ball frozen to the, to the rail. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The thing is, you got you're playing to aim for that second rail, and it come off the six. But he's he he likes he likes a little kiss shot here. You're saying bank the one with follow though. Yeah, I mean, as long as I can, I, I don't want to sell out a return bank. And maybe you leave something to kind of dangle while you know with the ball close to your hole, but I like it played either way. Here we go. This Shane is gonna open the rack up. Though. This is gonna open the rack up. Is he rolling it or is he punching it? He's punching it because it goes. Oh, Why not just punch it because it goes and the eight ball comes out with something to shoot at? Look how fast he runs down there. He's like, okay, that one's mine. This one's going out because one went in a different pocket. Why do you got your camera out, Mike? Oh, we need the replay. Oh, really? You want a replay on I that? I need the replay. Why would you want a replay on that shot? Uh, yeah. Oh, and goes. he's got an angle Looks here. Beautiful. beautiful. I got that video of you singing. I can post, by the way. Still. Oh, I'm s I'm stoked, dude. Okay. Stoked, dude. Oh, nice little shot there. Nothing offensive here. Six ball does not bank. He's just going to three rail this ball out. Try not to leave something that Tony can play in return. Oh, can he? Yeah. The three doesn't get respotted until after his inning. Yeah, at so the end gonna, of the inning, the three went in a different pocket, so he yeah. spots it now. That's why he took it out of the bucket and not inside the rack underneath right. the table because he's not claiming it, as, claiming it as a score. He puts it on the ground so that everybody knows that ball needs to be spotted. Right. Checking the score. Tony's like, are you sure I only got one? <laughs> yeah. How the hell you get on them balls, Shane? <laughs> That's what he said. 
Yeah. That's what he said. No, no, no. It's 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 five to two or five five one. Sorry, five to one. He might leave a bank here. He's just balled a giddy up. I think he's fine. Yeah, yeah he's fine. Yeah, he got lucky there. Can't shoot the three railer on this table. Can't shoot the three railer on this table. Over on windows open, you got the other winner side matchup: Mark Vidal facing Billy Thorpe. Mark came back and won four games straight to beat Oliver Ruger. I think you got to like Thorpe in that match, especially because he beat Lee Van Cortez of 4-0 to in like an hour and 20 minutes or something. Isn't that right? Uh-oh. Hour and 29 minutes. Yeah, whoa, what do we got here? A little kiss off the points. Going to help Tony Chohan out. How, ha! Tony Chohan out a lot here. If you can find a way to fall into this window at any point. Boy, I, I'm going out on a limb and saying that if he gets over there... He may get a couple more. I'd say if he if he falls in this spot right here, he might he might make the one ball. If he gets right here, he might make the four ball. If he gets right here, <laughs> he might go home. Yeah. Okay. That's enough. That is enough of that. Oh, this is my gonna be good. Gosh. This he does not want to get on the rail off though. The rail, yeah. Hit that a little too good. Yeah. Boy, if he would have ended up on the inside of that seven ball and, and to be able to cue the, the cue ball, man, a great shot there from Tony. Just over overcooked it a little bit. Look at that shot. Wow. Look at that shot, Colin. Now, is he going to hit this ball with inside and come around three rails here? That's what he's pointing at. Is he drawing into it? No. No, he's coming around, right? Wow, look at that shot from Tony. Don't go in the hole, though. Tony's like, wow, Tony man. kind of flipped his hands over, like, yeah. how do you hit it that bad? And I'm over here sitting sitting, thinking, how, how do you hit, hit it that, that good? good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick shot from Tony. Getting back in this matchup. They're racing a four. This is Winterside Action 2024 U.S. Open One Pocket Championship presented by Q-Tech. T-Rex, Tony Chohan against Shane Van Boning. Winner of this match faces the winner of Billy Thorpe versus Mark Vidal. After this matchup, though, these boys are done yeah, for the day. He's going after the two railer. And he hit it, it pure. Oh, my pure. God. Tony, relax with the highlights. This guy. It's just not fair, man. It's How not do, fair. It's just ridiculous. How do you hit the ball that good? Go ahead. God, it, Mike, it's starting to feel like we're doing this every minute and a half, man. Just Tony doing Tony things. That is so dumb. What a shot. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he just bends over and pokes. I know, right? I think no the five doesn't stiff around the four that's for sure no mm -hmm. the three railer on the six goes but you sell out 
probably. He's just dinking off a ball, right? Um, five? Yeah. Just laying up. Just playing more cue ball, sending it down. Laying up. Trying to hope that Tony gives him something, makes some kind of mistake. Leaves him a bank. You know, he might go after this two railer on the fifteen on the stripe up there. I don't know where he leaves the cue ball though. Oh my gosh, dude. I was only thinking that because, you know, most of the balls are on his side of the table, up table. So if he can keep track of the cue ball there, he can at least keep some pressure. But the trouble is you don't want to leave it anywhere in this area. Tony tries to cut the two ball. And Shane's at least going to have a decision here. Tie game. Interesting. So Shane ties up the balls that are up high on the long rail and kind of goading Tony with a bit of a bank, but Tony, I guess, decides not to take the bait, but instead moves balls to his side. And now Shane decides to go. It's going to come up short. Oh, maybe not. Short into the, the short rail facing of the pocket, maybe. And now Shane needs two balls. Oh, hey. Oh. Coming in hot. You okay there, buddy? Nope. Nope. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> come on. Oh gosh! God, this game is so easy, man. If he gets on the six, if he cuts the six ball, I'm walking out. This game is so easy, guys. I love the speed. Yeah, you, you know, obviously you're speed. giving up your your uh, you're giving up your autonomy to the table you know what I mean you're not allowed to it doesn't matter how good you hit the ball if the table says no the table's not going to let it go I was going to use the F word but decided not to speaking of autonomy what a shot from, Saint, uh, from uh, Tony Chohan though twists the ball back to his pocket and now we're going to have one ball out of play. It's just crazy. What a match we've got on our hands, guys. Seven to seven, two to two. He's going to try to hook him. Yeah, you got to try to corner hook him here. Uh, oh, no. No, he's not. Thin him and put him underneath? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look out. He needs that ball to get some legs. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm not no. sure that it is. No? They can bank this ball. He's a little light. It's thin, but the cue ball is going to run here. No, I if think I think you can twist it with a nice full hit, and you can and play at the cue ball like way up on the top left long rail. You can you can leave that five ball more importantly by the hole. 
Just drag it in. Or in the hole. Ooh, right by Still, the hole. Still, I mean, great shot there. Yeah. Tony got away with it. Man, first to the hill here is a big deal in this match. <laughs> Boy, you're coming with some. Being, I'll tell you what. Insight. I'll tell Being you what. The, hill the first guy that get to the hill. A benefit. No, the first guy that gets to the hill is going to have the first chance to win. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets to the hill first, he's one step closer. Whoa. Wow, look at that. You might have just sold out here. And he is. There's definitely a cross here. Man, if Tony makes this bank in his hole, he might you just might win this game. Yeah. No. <laughs> I wonder if he knows that. I can go interview him if you like. Yeah, go interview him and see what kind of choice words he has. It's gonna dive. Is it going to be enough? Not, not enough today. Tell you what, though. If he would have made that, the game would have been over. Oh, what a nice shot there from Shane. Wow. What's Tony going to do here? You just lay the five up by the corner, top left corner. Don't want it to go in. That's close enough, man. Take away the two railer. It's pretty effective. I think you just roll up on this wall. He just looked at Tony like he wants to shoot the Tony Chohan special. You can't. I know you can't. You can't. No, I know, but it's like he gave him a little glance because he knows the shot that Tony shoots sometimes. Oh, whoa, what is he? What, he just lost the oh game there. Oh, my God. What was he trying to do? He's trying to tie the, the, you know, leave the ball hanging deep and put the cue ball straight in. Tony's going to have a chance at getting to the hill here. Shane's going to be absolutely sick if this ball goes in. And it does. Tony taking out the taking out the trash here. Do I have two more minutes to go take another smoke? T Rex. T Rex. Look at the rail birds. Look at the rail we got here for you today. Can you give us a score update somewhere? Yeah, we got uh, three to two. Tony Chohan ahead of SBV. Is that what you're looking for? This guy. How are things looking on ESPN, buddy? <laughs> pretty, pretty good. <laughs> good. Pretty good. Good. That's good. Why are you, why are you trying good. to air me out like that for, man? I mean, good. We got some one pocket action today. Yeah, Lee Van Cortez over there? What's going on there? That is. Is that a match? <clears throat> or is he just hitting balls? He's, he's just, just hitting, hitting balls. balls, yeah. I think he's waiting for a winner between this match. I don't know what the score is. Both of them playing pretty good. Someone's got one game. Captain Obvious over here. And somebody's got a ball cap on. Move your head, Michelle. Move your head. We <laughs> want to see the ball count. <laughs> there it is. There you go. There you go. Four. Someone's got four balls. There you go. She might have her headphones in. She might have heard me. Let's make sure we're not missing anything on our main table. No, we're not. If you want to see that other table between Billy Thorpe and uh, Mark Vidal, no, yes. You can check that out on Windows Open, right? Or is the camera not on that table? Yeah, it no, is on it that is. table. No, it is. Yeah, I turned it over. All right. 
Hey, Ty Arnold, relax in the chat. What are we, what are we here talking about, man? <laughs> What's going on in the chat right now? <laughs> just took a turn i know it took a turn for the worst what's going on we got to find somewhere else to watch something else to see you guys can check out digitalpool.com search us open one pocket championship and look up live scoring every table it's got scores going on we're getting down to four players today the winner of this match is going home and they're done here we go tony is back Roland Garcia is up 2-1 to one on Sergio Rivas. Kali'i's up 1-0 on Oliver Ruger. Look there out. You go. Look out. Billy, won a game. Billy Thorpe, 2-0 up on Mark Vidal. The winner of that match plays the winner of the, this match you guys are looking at right now. Tony broke serve. He's on the hill. He's breaking for the match. Left an open look on his most valuable ball. That most being valuable ball. The eight ball is the most valuable ball on his side right now, and Tony can see it. Okay. Okay. Is that Damian P? Got to say hello to Emma. Watching with Mr. Jam up himself. He, Tony, Ooh, Tony, can, bank. Tony can bank this two ball into the nine. And if he does, he may sh send Shane to the one-loss side. Yeah, I mean, if he makes this one shot, he's going to have a real good look at this 12 ball. Yep. Probably have an angle to do some damage. Where can we watch Billy and Mark? It's on Windows Open. Go to Facebook, search Windows Open. I might hire you to do a commercial, man, the way you said that. Yeah. It's pretty good. I put on my, my radio... Uh, disc jockey voice. Yeah. You can check that out on uh, Windows Open. www.facebook.com slash Windows Open. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I'm inspired now. All right, come on, Tony. Let's see what you got here. No. Oh, okay. Straight into the 12. He was trying to put it behind the 11-8 there. Yeah, that was more for the cue ball than yeah. anything else, but doesn't get there. I wonder if you can come off flat off the 6 a hair twist and try to roll up on the nine here. You know I like those shots, man. Wait, he's kicking at the nine, That's two rails, put him in the stack? Or oh. on the 12. Okay. You can't put him on the 12. One you, oh, unless you can, unless you're Shane Van Boning. Oh my gosh, and what some a damage shot down on the that table because the nine ball comes out above wow. the pocket. Look Tony, at that. Tony, take a deep breath, buddy. He's just shaking his head. That was a great shot there from Shane. You know how hard that is to do, I, man? I do know how hard that is to that do. That is a great shot from Shane. Long. Stealing the momentum. Too long. Is he going to sell out here, though? Too long. Oh, my God. Look it's at perfect. that. What a great return. I thought for sure he was going to fl fly into that nine ball. Well right worth taking a foul. Holy cue ball. In the business we call that. Chris Knowles, are you in the radio business? Wow, what do you do? Tap your cue and what say good do shot. You do? That's all you can do. Sweet. I'm just in awe. You're almost just forced to remove one of your balls or, or just... No, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, maybe you... There's a lane to kick through here and get safe. He's looking to come into the. He's looking to kick and then come into the by the fourteen and and seven maybe. Is Oof. that what he's looking to do? I don't know, man. Come this off the left side, 
go into the right side, take the, the foul. The only lane is he's he's looking at this. Into there. Now one more rail. Where's the ball gonna go? This is so. There is no margin for error here. And your opponent's on the hill. Yeah. That's why I was saying it's. It looks like that you gotta use one of your balls to try to get to a good spot on the table, but you're never able to protect one of your balls here. I don't think. Oh my god! Look at this. See. Oh what my I tell god! What I tell you? Get out of here, God! Masterful stuff by both players. You can see why they're on the winner side here. Oh my God! What a whoops! Considered top three American one pocket players are these two. You can tell why. Just great returns. Taking fouls to perfection. High execution. Great play by both these guys. Right there. Hey, uh, Brenda Mick. I want to make sure I say this right because I thought it said something. McNulty. Thank you so much for the love on PayPal. Does Shane O2 or one? Shane does O2. My apologies. You got two coins up? He's he's moved it. Uh -huh. No, no, that's Tony's side. That's Tony's side. Shane's about to take a foul here. Yep. Now they both O2. Was that a foul? Yeah, it was a foul. Tony says, put your coin up. That's what he's telling me. Okay, they both owe two. We're good. We're good here, guys. Yeah. Just got to be careful with that shot. You don't want to yeah. sell out. Yeah, you don't want to sell out a return bank. If you get right. too much action on the 12 and 14, you might open things up. What do you like here, buddy? I like not selling out. Ah, okay. You know, if I'm in this Noted. spot, if I'm in this spot against a guy like Tony Chohan, I'm doing whatever well, I can. You'll never be. I can tell you, you ain't got to worry about it. I can't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to I worry about that. Before. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make okay. sure I don't leave the guy a there shot. I'll tell you what. Oh no, he left him a, a dead ball. Is that ball dead? No. Yes. <laughs> Is that ball dead? <laughs> no. Come on. You kicking at it though? Is Tony kicking at it though? He <clears throat> he's either gonna pardon me, guys. He's either gonna kick at it right now or do everything he can to preserve that that combo. Here we go. Twist kick. Power one pocket. Missed the whole thing. And sold out the farm. Oh, oh boy. Devastating. Just devastating. Tony knows it too. He's like, come on, man. Why couldn't it just go that one time? Just he heard one you, time. Man. He heard man. you. Coach Dewey. <laughs> oh, that's the shot I'm shooting at because I'm a fish. I know you. you I'm not you, calling Tony a fish, by the way, guys. I'm saying I'm a fish, and I'm selling out almost every time because I'm greedy. He 
He's got options. He's just weighing out wh how he wants to go after it. I think he's going after the six ball, and if he does, oh this could be gosh. devastating because you're going to open up the whole pack here. He needs 10, guys. He needs 10. Look out. That ball took off on him. Oh, boy. Look at him shaking his head as he walks away. Yeah. Take a deep breath, Shane, and just stroke well, straight. If you're Tony, it's about as good as you can ask for for a first shot. He's just staring him down now. There is no shot clock in one pocket. He needs a bounce. Wow. He's got a there shot with two ball here. There it is. If you draw up in between the four and the uh, or punch directly in between the four, is he straight here where he can draw back? Like if you split the four and the one right here, good night, Irene. Who's Irene? Ask John Henderson. Oh, man, we miss you, John. Yeah, John, you were one of the goats. One of the goats. I love talking with him going to hard times, man. Yeah. He would just be loving this. Oh, man, he would be like, he'd be just jawing and laughing yeah. and jibber-jabbering yeah. like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Just like the rest of us. You know he's watching. Just hey, takes his medicine with the bank oh on the way. If he can make this, look at look how everything opened up now. If he can make this bank, he'll shoot another shot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are those jokes getting old to anyone? Because nope. they never get old for me. <laughs> That's long. So long. Wow. And look at the cut on the 12. He's got something. And here. the 8 lays up in front of Tony's pocket. He's spotting the two. Shane's coins by the second diamond. If you're new to one pocket, that means you owe two. He's paying those off, so he's back to... Well, now he's got one in the good side. And Tony... Can he see the 14? That's a good question. That's a really good question. I think the answer's really close. Really close to yes, but still not sure. The answer oh, is yeah. yes. The answer is yes. Okay. He, if he gets his ball off the rail, he could really do something here. I think he's going to go into a Collins. Unless he wants to just come out with two rails. Kind of like that a little better. Yeah. Dude, this is my favorite thing when someone in the chat says what the heck are these guys talking about with freedom <laughs> oh you'll find out hang around long enough and you'll know and you'll be chanting it yourself he just wants to fade this 15 ball here put him on the one a yeah a yeah doesn't want to leave a return bank though D how does that one four look not great well, but makeable if you're on the right side of the table it's makeable i think oh tony owes a couple so that's going to keep shane off the bank I'm not saying that he would have shot it either way, but. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> so fast, so new. It's all for you. It's all for you. <laughs> You're killing me. Here we go. John <laughs> That's what it's all about, guys. <laughs> Donovan, it's all for you. Coming in hot. 
Someday everyone in the chat is going to know all the words to this song. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, are we talking freedom or is SVB in jail? I mean, he's got a couple of options here. They're not all, none of them are really great, but. That is correct, Brian Smitty. That is correct. If there are only eight balls on the table and somebody owes one and they run all eight, then after they make the eighth ball, oh. they spot the one that they owe. See, now the, the four is definitely makeable from, from uh, either here or where he's going to achieve with the five ball. And it might actually be good, I was going to say, to shoot it earlier than later because you can, you can get position on another ball without having to worry about how the combo ends up. But... Definitely pocketable from here. Oh, see, Drew to the look three ball. That. Look at this. A lot more to worry about, though. In the hole. Oh, it's not in the hole, and he's going to sell out. Oh, my gosh. We're oh going hill, hill, boys. Oh, my goodness. Tony slaps the cue down. He knows. We are going wow. hill, hill, boys. Let me it's... help you out there, Tony, Shane says. And Shane is still alive on the winner side, and Tony knows that was a massive mistake. All the balls favor Shane. Look at how fast Shane's moving around on the table. And look, he's smiling. He's got, like, that kind of – This never mind. I was going to say he's got the smile eyes, but now he's back to focus mode. The smile eyes. Man, I'm yeah. telling you, that dude's getting a restraining order for sure on you, buddy, by the time this week's done with. <laughs> a smile eyes? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I don't. When life is no, good. No, I don't. No, when I life do is not. good and you can tell how happy someone is just ah, by the look okay. of their eyes, you know? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. He knows it's all about getting good on this next ball here. Boy, this music just fits the moment, man. It's intense. Yeah. Oh, just perfect. He's good. It's he's good. just perfect. Now he can just get the ball over. Keep that over. bridge out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. He plays with like a 20-foot cue, so. Yeah. Ooh, a little adjustment while he's down on the ball. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. He needs a bounce and he's going to get it. Where is he at in ball count? 3? I mean, that's what the scoreboard says. Ah, okay. <laughs> So you're playing for four. Oh, so five. Sorry, five. Shane's going to pick these off, and it's all about getting getting on one after that. Big mistake there from Tony. Um, yeah, total. Total uh, catastrophe. Six goes? Yeah, they, they all go. Every ball goes. Even the three goes if you get on it good. It's getting intense. All right. Needs three more. He's got an angle here, Collins. We're two balls away from a hill hill match. He wants it to run, but it has. How about just straight in for the last ball you need to get Hill Hill? How about that? Ten ball. Hill Hill. Hill Hill we go. Wow. Tony's got to be sick. And it's going to be Shane's break. Oh, boy. Don't go anywhere, Mike. You're going to want to watch this oh one. Oh, boy. What are you going to do? Nothing you, know, you can uh, do. Yeah, what are I you going to do? I mean, now, now there's nothing you can do. What you could have done was made the he three. He got good on the three ball, too. He got too. real good on it. Yeah, I know. You know? It just happens, man. It just happens. Happens to everybody. It's 
How long has this match been going on now for? Probably close to two and a half hours, I would think. This is uh, one of the longer ones that we've had on stream. Two hours. Hey, 11 balls flying towards Tony's corner. He's all right. No, I think... Man, is Tony going to take a look at this? Maybe it didn't quite get there. Man, it flew off that stack at a million miles an hour. He's going after it. Ooh, he's looking at it. This is one of them risky he's shots like where, like, the only into it, man. the only time you ever shoot this shot is when you plan to go either up and down to, to Shane's side of the table or into the stack. And either one, if you don't make that 11 ball, you sold most of the game. But we all know Tony's style well, is very volatile, very high risk, high reward. He Maybe could he'll just, he could win just, the game, too. He could just nudge it towards the hole and try to play safe somehow, but I don't think there's no, anywhere to get safe. No, no. Taking the conservative approach here. I wonder if he's going to bank that 11 Look ball. How fast Shane came out. I think you might try to bank it off the... Uh... Shane's like, you should have shot the cut. Look at Tony's looking at him. The Shane's hell, like, you should have shot at? the cut. Look at it. Tony's like, you shoot it for your money. That's fine. I wonder if we can twist this off, off the rail, off the 10. And send the cue ball above the stack? Yeah. That's not a bad shot. Especially if you hit it with a high ball. Yeah. You bank the 11 back this way into the 10, off and the, the 10. cue ball just goes... Yeah. That's what he's looking at. He's here. looking at the line of the cue ball here. Yeah. Unless he's looking at banking the eleven into that spot and sending the cue ball up table. You know what I mean? If banking the eleven into the stack and sending the cue ball up a little bit. Yeah, I he's mean, jacking I, up. That I might like be it. what he's doing. I like it because then you're gonna have just threats all over the place. so good that's so good look at this wall of balls that all go to Shane's pocket at some point it's like way easier to develop them towards Shane's pocket than it is towards Tony's they're also protecting all the good stuff that Shane has right here yeah but he's also got an area where he can get into to keep him off from making a cut maybe no he comes up on the bottom. You talking about Tony? Yeah. Tony can leave him down here. That's what I'm saying. A lot. But if he leaves him up here, I'm pretty sure the rail no, wait, first yeah. ticky off the ten makes the four ball. He may, he Not to up. mention the three ball combo. What's Tony looking at? Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, like seven right six, there. seven, all out in the open. And all Tony can do is stew. Just sit and stew. Well. Oh, boy. Things can. Things can shift, man. This is winter side action, so the loser of this match will not be out of the tournament. That's correct. We'll just have a little bit longer road. Do you know where we playing the hot seat match today? Or are we going to do the hot seat match tomorrow? Oh, you get on the, the 11 four? on the 7 ball. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. Forget it. Forget about it. I think two guys in the chat. Saying who called the shot first. It was the me. What? No, it was me. Called what shot? I called the shot. No, I called the shot. What are you talking about? Oh, people talking yeah. about how smart they are in the yeah. chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what the chat is for. To prove to everyone how how valuable your brain is. Yeah. Okay. That's why I sit on this mic, because that's why I just want everyone to know. <laughs> how ridiculous we are? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Let's see. Seven. Eleven. Come out for the six ball now. Any anything you want, you yeah, know what I mean. It's, it's like it's Scott nine, Frost says: if you're gonna get nine position nine. on a ball, nine get nine. position on the highest ball of the table, because it'll allow you to get anywhere you want after that. And uh, Shane is gonna be done for the day. Four, eight. Are we nine, playing the hot ten, seat match today three, or tomorrow? Three. Hot seat matches tomorrow then with the final four. Whoa, 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 It goes. We're coming back with four, I thought, didn't we? We're coming back with four, but the question is, do we play the hot seat matches at the same time as the fourth place match? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah. He's going to bank this two ball. Not the way he wanted to go, but he will well, certainly seven, take it. by the way, guys. He, has, he needs one here. He needs this one. For a spot in the hot seat match, SVB, he's won two events so far. Looking to make it three. Ooh, it twists long. Can he get it protected by the stack? No, he doesn't. This game isn't over, folks. Tony's going to have a chance. He's got a chip in a chair, as they say. Who's they? Poker players. Ah, okay. Jerk. That was a little callback, by the way. Yeah, I know. Nice shot there. Removing some balls over from Tony's side. Don't want to open anything up if you don't have to. Tony looking to press a little bit. Oh, yeah. And that might be it. Unless he's his cue ball freezes to the short He's going to have a tough shot, but he's going to have a shot. He'll be playing the eight ball here. You think the eight? Not the 14? I think the cut looks like it lays really good. You get better cueing mm -hmm. in the corner pocket, and then the cue ball will lay up on the left-hand long rail if you miss it and keep the 14 protected. Just don't like if you come off thin off the ball. Yeah. Just think I can control a little bit better. Can you miss a secondary collision with the 13, though? Well, it's tough to see from here if the 8 is low enough with the right angle to miss a collision on the 13. 14's not bad from here. It's not great, but it's not bad. Both shots. Not great, but not bad. He's going 14, maybe? Unless you can see the five. I don't like him. Jacking up. <coughs> Excuse me, jacking up. He can oh, see the five. Geez. No problem. That's it. You think he jumped over part of the two ball there? You see how he dug down? Oh, well, yeah, that's because the whole rail's like pounding on the counter. Yeah. Wow, what a match from uh, both players. Shane Van Boning, Tony Chohan. Shane's moving into the hot seat match position. Tony Chohan sent to the one-loss side. He's going to play the winner between. Let's see. This is match 53. He's going to play the winner between Oliver Ruger and Lee Van Corteza. By the way, Oliver Ruger just making it to the money. Pl about to start playing Lee Van soon. We might see that one on the TV table, guys. I think that's our TV table match. I'm going to go confirm. John Mora looks like he's coming up, getting ready for a TV table match. Let me uh, stick you guys right here. Let's do this.
Let you guys see the room and chill for a minute with the chat. And I'm going to go talk to the TD. If you want to see these post-match interviews that Molina Mike is putting together, you can go check it out on Windows Open on Facebook. Follow that page. Dimo Cav, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was really fun. This next match, if we've got Oliver Ruger and uh, Lee Van Corteza, it might be really fun to watch. Let's see. I'll be back.
Okay. Oliver Ruger, Lee Van Corteza. I think I'm going to... No, we can do this one more match, maybe. You know what? No, guys. Guys, I need to do a reboot on... Um... We actually need to do a full reboot real quick on the stream because this match is going to go over six hours and I don't want to end up having to uh, deal with any any potential issues on the back end. So um, it looks like we've got a minute or two. I'm going to go back live as soon as possible. I should be able to catch the lag here, okay, guys? You're going to have to click into the new stream, okay? I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oliver Ruger to kick things off. Let me make sure that we're live in all the right places. I think we're still live on Griff's TV, though. Let me make sure that Post Up is still live. Just did a little quick uh, stream reset. Let me get the score right and the... Correct names on the scoreboard here. Just watched a heck of a match between Shane Van Boning and Tony Chohan. Oliver Ruger's break looking really nice. Cue ball a little bit far from the rail, so Lee Van Cortez is going to have a little bit more freedom with what he can do to try to escape this break. Good shot there and laying up the cue ball in a good spot. There we go. Everyone on YouTube found the new post up stream. If you like the post up chat, you got to watch on post up. That's the, the chat I interact with. Um, the chat we hang out with. Oliver looking like he's going to do something aggressive with this eight ball. Maybe sending the eight three rails. Or maybe just thinning off the side of the eight and putting the cue ball on the right hand long rail. That's what he's doing. Who won between SVB and Tony? SVB ended up getting that one. Hill Hill. It was a heck of a match. You got to go back and watch it. Holy crap. Sorry about the game count on uh, Lee Van Cortez's side. There we go. Just got to triple check a couple more things, and I'll be right back with you guys in the action, okay? We are back on Facebook. That's good. All right. Time to put the players' names in the title. Who goes there? Randy Walker, get in here. Come hang out for a minute. Let's watch our boy Oliver try to uh, knock off another one of these monsters' heads. It's, all fire in here. it's a little warm, yeah. Okay? Yeah. You need a beer? No, I'm good for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that'll be that'll be a little later once we get in the. That's my rule on this event is only during the last match of the day. Oh, okay. well, good rule. Yeah, I don't want to get too tired or too uh, too much fog. 
Make sure that mic is in front of you, man. Let oh. the people hear you. Randy Walker, guys, uh, local player out of Sacramento, California, sent Corey Duell packing. He was up. Oh. <laughs> Corey Duell was up two to zero mm. on the one loss side versus Randy, and Randy found a way to come back and and uh, steal that match. Yeah, that was uh, that was a highlight for sure. That always happens to me. Huh? It happens to everybody. Right, right. There you go. Were you uh, sweating that that Tony Shane match from the rail? Yeah. Yeah, what a match, man. Yeah, it was a few of us were over there talking. We were watching it on the table, watching the replay back, watch, you know. That was crazy. Crazy. Look at this. Taking a foul here. Trying to protect what he has. Taking a foul. Pulling the coin out. There you go. Yeah, Oliver's been playing really solid really one pocket. Solid. Well, he already sent the last two Filipinos that he played. I mean, he put Alex out of the 10 ball, right? Alex Bagulayan. And then he beats Roland Garcia already on the winner's side of the one pocket. Yeah. A couple nobodies. A couple nobodies, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, this is one lost side. Thanks for letting me know or, or keeping me honest. We are updating the race. The race count is only going to three. You guys in the chat are the best. Yeah, you all are awesome. Always. Hey, what's a bite? We got the best chat in pool. Hey, you guys have been killing the stream so far, too. Oh, by thanks. the way. It's like been so fun, man. It's been a really fun event. If I could do this once a month you know what i mean not even for two two weeks straight but like for a weekend mm -hmm. i'd be in heaven it's so fun yeah and it's been it, it's looked so good crisp clear you know that is due to a big shout out to uh to griffs here and what what mark griffin put together and what brandon continues to do the the conditions and the lighting for this table are mm -hmm. phenomenal like yeah. it really is it really does make a difference it's actually such a difference that I plan to talk to Oscar about it when I get back, um, about hard times. We could really upgrade the lighting on that the, our feature table there at hard times. Cause, oh, yeah. Because you will – I mean, this image, how do you compete with that? Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can. It's beautiful. We were at the hotel room last night watching some playback yeah. from earlier in the day. Yeah. And uh, we got a, a, a good-sized TV in the room. Um, actually, I was surprised how big it was, but uh, – we were looking at it, and wow. I was just like, "Man, this looks like I'm looking out of a crystal clear window." At, sure, sure. Like at the live. action, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, dude, Oliver so Ruger good. playing a combo right there and gets an unlucky kiss on the ball that he played the combo with, which makes him turn up with no shot. Unlucky, bro. Kyle Libby, this is a good friend of mine, Randy Walker. He's from Sacramento. Uh, one pocket enthusiast. Check out the shirt. Repping that one PKT. Shout out to the sponsor. That's yeah. right. If you like one pocket, you definitely ought to check out that merch. But uh, Randy's a real good dude from Sacramento. We play some, we play what, on average, maybe five games a month, five, six games at one pocket at least a month. Yeah, maybe something. Yeah. Something like that. Well, when you when you actually play pool. When I play pool, yeah. <laughs> this shot pretty good. Doesn't want things tied up. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everyone? Man. Oliver does such a good job of keeping the pressure on. Look at the protection he has. Mm -hmm. It's like huge wall of balls. It's almost time for Lee Van to kick, you think? Could be. It's kind of... I wonder if... Uh, what he can do with that 11 ball. If he could sneak that 11 ball and then roll the cue ball forward. Through? Yeah. Like bank the 11 almost at the balls that are in front of Ruger's yeah, hole just, and follow through. Just miss the three maybe and then follow down. Disaster can happen, though. It if, can. if this hits this side of the five and oh, the five yeah. kisses off the two and comes out here, disaster. Yeah. But if you can bank the 11 onto the top of the five. Or maybe even the one might be a little bit better because of the angle coming off. Yeah, and then just, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that and roll the cue ball well, down. Well, don't want to sell a return bank. No. He needed to try to get uh, get that down there. The cue possible. ball a little bit more, yeah. A little bit more spin. Even if you don't bank this at your hole, just banking it to your side and sending the cue ball a couple rails back into safe zone is super potent here. Actually, it's even better to get the one right here. 
Like oh, don't yeah. even don't even send the one at these balls right here. If you get the one above the pocket and everything protected, yeah, because then you have balls high and low. Yeah, he's he's looking at maybe he can't get the enough of the one. I I don't know. He was looking at banking it towards the two. I think. Let's see what Oliver does. That's one thing I love about this game because you can There's get a so couple many. people come up and someone would do something different. Mm -hmm. You know, and certain shots, you yep. know, it can be just as potent, just as strong. I don't know where I left my monster. I don't Doug Whaley in there. Uh, Is that really full? No, empty? it's really empty. Okay, that's that's <laughs> Mike's. He chugged that thing. Josh Palmer. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> you get around. <laughs> I had to come support Collins up here. Come on. He's or, a post I guess it would be down here. Post up enthusiast Randy Walker sweating all the... Oh my gosh, Ooh. he went aggressive and it turns out. Look at his cue ball skipping off the stack and he still has a shot. Oh, wow. Wow. And Lee Van knows that wasn't luck. Maybe a teeny bit of fortune to, to skip off the stack, but the speed that he went after it with was conducive to, to leave things out in the open. Oh, yeah. I mean, at a minimum, he didn't make that ball. It was going to be hanging there. And he had, I mean, yeah. Lee Van was still going to have some. I mean, I guess if the two just sat there, he could have just shot and made the two for him, you know, and rolled it under the five maybe, but. Oliver's got such a good cue ball, man. Yeah. He's got a great angle here, and he's such a good ball pocketer that uh, he can basically put the cue ball anywhere on the table right here. So he's going to, this is, that's the uh, four now with these colors, right? Yeah. Should get at least three more balls here. I don't know if that 11 goes past the stack into the hole. Does not. No. Nope. That is a negative, really but the 12-15-6 combo is... No, it's not not enough gap between the 12 and the 15 to shoot it. But uh, definitely has an angle to get above the 3 here, I think. He's looking at the 15-6, the but 15 and 6 lay real good with each other. It's... Pardon me. It's getting to them that's the yeah. problem. And the 14 doesn't, it doesn't bank, does it? Past the 8? Oh, he says he's got half the pocket with the 11 here. He's a little straight to get more than he's got, but yeah. if he's going to be able to pocket the 11, it's a good thing. Yeah, pretty tough getting... I mean, main focus is making this ball. Don't, don't do too much trying to get shape because this is so tight. You do not want to accidentally clip yeah. that 15 into the 10 and push the 8 down. Yeah, you don't want to disturb none of that. I don't know the one pocket rules. Do you have to call a ball or a pocket? It's pretty much implied because there's only one pocket that you can shoot at. So it doesn't matter how it gets there. As long as the ball goes in, you get the point. Hey, Billy B. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Billy Burgess. All right, what's the plan here? He's thinking about it. Is I'll tell you what about Oliver. Him? I'll tell you what about Oliver. There are very few times where even if he doesn't know, like, the correct one pocket shot or whatever it is, there are very few times where he makes an objectively poor decision. He's very, very, very smart. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong pool IQ. Yes. Yeah. Thinks things through. You don't... Re I don't know. I've seen him play several different times. Um, and he just... You don't normally say, what the heck was he thinking? Right. <laughs> After he shoots something, you know? So just moved it, rearranged furniture a little bit, still a threat on his side. Can I physically pick up a ball and place it in my pocket? Give that a shot. Let me know how it goes. Foul. <laughs> <laughs> Tying up all the balls in the stack, laying the cue ball in a good spot. Yeah. Keeping everything covered with the three. And now Oliver's forced to kind of move that three, I think, back into the pack a little bit and then send the cue ball to the other side of the stack. 
You might also be able to send the three below the stack and send the cue ball up table a, a bit. Yeah. Those are the two options, really. Yeah. He may just opt to come off the right side of the three and roll down. Just try not to move the three that much. Just fan it. And then yeah, but you want to yeah, get on the, the other stack. side of the stack because you like where the three where it is. Yeah. yeah. Yep, just like that. Close yeah, to the rail's pretty the rail. good. Good oh, chance yeah. that this will go back and forth like this a few few rounds until someone makes a bigger mistake. A couple more updates on the scores. On the winner's side, Billy Thorpe beats Mark Vidal Claremont 4-1. to one. So he comes back tomorrow at 11 a.m. to play SVB first thing on the stream for the hot seat. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be a good match. Both of them have been absolutely obliterating the competition when it comes to banks in one pocket. But as we just saw, Tony Chohan. Had his chance to uh, put the fire on SVB and didn't quite come up there or just barely comes up short with it. Yeah, he made a nice comeback. He was down in that set, wasn't he, in that match? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, John Mora sends Carlo Beato to the rail without cash. Carlo Beato bubbles the U.S. Open one pocket after being up 3-0 against Tony Chohan. Tony comes back and beats him, and then Carlo Beato bubbles 3-0 versus John Mora. John Mora playing Roland Garcia right now, getting started about the mm. same time as this match. We've got this match and one more for today. It's probably going to be the winner of this match versus Tony Chohan, unless the chat wants to watch the winner between Roland Garcia and John Mora play Mark Vidal Claremont. We will ask the chat as soon as we get results from those matches. And then someone earlier in the chat, um, it's gone by a little bit now, but someone was asking if, if Shane's a lock for the all-around now. Ooh. Based on, because yes. he won 10 ball, he won Banks, and he... Yeah, he's in the finals almost. He's in the hot seat match. He's guaranteed third place. So... I think he's a lock. That should... Even if, it, even if Lee Van Corteza wins the whole one pocket, I think he's a lock. Let me confirm that with... with uh, with my boy if Melina he's not, Mike. he's got to be very close. Very right? close, yeah. I mean, Let I me, uh, I'm actually going to step out and grab my monster that I left outside, and uh, we'll come <laughs> back with the answers. <laughs> There's Collins getting answers for y'all. Yeah, Tyler, I, I think that I think both Collins and I agree with you. I mean, it, winning two out of the four so far, and the uh, you know, getting being in at least third, uh, third, third, fourth, the points he's going to have, you know. Uh, Dakota, Shane's not in the finals yet. Um, he'll be playing for a hot seat tomorrow, I believe. Corey, what's up, man? Yeah, we are almost certain that that's a lock. JB says T-Rex for sure next up. Tony match for sure for I, Nick. Yeah, I would assume that people would prefer to watch the winner of this play, Tony Chohan. Um, a little race to three. but We'll see. Like I said, when we get the results, we'll make it interactive in the post-up chat, and you guys can vote. See if you guys can achieve another 50-50. Did you guys, did you see that? What's that? Over all my polls that I did in the chat, there were like four in a row that were perfect split polls. No. Did you, did you see that? No. I had two 50-50s in a row where like we had a vote and they came up 50-50 with like 500 votes. So coin flip? Like the people, <laughs> yeah. the people couldn't decide, right? Right. And then I did a four, a four choice vote. And I'm not joking you. At 300 votes, it was 25, 25, 25, 25. It was almost like the chat was trolling, was trolling me. <laughs> they might have been. And then we did another 50-50, and it came up 50-50. It's crazy. How many uh, how many folks watching right now? Um, we Roughly can see right here. Uh, let's see, <coughs> 900 <coughs> and 1,200, about 2,000. Nice. People, like and share, people. People love in the one pocket, man. The average view duration in one pocket is always way higher than all the other games because people's, the people that come to watch come to stay. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, you, 
with that game versus, you know, rotation, one thing can happen that changes the landscape of the game. And it's like, you almost don't want to miss it, especially depending yeah. on who's playing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You walk, I mean, yeah, you walk away for two minutes, come back, you're like, wait, what What just happened? <laughs> mm-hmm. Kind of like that Tony Chohan, Carlo Beato match. People people left when Carlo was up 3-0 and they came back, they're like, what, Tony won? Look at this shot. Yeah. Look at this shot. He's going to have to play the Ooh. up and back for the uh, for the 14. Did the did the seven ball deaden up? You know what I'm saying? Is the seven ball looking pretty? Seven ball's close. The 10 7? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Looks pretty like close. Might be there. He gets the cue ball above it, uh, above a little bit. I think that he could, the 10 look can throw it. Yeah. And then the cue ball come down. This isn't the easiest cut shot in the world, too. Lee Van has four Stretching here, right? Stretching out. <laughs> or a bridge. Lee Van must have four here. Or extension. No, he has three. Someone asked if Shane was in the finals already. And He's in the hot seat match. Yeah. Yeah, hot seat match. He'll come back tomorrow. He and Billy Thorpe have locked up, worst case, third place. Yeah. Um, that same person replied, "He, you, we could basically say he's in the finals with how he's playing." Right. Yeah. That last shot, he fired. Everyone's like, "Oh, there's shoot this, shoot that, shoot that," and he fires the five ball in. Yep. Look at this cue ball. His oh fire my gosh! Is ridiculous. Look at this. You think he goes? You think he goes with this? This he's gonna look at it. Yeah. He's, he's gonna look at the ten ball. I think he got. I think he left the the cue ball in like just about the best spot that he could to try to play this he sees it right now he's just looking at it because then he could just bring the cue ball draw the cue ball down to this diamond here and then this rail you know yeah see what he decides on because people are trying to see on, i think he's trying to see it. how much of the 10 ball he can see here he's scratching his head He's looking at it like he has to play it as a combo, like there's a gap between the balls that he has to play it as a combo and and not like a, a thrown dead ball. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The, uh, what is that, the 13 that's tied on the 10? Yeah, that ball doesn't go. It doesn't go past the 7 like Karen. Well, oh, you wouldn't want to do that anyway because you're throwing the certain, 10 to yeah, the 14. I'm pretty certain the reason he keeps looking above the balls is to see how much of the 10 he can get a hold of. Yeah. And if he doesn't think he can get enough... Um, I don't know. Make the three in the side. I I don't know. Now you could do that and, and even roll it up, to tuck it right under the eight if you wanted to. If he, uh, no, he doesn't have no, that angle. No, not that angle. Yeah. No, I, if, I think if, he goes here. You could also put the the spin to make it. Yeah, he's gonna go get better. it close if not in. Oh, but the fourteen comes out in front of Oliver's pocket. Is this ball cuttable? Oh boy. All Drama. Of chances, chances, chances. Nah. You don't think that's... I it the, Okay. It's possible. But if you don't make this, you got problems. Because you're hitting it. You're fanning it so much. The cue ball is back and forth. He's got... Lee Van's got a ball sitting in there. Got the 13 up high. He might even like the fact that the ball's sitting in there so he doesn't have to worry about scratching. If the cue ball's going at that seven ball off the 14, I'm firing all day, every day. I don't Oh, man, it's hard to tell from here. I don't think it. I don't even think you need it to It looks elevate. like it hits the point. Could be wrong. Oh, yeah, he got it to roll in. And he didn't. He still hit the seven, but yeah. the seven doesn't fall. Oliver needs, wow. uh, Oliver needs two here, guys. And they're right there. Yep, they're right Ten there. Got to come with a nice up. stroke here. Yep. Nice stroke. I wonder if you almost even play the. Uh... Ooh, this is actually kind of tough. Big stroke here, or maybe even the rail first. I'm gonna go forward and two rail out. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, Could that's why I was saying yeah. it was tough. The angle didn't lay natural. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, no brainer here. You just, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah. 
that on the point enough to where you can get that don't out of there? Don't even try. I'd say you don't even yeah, try. With where the cue ball's in the middle of the table, you got the ball lead. The balls are up table. Yeah. Fight over one ball at a time. The eight and the seven, or the eight and the three, are essentially out of play here as well. Yeah. You could gamble right now. The seven's on layaway. You know, if you get the 13 real close or make it, the game's over. The three and the eight are out of play. The three's in play for Lee Van if, if he, he gets, gets way up table, table but he's never yeah. going to leave him up there. I like shooting the 13. Problem is with this shot, you normally want to get the cue ball up table, but you don't want to do that. See, he, he purposely kept the cue ball down low. Because 13 goes out of play. Was. Don't want to make the eight. Imagine. Oh, my gosh. Imagine making the eight right here. Oh. Ooh. All right, now Lee Van can get up there, try to bank the three. They'll fight over the three for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, unless he gets good on three, I mean, he can make the three if he gets up good enough on it. I mean, it's got potential. Pool potential? Yeah, pool potential. That's a shirt. Nope, it is not. You know what you get when you make that shirt? People like going like this. People looking at the shirt going like. <laughs> What does that mean? Well, you got to add something so they understand. Eh, only, Trying to make the only eight, pool I guess. players would buy it anyway. Wow, look how this turned out. Wow. Already a little drama, and it's the, the first game. Yeah. This set's going to be much shorter than the last ones that we watched because a race to three and a race to four are. It's amazing how big of a difference it is in length. Yeah. Oh, we missed the whole 13. The three is not playable, right, as far as a cut shot goes. The bank shot lays real good for Oliver. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, nah, he's going to cross this over all day long. Uh, Frank, Shane ended up beating Tony 4-3. Uh, uh, to three. Long? Ah, yeah. Yes, you will wow. have to watch it tomorrow, Frank Pitcat. It, both of the matches that Tony just played were fantastic matches. Yeah, don't let the beginning of either match fool you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to myself go back and watch um, the first one because I was busy getting beat up on myself, so I didn't get to see it. I'll have to go watch that tonight. Shot there by Oliver. Don't yeah, do anything. No, Shane beat Tony. Don't do anything too complicated. The position is good for you as it is as good for you as it is for Lee Van. So Oliver just tickies the ball and Lee Van might do the same thing. Nudge this three ball out in front of the side. Ooh, off Ooh. the point. Just move it to his side. Look at these Filipinos with Fancy. the creativity. Fancy shots. Uh, he was trying to play it at his hole. He's <laughs> pointing at his hole right now. And Oliver's <laughs> kind of chuckling a little bit. Well, that would have been nice. Wait, what happened? Oh, he fouled. Oh, Lee Van told him to spot a ball because he fouled. What? What an honest call right there. Lee Van said he double hit the ball. Wow. And Oliver's going to win the game because of it. What an honest call from Lee Van Corteza. Shout out. Wow. To the integrity and character of this man. You got a playback of that? Yeah, we will. We'll watch it again. Was it that close where he double hit the cue ball? Yeah, apparently. Wow. Hey, what's up, Alex? Oh, yeah, definitely. T-Rex uh, beat Carlo. Definitely a double hit. Look. Was it? Well, uh, do you well, look push, at how he pushed. Look at how it, much huh? the three moves. The Q. The Q hits the cue ball. Cue ball hits the three. Q hits the cue ball again. Cue ball hits the three again, and that's why the three went so fast. Uh, you get what I'm saying? It just yeah. happened so quickly with all the balls so close together that it was tough to see.
Yeah, everyone would agree. Anyone that calls a foul on themselves, that's that's good especially stuff. in that situation. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, karma might reward him. Can he see this bank, or did Oliver get behind the twelve? <laughs> An eclipse of the twelve. There Someone buy that man a beer for being honest. <laughs> Apparently, he likes Modelo. I saw him having a Modelo yesterday. <laughs> Oh, what a shot. Almost thick enough off the 14 to go back at the hole, but catches it thin. Man. I mean, really, uh, if he would have made that ball, he has the, the would have had a 111 combo if he wanted it, but I almost like not, not making it because, <laughs> I mean, it's okay not making it. You got the ball sitting in front of your hole threats Oliver can't just fan off the four and go to the end rail now because of that third 12 or the, right the yeah hole. the 12 if you can see the rail first then that's what you do you twist yeah. it oh he or, it the three needs uh, speed was everything on that shot but ooh. he left he left the cut on the 12 for sure and Lee Van Cortez is going to be able to blast into the stack and open things up it's real thin but I think you got to shoot at it yeah. Especially if you're right-handed. I mean, yeah. He can spin the crap out of it and get it. You would just want to hit, hit between the, the 11 the and the 14. He came off the right side of the stack. That's not great for Lee Van. Leaves himself with a little twisty combo on this 15 and 3. It goes. It's not a hanger, but it's, I would think, high enough percentage. He's also looking at the six ball, maybe. The problem is, if you don't make the combo, Oliver's going to be able to put some balls on his side. Yeah. Oliver's not going to be running balls unless the four ball's dead, which I don't think it is. The one nine isn't dead. Yeah, nothing's dead out the stack, so I think it might be worth it to shoot this combo. Uh, it, Oliver Bay area, or is he sack? Sack uh, from... Uh, San Francisco plays out of family family billiards on Geary. Oh, there you on go, Geary yeah. and Collins. The corner of Geary and Collins. Aren't you special? Hey. <laughs> Depends. Maybe this four six this four fourteen is dead. Or close to it. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good too. You might be able to get a ball into that ball. You bank in the six? Oh, he's, he's just going at straight at the combo, and oh, he's going to no. jump out the window for it. Yeah, he is. Wow. I'd have rather bank the six at Yeah, those. use another ball to do it so that yeah. that way I can play the cue ball safe maybe. Right, yeah. Just roll the cue ball forward, and if you're going to hit it that light anyway, you could. And it was yeah. a dead one, obviously, because of the way he hit that. Speaking of dead ones, hold on a second. Yeah. How about the one nine end up? One nine. Look at the four, too. The four's going above the pocket for sure. Yeah. The one nine might be going out the pocket, and it is because he's queuing up at the 10 ball right now. Yep. Drawing yeah. back to the 14. We got a dead one, boys. You know, Jerry Johnson mm. never gets dead balls. Never gets them. All of his opponents do, though. Yeah, every single one, every game. If you're watching, Jerry. <laughs> never gets a roll. He's never had a roll in his life. And he's definitely under 650 Fargo. <laughs> oh, boy. 10 and country on mission. You know where I used to play after the APA League met up, or I think I was playing in APA at the time in San Francisco. We used to go to the Happy Lounge after after League, mm. which is a little bar with a single eight foot bar box in it. Uh huh. Um, and they would play tournaments there, like little sit and go tournaments. You get like eight people in the room. Let's play a tournament. It was really fun. Nice. Robert Ulo would just clean up on the field. Oh, that's oh a nice Oliver. shot. Oliver. That's a nice shot. Oh, my. Oliver Ruger. Does the four deaden up now? Or has it not moved? 
I don't know if he uh, he did roll up and and barely nudge the ball. I don't know if it got good, but if not, he's got the what is that the fifteen there? Yeah, the fifteen. That he can bank. bank to his hole and use those three balls as protection if he wanted to. Mm. If he makes it, then maybe he can do something with the eight or shoot shoot those. Willie Dills says Happy Lounge has a diamond now. Hell yeah. Uh oh. Upgrade. That table gets a lot of play. Uh, Aton, I lived in San Francisco when I managed the Chevys in Emeryville. Right off of uh, off of I-80 right there before the maze. Yeah, I, I like the 15 better. Jennifer Rabbit, Chohan is the next match tonight, probably. We're going to do a little vote in the chat, though, before, just to confirm. Hey, do we have dinner plans tonight, Ms. Rabbit? Mm. Are you in town? Came up too high. Yeah, and he's going to leave a free bank with position for the 11 or 5. Any banks way too long. Wow. That was a missed opportunity there. Big time. The tables have been playing. Uh, it's kind of weird. Some of the shots just, you know, I think, I don't know, uh, maybe the cloth's a little newer. The, the rails are uh, pretty lively. Yeah. Some shots, it just tightens up. I mean, just tightens up. And then there's some that just go long to, if you have a little bit more angle. Oh, nice shot. And reward. I don't know. Oh, he made the ball? Yep. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I looked away for a half a second. That never works out well for me when I look away from the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's a recipe for getting roasted. <laughs> Never. Uh, uh, Mark, this is Randy Walker, a good friend of mine from Sacramento. He's a, a one-pocket enthusiast, plays out of the jointed queue, comes up to hard times quite frequently for some of the one-pocket tournaments we have. Mm -hmm. Try to be there every Sunday if I can. And yeah. then some of the bigger ones I've been trying to play in, get more experience. It's always good playing as many people as you can. Try to learn something from something. Oh, you know, boy. And do we play. have some good one pocket guys in, in oh, Sacramento? Yeah. Guys that really know the game. Ooh. Talking about playing good one pocket. Oliver Ruger just punishing the field. I'm telling you, man, it's that magic beanie cap. Yeah. If only I had hair that thick or could grow a beard like that, I'd actually feel like a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you can always buy a beanie. Yeah. I think he must wear the beanie to, to, to hold the hair back. Oh, for sure. Because longer hair while you're playing pool. He's got to be burning up. It, it is, is a whew. nuisance. Oliver Ruger just doing things that need to get done. And now he needs one. Oh, he could, he could shoot. He wouldn't come just a little bit more and he would have had that six ball nice and easy. Whoa easier oh he's playing the two hit it with speed yep oh my god look at how that lengthened out straight yep. to the hole wow yep. how does this guy play so good what the Oliver, 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 I've always known you were, I mean, ever since I've known you, I've known you're a solid player, but how do you just keep showing us the goods against these monsters, man? Yeah. And it seems like he's been doing it more often over the past what year? Yeah. I mean, he showed us first at the, the Chuck Markoulis one pocket. Yeah. 
He won that, right? No, he got third place. Oh, third place. He okay. got third place in the one pocket, or sorry, in the, uh... wait, back it up. Amar Kang. It was the Amar Kang. Took third place in the 10 ball, took third place in the one pocket. Yeah. Did he win one of the um, one pocket events? Did he mm, win like the, the Jerry? Jerry Johnson maybe? Or the John Henderson maybe? No, uh, Oscar won the John Henderson. Yeah, he might have won the Jerry Johnson then. And then uh, Tony won the Omar, Oscar got second. Yeah, we were, Hector Lopez and I were trying to figure out if he won like maybe the Jerry or something. I remember him doing really well in, in yeah. one of the one pocket, bigger one pocket events. Opponents who's, who he's beaten so far, in the 10 ball, Oliver Ruger beat Tony Chohan, Fedor Gorst, and Alex Pagulayan at 10 ball. And so far in the one pocket, he's beaten, let me show you, on the winner's side, where is he? Hmm. He's beaten Roland Garcia. Almost got Mark Vidal. And now on the hill against Lee Van Corteza. And I'll tell you what, in a race to three, I believe out there at the Amar Kang one pocket tournament, I believe he's beaten Tony Chohan in a race to three before. Already. That could, yeah, that, that could be. I'm pretty sure that's how he got oh. to third place. And Tony came back on the one loss side and beat him on the one loss side. I could be mistaken about that. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. A lot of pull hard to remember all the situational factors. Yeah. Ooh, did I not change Lee Van's score from the last game? Does he not have a ball here? Is there 15 on the table? Uh, 4, 7, 10. Looks like no, there's 15. Yeah, so Lee Van does not have a ball here. He just kicks out to the stack. Look at the speed control. Yeah. Look at the speed control when taking a foul. If you're going to take a foul, you better make it worth it. Oh, yeah. Can Oliver see enough of this three? He can to make a move. He'll have the three above the pocket. Cue ball in the stack. Ten ball in the middle of the pocket. Oh, He Oliver's does not want this to go. Oliver's. Yeah, he does not. Want I didn't that realize to go. which pocket was Oliver's. My apologies. Oliver's negative one as well. Thank you guys. I was giving you guys oh, all yeah. the score updates. Oh, he didn't put it. Oh yeah, the coins hidden on it's this right spot. on the yeah. diamond. Yeah. Yeah, with that three ball not falling, it put Lee Van in a spot where he has to kick and make this ball now, and he could leave uh, Oliver a uh, bank on the ten. If he even makes this, he's going to make it, but he's going to leave a bank. Oh, I didn't see the nine there. His head was in the way. Mm, unless he could see the 10 past it. Nah. Willie Dills, I think you're right. They made that table at, at uh, Family Billiards super duper, super tough. No, Jerry, that was Oliver's pocket. So Lee Van made the ball, the three ball for him, and then they spotted it because uh, Oliver owed a ball. Correct. I got to go tell Mike when our desert dinner reservations are. I'll be right back. Cool. Yeah, you got it, Jerry. Hey, again, guys and gals watching. Uh, I know Collins may not call it out on himself too often, but definitely give, show this guy some love and some some props for all the work that he and Mike is doing. And if you haven't yet liked and shared, 
uh, do so. I mean, you know, it, it, it definitely helps. Every little bit helps with like, likes and shares. Just takes a moment to do it. Plus, there's some outstanding one pocket going on. You want to make sure to let your pool playing friends and fam that may that maybe isn't already watching know that it's going on or remind them when a good matchup is coming on but uh post up has been doing an uh in combination with uh windows open has been doing an outstanding job so far here at the u.s open and it just goes to show so it looks like they've already secured uh, an agreement to do it again next year and it sounds like they're going to have some stuff in store that might make it even better which uh yeah gonna be tough to beat what they've done so far this year they've done a great job does sound like there's only going to be a couple matches left for the day and then it'll start back up oh look out that english carried that ball into the pocket can't believe he scratched there wow so he's going to go back to owen one we will get that score updated once Collins gets back. I usually know, I believe, how to do it, but uh, I don't have my glasses with me, so I can't see his control board, and I don't want to mess anything up. So <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait until he comes back. But uh, Lee Van will, is now negative two. Oliver can get a few balls here. He plays a layout right, which he normally does. Play his patterns really well. Yeah, Rob, Robert, uh, SVV versus Billy tomorrow for the hot seat. I believe they said it was going to start at 10, maybe 1030 tomorrow. Or since it's winding down, they might even do 11. We'll have uh, we'll get that confirmed, though. Might even be scheduled on digital pool to where you can see the, t the time. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Rare miss by Oliver. Um, and even worse compiled missed and left Lee Van a shot on the eight ball and then from there you can come up the 14 might go the three goes the 11 goes uh, Lee Van is negative two but he just made a ball so Still negative one. yep negative one for now He made a ball scratch in the pocket, and uh, Oliver had ball in hand. The two ball is roughly where it's at right now. Right. Oliver shot and missed it, ball Oof. in hand, and uh, left Lee Van the shot on that eight ball. Look at, this, look at how this result came. That's the ball's rough. Just flying right out in front of Oliver's hole. Yep. Wow. Wow. That makes it much riskier trying to shoot that three ball now. He's going to sh should shoot the seven over to his hole and just roll down to the bottom rail. Maybe Oliver even come and bump the stripe. Cool customer over there in the corner. He then grabs his extension. Going after the seven ball. Yeah. Gotta make it. Yep. If you don't make it in the way the balls are spread right now, Oliver don't mind playing himself some straight pool. <laughs> in one hole. Ball nice. down. Yep. Even with an opportunity to make probably five more. Almost cost free. 
pretty much for free, actually, now that the 12 is tied up with the 6. Yeah, he has options, too. If he gets a little out of whack, he can change up. Willie Dills coming in with a $10 says, I've never super chatted, but this channel deserves my first. Thanks for all the Oliver coverage. Everyone here in San Francisco is stoked to watch him kill it. Thanks for the quality streams, my dude. Thank you for sweating it at home, man. And thank oh, you for yeah. the $10. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Hey, Phil Water... Is that Waterman? Is that the Phil I know? Let me make sure on Facebook I'm talking to the right guy. He says, throw that donation link up on screen so I can send you some cash. I definitely wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, do you prefer Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App? Throw them all up. There might be others out there that have one and not another. Let me see. It. Let me see. Just hold in on. case. Hold on. Let's... Just since you asked, give me a second. See what I can orchestrate. What is going on with this dubstep? This is like next level dubstep. The song is called Hold Up. Hold Up. Let's change it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> uh. Nice, cleared the four ball, so he's got a nice bridge. Pocket the three, little left on there. Come back up for the five next. Oh, he drew it. Oops, Whoa. My bad. my bad, guys. I didn't. I meant to make that not visible until after. Got a Filipino stroke there. doesn't look like he has a angle to come back for the 10 so he may just have to slide over just below the side pocket for the four next yeah if you want to support the stream directly the best way to do it is direct through one of these three places i'll show you right after lee van corteza shoots this five ball and i'll get the ball count updated shortly there you are thank you for the inquiry let me know if you need to see him again you can rewind if you're watching on youtube the text links are in the video description, by the way. And it looks like I don't need to update the score nope. because the game is over. Game count update. That was a huge win since he's breaking next, too. He can secure this game. Got a hill hill match. We shall see, though. Where are you guys staying? The Rio. Right up the street. Billy Burgess, thank you, buddy, for the Venmo. Billy Burgess. Nice. If uh, if Randy end up, ends up wanting a drink tonight, I'll, I'll make sure that he knows that you paid for it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no drinking. That's right. Are Most you one likely. of them? Or are you? No, you're not one of them. Um, just taking it, just no. I yeah. Last last year I was here. I had one cocktail, but I see. I see. I, see. Um, I wasn't driving. So Frank Pitcat, I'm not as easily set up with Zell. I think I can make it happen, but I don't have it set up. Obviously not required, but greatly appreciated. Thank you for the inquiry, guys. Oliver Ruger. In a tough spot off this break, huh? Yeah. Actually, There's no real pack nice to break. stop on either. This is a really nice break. This is yeah. one of them spots where you might be forced to use the 11 ball, which is never, almost never feels good. Yeah. But, man, when it, I tell you what, when you hit that shot and you use the 11 and you go three rails back over and tuck it into this corner, it feels good. <laughs> I was just talking about sliding the cue ball down off the 11. Oh, yeah, you could do that. I like kind of, if you if you the have the right controls, angle. Speed controls may be easier with your shot, I think. Yeah, and I think that, yeah. And it just has that natural. I mean, of course you could scratch, but yeah. playing around. I've tried it several times, and I've come out okay, and I've scratched and yeah. come out terrible. So, I believe the score is 1-2, to two, Jason March. I think that was, March, that was the first game that Lee Van got, I think. Yeah, it's on Digital Pool. They're live scoring it. Yeah. Shows one to two. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, Willie Dills. Yeah, I, I've heard about that. Yeah, I hear you there. Yeah, and we got the post up swag at the merch store if you want a way to be able to get your uh, good shot, get, get your swag around. on, and support the stream. Really nice shot. Girl Tracy coming in, let me know they finally got meatballs, so I get a meatball sub. Yeah, that'll hold me over until my late dinner reservations. Tracy's awesome. She is great. They're all cool. Vanna's cool. I, I just yeah, met. Vanna's great. Van, Van, Vanna's Tracy got, last year, but Vanna's got a great personality. She's yeah. super interactive and super uh, positive. Oh yeah. What did he end up going with to get here? Oh, he uh, the the uh, what was it? The six was uh, what uh, ball was down? He kicked underneath it and okay. then spun down. He it was the, the six. Ball. Yep, and slid the cue ball down. He left the bank, and, and Lee Van hangs the 12. Did he leave a combo on this five ball? you got to imagine if there's any chance Oliver's going to shoot at it because he's a straight shooter. And if you get an opening against one of these guys, you got to take it. Yep. He's going to be bridged over a few balls, but which always adds a little bit more difficulty. I think it goes. I think it's laying pretty good for it, too. Lee Van just sitting back and watching. Ooh, it doesn't go. Did he block the pocket with the three and five? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. That little nudge might have actually helped a little bit. Yeah. Cyrus Green, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just saw that. Thank you so much, man. And Samir Elamad. Elamad. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wheel Does man, I know I heard that there was a lot of people that got sick at the other events, and uh, there's been a couple of people here. Yeah. I had something about a month ago back in Sacramento that was brutal for like two weeks. Oh, yeah. And it I might be the thing people. that's going around. But, yeah. Uh, I've had a bad, horrible spout with aller my allergies. All of a sudden, three days before coming down, hit me really bad, and I've been suffering with them. Like right now is the best I've felt in for the past five days, mm -hmm. and I don't feel a hundred percent. Yeah. Yesterday was rough though. I play I played nine hours straight with no breaks because my first match ran so long that we were behind. So nine hours straight pool with no breaks in between matches and then 10 hours of not eating and then my allergies going off to where my eyes were dry and itchy one minute and then watering the next oh where I couldn't gosh. see. I was like, Then you just miserable. decided to delay the SmackDown on Corey Duel. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how that match went, but uh, that's, that's pretty strong, man. It was, uh, well... So I told my wife who I was playing, which she doesn't know many, you know, many players since I've just come back to playing pool, right? She, uh -huh. It's not like she's been hip to the pool scene. Yeah. Um, but I told her, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to lose. I'm about to get my butt kicked. Right. And she was like, why do you say that? Have, you know, have faith in yourself. I'm like, I do, but you don't understand who I'm playing. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, uh, and she said, well, you never know what can happen. So I was down 2 nothing, and I think he needed a ball. He needed one. I needed two. Um, and he's up 2 nothing, race to three. And uh, Hector asked me, have you eaten today? You know, eaten. We ate at like 9.30 yesterday morning. We got a breakfast burrito here. And I, I looked at him and I said, no. He's like, Jesus, you want me to order you something? I said, no. I'm about to lose. I'll get something in just a minute. Corey's down shooting a shot. I'm about to lose. He doesn't make the shot that he's shooting. Uh -huh. We go back and forth on a couple rounds. I end up winning that game. And then the next game, uh, it just, uh, I, I broke and laid down a good break. And I just kind of plucked my way. And I, he left me a shot. And I just said, you know what? Just shoot, make Just some go balls. after it. Something happens, happens. Yeah, yeah. And, and apparently, I, it happened. Yeah, and I, I just, I told, I said that I told myself, I want to just 
I just want to play my game when it comes to ball pocketing at least once playing him, whether yeah. I lose or not. I yeah, fully yeah, yeah, expected yeah. to lose. And I just started. I didn't stay down on balls too much. I didn't think about anything. I just got down. I took a couple practice strokes for the most part. And once I felt comfortable, I just shot. And I just started seeing the lines of stuff. And then I, yeah. before I knew it, I like ran five balls and then, you know, played a safe and yeah. ended up winning. And now we're heel, heel, him breaking. And he puts down a pretty decent break. I make a shot to kind of get out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then we just went back and forth. But he left the shot um, four ball on his side of the table four balls at up just below the first diamond on his side um almost frozen on the rail eight balls about six inches up above that then he's got balls over by a side pocket there's several balls spread open in the middle of the table um and i decided to go and he leaves me in my pocket yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. decide to go ahead and i looked over to the table there was no other shot that was going to be easier, and every safe that I looked at was too tough. Was tough because of the ball position. I couldn't put him anywhere, and I know how he shoots. I yeah, couldn't move yeah, my yeah, shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, "I'm, you know what? I've shot this bank, you know, a hundred times. I know I can make it. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. I, if I miss it, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Everyone watching knew it. I knew it. He knew it. I shoot." I banked the four, cue ball here, four ball right here, yep. eight ball here, other balls. He's saying cue ball here, four ball here, other balls up here. Yep, all over and the then place. He just banks it back in his hole. I bank the four back. I come up. I get shape. I run. I start running now. I run all the way down. I need one ball left, which yep. is the eight ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave the cue ball almost on close to the rail almost straight across from the eight yeah 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 i get down i knew it's my game ball stood back up for a minute took a step away took a breath got back down hit the shot as soon as i hit it i said i made it it's coming over coming over comes a little high hits the tip boom boom he gets it out we go back and forth now he runs five balls i'm thinking I'm, <laughs> that was my game ball i'm about to lose i'm gonna be sick so we get back and forth, back and forth. Uh oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Get look out! out. Did, it, did it roll just enough? It rolled just enough, I think. Unless he can spin it. Oh, but there's no way he could shoot this. He's like five one, right? He's gonna have to get the. Yeah, I don't know if he can shoot this. So you just faded some adversity in your set. That sounds that's entertaining, oh, man. It was it was hey, crazy. Hey, I want to give a couple of shout outs in the in the chat. Uh, Mariposa Q is coming in with a. a a uh, very oh. generous donation. Thank you so much. Mariposa Cues. Kyle Vandenbosch, Isn't Mariposa that Cues. With? That is what I play with. Those are some beautiful cues. They're man. beautiful I, cues. They feel good, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the pin on them. They've got a real unique wooden uh, yep. wooden pin. Wooden pin, butterfly points. Those are the two things. Also, but Kyle will make, if anyone's interested, just throwing it out there. Kyle Vandenbosch. Kyle Vandenbosch, He's Mariposa also, Cues. Shout out to Kyle Vandenbosch, Mariposa Cues. Just picked up a Don't Be a Knit t-shirt. Nice. And proven that he's not a knit. Nice. Yeah, he'll he'll custom cues. He'll put in any pin. Now he, I mean, if you want one of his wood pins, cool. But if you want to work with him, uh, he will build you what you want. So if you like a certain pin, and he does maple shafts, killwood yeah, shafts, yeah, yeah, carbon yeah. fiber. Oh my gosh, he's going. What's he doing? I didn't think that he. Do we just not know whose pocket is whose here? Maybe not. I thought, oh, Me too. This, that was last game. There's no, it doesn't matter which pocket it is. That, that's not going to work out. That's a sellout. Well, yeah, I think this is Oliver's pocket, right? Oliver's checking to see if this four ball is cuttable, but I don't think it is from where he's at. How about this shot? Get ready. Oh, there's not enough room here. I was going to say, if you can stop the rock right here, it sends the five this way, keeps the eight on top of the rock, and sends the ten ball two rails. But there's not enough room in between the two and the eight to make it happen. Oh, Do you see the yeah. shot? Oh, yeah. Yep. Little trick shot. Yeah, but there's barely not enough room to go after it. Doesn't keep the four ball covered up, so. No. 
Giving it's going bye bye. Of, giving up a little control to, to leave Van Corteza here. Excuse me. No worries. Yeah, he'll just get this out of here. I don't know if he wants to just leave the cue ball there though, and oh, he's going to kick. And Phil Waterman just received it as well, uh, the little cash up there, as well Ooh. as the uh, as Irvin uh, Simkins. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you. Oh, I think they're at, they're helping someone else with oh, back yeah. pain. Yeah, saw Stretching. that in the chat earlier. Gotcha. I actually find that the more I play pool, the less back pain I have. I actually have spina bifida of the fifth lumbar, which basically means, I'll show you on that, since we're waiting for the shot. Uh, one of my vertebrae, instead of it matching like this on the back, it, it goes like this, right? Mm. So one of my vertebrae is weak, and, and so the pads between it are more susceptible to being to like out. inflamed or whatever, yeah. you know? Um, so I find that the more I play pool, the less back pain I have, actually, because I, I'm constantly activating that that okay. lever and keeping it loose you know what i mean yeah 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 no spine stuff is no no it's joke. no joke yeah i had a spine injury in the 90s uh i'd have in my in my neck i had a surgery that that the disc in between the vertebrae blew out yeah so i had to have it replaced with bone and then a steel plate with screws put in yeah yeah it's a uh, it's no good no yeah. fun brutal actually Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> Oops. I was gonna say, yeah, if you people talking about oh do this, do that. If you happen to be in Vegas, there's a ton of massage parlors around that can get your muscles loosened up. I'm sure there are. There it is. Like on there. E like on every corner. <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> Just wait for the chat to eat that one alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My food's ready. Cool. I'm going to see. Uh... Oh, Mike's eating, too. I was going to bring Mike in here with you. It's all good. You don't want to eat on camera? Well, on the mic. That's oh. the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It's all good. You won't be long. Yeah, yeah. And then once you're back, then I'll go out. Colin's going to go get a little bit of grub, so y'all stuck with Randy Walker. I apologize in advance. In about two minutes. I'll cool. Right back. No problem. Chad Moore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're just, yeah, they're massage parlors. <laughs> I'm leaving it at that. All right. What's he going to do here? Nice shot. Got two of the balls out of there, behind the stack. I mean, Oscar, um, Oliver has a play out. If he can't tickle any, the stack loose a little bit, he could potentially play the 15 three rails towards his hole and, and bring the cue ball back behind the stack where it is now. Might be kind of tough. Stretch or with the bridge. Looks like he is just going to play into the seven and push that 13 down towards the four. Yeah, I like that. Got some blockers. Got another ball by his hole. It's been a good back and forth battle so far. Uh, SVB versus Chohan. Um, Shane ended up winning the match. So he will play Billy Thorpe tomorrow morning for the hot seat match. 
uh, sending, he sent Tony to the one lost side. Looks like another Oliver fan in the chat, Hugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Got some, uh, what's he gonna do here? Play up and play the bank, or is he gonna draw it back? He's gonna draw back, got a couple balls, depending on where he gets. Okay, there, get the 12 next. Come back a little bit and bump the seven. He might have the 11 after that. Passes it up, looking to see if the 14 or the five goes. The five definitely goes if he gets up high enough. No, Beato is out of the tournament. Nice shot there. Didn't even have to use the seven. Now oh, he can make the 11 here and run into the six and have the 15 next. Or he can make the 11 and go into the stack and open up, open it up more. Just uh, that many balls. Most likely he's going to have another shot next. But you never know. Weird things happen. So if he could do a controlled shot, even better. I think making the 11 and going into the 6 stops him there for the 15 plus the 6, clips the 1, pushing the 3 out. So that opens up another ball, maybe hits the 5, depending on how hard he hits the, the ball. He always has the 7 to bank and the 13 to bank cross as fail safes, it looks like. Uh, Roland Garcia, I'm not sure if Roland is still in the event or not. Uh, may have to check out Digital Pool for that one. All right, so Oliver's taking some time here to study what he wants to do. Let's see what he, he decided. Wonder if he was wanting to actually try to play off the seven to come back for the, behind the thirteen. But he's still got the fifteen to shoot. Now he's going to go into the stack heavier because it's more of a cut shot. If he doesn't end up with the ball um, out of the stack to shoot at next, then he can always bank the the, the thirteen and play it off from there. Woo! Too much spin. All right. So now he may uh, elect. Looks like bank the 13 at least towards his hole. Hold up the cue ball. Um, doesn't want to leave a cross bank. But he can definitely bank past the five. English get it thrown over there. He has a six as an option as well. It's keeping it over on the, the, the right rail. A little bit safer in that aspect. Which I actually like this. Me personally, I think I would shoot the six. Not I mean, This is just my personal preference and comfort level. I'd shoot the six only because I like coming off that rail and being able to keep the cue ball up a little higher and using the whole stack for protection. Yeah, that that's a good shot as long as he keeps it high, which he did. And if that's how he played it, that's like perfect. If he was trying to make that, he could have easily sold out a bank. But I'm sure that's what he wanted to do. Get the ball on his side. Uh, I know score is not going to be correct. Uh, Collins did step out to get a bite to eat. Let's 
So we're just going to watch for now. Uh, I am not going to mess with <coughs> the control board. He has way too many things in here. Looks like a DJ studio. If anyone does know the score offhand, go ahead and throw it in the chat. Dude, I'll tell you what, guys. Because I can't see the rack or the ball holder. I will tell you what, guys. If you're ever down at Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, check out that meatball sub. The bread they use for it is just absolutely perfect for that style of sandwich. It's so good. Yeah? I don't normally like a meatball sub. I might have to try one. The meatball good? It's decent. It's okay. not an outrageous meatball, but just the it's the type of bread with the you know the sauce has a, the right amount of flavor to it, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just real good. So Oliver's got four here. There you go. Yep. What the hell is this song? <laughs> I like this playlist because it has more variety in the music, you know what I mean? But it's a little bit too much variety at sometimes, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are we listening to now? Yeah, something way different. Something like that you might find on late night TV? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm not even going to comment on that, Mark. Oh, it's delicious, Mark. <laughs> I'll lick it up. It is delicious. Ch -ch 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 -ching. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You think Lee Van's going to just send him up table to try to play the long game against Oliver? Because obviously you don't like leaving him in the stack. That guy mm. can run balls, man. Yeah, oh, no. Nah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's going to happen? Little jelly roll, baby. Here Big we go. jelly roll. How good you hit that one? Lee Van, how good you hit that one? Too smart for the rest of us. He's telling him, I played it that way. Yeah, no. If you miss it, then it goes the other way. Yeah. And you still don't have a shot. Yeah. Up they go. Oliver being up ball count 4-0 doesn't mind it. Obviously, he'd like to have some balls down low and just run out and in this, but... You gotta play the score. Yeah. And sometimes, even though you don't want to, you're forced to, depending on what your opponent's doing. So Sometimes I wish I could have that wishly esh so I could do the the rifleman, Buddy Hall, you know? Oh, yeah. Got to play the score. Sc score here. <laughs> Tying up some stuff. At some point, when he has the right angle, he, I'm sure he would love to be able just to just to nudge that six ball away from the 14 so he has a couple things that he can bank if he gets the opportunity. Right now, his lanes are clogged up. Just going to get the nine out of there. Gonna hit the five. That tied stuff up more. Uh oh, did we lose? Did we lose something? Are we back? What happened? Choppy picture? Give me a second, guys. One second. It looks like I have a good feed. Yeah, Shane beat Tony. Tony made a nice comeback. But Shane ended up winning. 
Are you guys back? It looks like we're back on YouTube. It looks like we just got back. Dude, Stephanie Paul, put down the wallet. Coming in with a $50 super chat. Boom. Asking for the... Asking for the... And she's going to get it. Oh, the chat box isn't working. What is going on? The stream's just coming apart at uh -oh. the seams. Man down. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. A little louder, Collins. Oliver Ruger looking for that freedom right now. He's got a shot. He's in a trap. The eight ball's over the corner. He's going to have to shoot at this 15 ball. And if the two goes, you probably shoot the two. But if it don't go, you're screwed. Coming in hot. Fires it in. No problem. Fires it in. Honestly, if I were to see Oliver just walking, you know, out in the streets, I yeah. would think that he talks like this. Yeah, yeah. No problem. So a ball will go up on the spot that he made in the side pocket. And one ball for each player, right? Yep. So six to one is the score. Who else in the chat coming in with a 1999 from Steve Griffith doubling down on that freedom? Ooh. Free banks. Yeah. I go I go at this one. I, I slightly cross the ball, low inside spin, and punch it. Oh my god, Chris Knowles. What are you guys doing? The freedom challenge with another say that. fifty dollars. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Song's playing again after this, guys. <laughs> We've got to play it. We got to play through it at least two more times because that's a twenty dollars super chat and two fifty dollars super chats. Oh boy! You're gonna have to at least match that if you don't want the song to play. Do, do, do. Uh, Oliver has five. Everyone saying. Everyone says Oliver has five, huh? That's what they're saying. The, I thought he just made a ball. He did make a ball. I don't know. Oh, did, did I not? Four? Did I put the the five up immediately? Maybe that's what happened. May, yeah, I don't know. Let you can always out. check the yeah, check the rack. Out. Let me check it out for you guys. Oh, I scored it twice for him. My apologies. Hmm. This song needs wow. to play during the Billy and SVB game. Yeah, and Billy needs to come out with that red, white, and blue overalls that he wore two years uh. ago at the, <laughs> at the uh, Moscone Cup. No shirt. Did he have a mullet then, too? He did. I think okay. they both had mullets, yeah. No, that was two years. That was four years ago. Four years. I think. Look at this. He's got himself a shot at the six ball. Oh, Lord sent me a super chat while I was out. Shout out to Lords. Let me see if I can look it up and see what he said. Frida, super mullet. Do, 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 do. Lords came in with a twenty dollars, and he says, "Remember the first time you accidentally Whoa. bumped up against the washing machine on spin cycle, and paused for a little too long and felt guilty?" Oh gosh! I never felt guilty. I have no idea what you're talking about, Lords, but thanks for the twenty dollars. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So Oliver misses that six ball pretty bad. Is it going to sell out the game? Mm, no, he's. I mean, he's Lee Van's got a lot of balls that he still needs, but he's in a position to get four, maybe five, right here. I never said I was normal. <laughs> 
He'll have to decide what ball he's going to use to get back up for that nine. I like right here coming to coming across to the six and then gambling on the nine ball. One more time in the chat. Let's see him. Just the instrumental? <laughs> I don't think his username is pronounced Lords. Yes, it is. Here's his username. You can't fall for those tricks, guys. Okay, let me mute it real quick so I can tell him. Can't fall for those ones, guys. But I gotta love him for trying. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! Wow, he's not gonna get rewarded. No way. But watch that. Did you see that shot? I did not. Let me see it. Yeah, watch that back. Play that back. Makes a heck of a cut on the six ball, but he he can't believe. What just happened? As Teddy KGB would say. Oh, off the point. Off the point. Yowza. Yeah. It's been my gaming nickname for 25 years back when you could only have eight characters for your name. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. That's what this song is all about. It's about giving the chat freedom. When this song is on, you got to put the chat on screen. <laughs> Let the chat out. Wow, what an unfortunate roll there. It's going to... It's going to play the 14. You can't two rail this ball. The other balls are in the way. How would Teddy KGB do in Vegas? Teddy KGB's a nit. <laughs> right on, guys. Thanks for the super chats. The best chat in pool. Love you guys. Teddy KGB. Collins, you have a message, sir? Pay what that does this man. Ben, oh, Ben, that's a look at this What a shot. shot. Wow. Holy shot. Wow. <laughs> that's the one that we're going to kill the chat box on. <laughs> the last Mike design coming yeah. in. <laughs> okay, nice, dude. Speaking of Mike coming in, is he coming... He's chilling, man. He's chilling. After this match. Right. I'm go get me some grub. That's right. He's actually eating some wings out there right now. I said, you eat those wings, you're going to want to go to bed. He says, I know. I know. I got five on it for Kenny KGBC knit. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> uh, Carson. Jaffrey coming in with the five dollars. Nice. Stop mm, it. Oliver. Nice try. Nice attempt. Ooh, man. You think he's going to. Ain't no way he tries to cut this nine. Just get the 14 out of there. He's got to try. If he moves that fourteen out, he's looking. Well, you can you can stop the, or you might actually be able to play the one, play the cut shot on the one. And the cue ball goes back into the rail and kicks the three towards your pocket too, without yeah. the cue ball sliding out for the fourteen. Yeah, if he can hold it up. Or you can just stop the rock and play the one off of the three, bank both of the balls at your hole, uh, and have 
a gamble on whether or not you leave a bank. Yeah, I like trying to move them both over. I mean, yeah. I mean, it lays in a way where you can you can look like a freaking hero yeah. if you hit it good. Yep. Yeah, look, he's playing the, the carom. Or is it the kicking stick? He might be looking at the kick. I don't know. Both of them look good, so I don't know which one he's... I don't know if he's eyeing the kick or if he's looking at the carom. Like caroming the one and banking the three. Kick. kick and stick off, off the, the ball. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Did he leave a bank? Did he leave a bank on this one ball? Little tap at the table from Oliver, but I think Oliver's about to find out that this, the line here, lays pretty good. But the three is a big ball. This is tough. Being so close to the to the one to ball be able to too. get to the other side of the three is really tough. Yeah. yeah. Someone wants the definition of a knit. A knit is someone who only puts the chips in when they got aces. Hand the room. Find someone. Yeah, let's find a knit. Let's find us a knit. Where's Tony Chohan at? <laughs> I'm looking. It <laughs> sounds like Chris Cruz. Oh, that's rough. Oh, wait. Wait, guys. <laughs> Jackpot. Jackpot. Found one. <laughs> there you go. No, that's nip and tuck. They, you said knit. I still can't get over the, the deal where you didn't realize what he does with his hat and his ears yeah, until yeah, just yeah. recently. Chris Knowles <laughs> says, only play if they know they can win. No, Chris Knowles, they only play if they know they will win. A nit won't bet that water is wet. No way Molina's a nit. I'll tell you what, though, that guy moves like a. Anytime you come up with some type of bet with him, he moves like a, like a ghost. He always ends up with the the edge. You know what I mean? The slight edge. Like he, yeah. You can be a nit without. While always having the edge. Nit of the year. <laughs> he he needs to give up the edge a little bit more often. Oh. Did I tell you what happened when I was when we were betting on Carlo and Fetter? No. We're betting on Carlo and Fetter in the big uh, the big Predator event, right? Okay. And uh, before the match happens, uh, because they were doing sets, I said, "Man, it's not like I can, you know." He says, "He says, well, obviously Fetter's got a higher Fargo than Carlo. What are you giving me?" And I said, "He said it kind of as a joke, you know what I mean?" And I'm like, "Well, I mean, it's not like they're racing to 15. I can't give you a game, you know what I mean? You know what he says? What he says? Why don't you just bet your 60 to my 50?" It's like, okay, I don't know if it's that much of an advantage, dude. Carlo ends up winning, of course. But I gave it to him because I'm not a nit. I'm a fish. Well, nits, coming out, nits uh, come out winning a lot more than fishes do. Yeah, SB. Would you rather hang out with a three. knit or hang out with a fish? I'm an angler, so you obviously, know, you, you know my, you know my answer is the fish. Yeah, he sleeps with the fishes. What's up, Mike? What? This is no good from Oliver Ruger. Thank you, but no thanks. Okay. They're out there asking me if I want coffee. You want coffee? I don't drink coffee. No. It's like you that, just huh? need a shakes. Oh, whoa. 
I drink uh, my energy drinks. Can have three in a row and be fine. Drink one cup of coffee for some reason. I don't know what it is. Is this ball going to find it? It's not. And it pops out where Oliver can do something about it. And Oliver Ruger dodging bullets here. He left a really reliable bank there for Lee Van, and Lee Van doesn't get the goods. Mm-hmm. Who's in the booth? Can't figure out the vote. The voice. Well, you know him, Brandon Boatman. Who? Randy Walker. You guys have met, right? Brandon Boatman from Fresno. No. No. Oh, okay. You can move this. I do this. That. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Copy is for nits. <laughs> a real man, dude. He got a rail, boys. He got a rail and he left a, a trappy bank on the three ball. I think you have to shoot at the bank, don't you? And send the cue ball at the table. Mm. You got a big pocket. What else are you going to do, Randy? Are you going to roll just, up on the five? I don't know. if he, he could Maybe bank the five. If he can get enough on it, bank the five over. Oh, yeah. The five know. is Lee Van's pocket. No, but that's what I'm saying. Bank it away and uh, back. Yeah, like uh, that. Okay. So that way he doesn't sell out a bank cross bank. Uh, and he gets okay, back to okay. his side. Well, he left the bank on the five. Yeah, true. He can at least get it over there. I don't know if he'd try to make it in his hole, though. Then he leaves two, two options to bank back. That's kind of greedy, I think, with the cue ball. Not being able to get to the bottom of the cue ball. Unless you're just rolling the five out and just rolling up for position. Yeah. Or trying to, if he's looking to just hit the five up table and, and getting the cue ball over there to try to protect the nine. I mean, I know it's Lee Van Corteza, but what about banking the five, going after it? Banking it straight at the nine and sending the cue no ball rail. way up here. No rail. Do you know what I'm saying right there? Yeah. What about banking the five at the nine and just rolling the cue ball up here? Yeah. Because then if you make contact with the nine, you probably got a ball above the pocket and a ball below the pocket. And then what's Lee Van going to do? Shoot at the three? And then if you make it, you got all the options in the world. Yeah, that's true. No, you put a, you put your opponent into a pickle. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get it close to the pocket. We've seen how Oliver's been bank, banking them. So. Well, I definitely like that a thousand times better than what he just did. Yeah, he's... Because he didn't get a rail, so he ended up spotting a ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got to take the point off. You're good. A little crunching back there. Tearing up Colin's booth. Don't worry, I'll do that on Saturday. Ooh. Oh, when I take it down. Yeah. That's a... Is this hours, enough? hours of work to do put to do. Actually, all this, putting huh? it up is way longer than taking it down. Yeah, it'll take. I'll take it all down in about four hours. Putting it up took about twenty because of running lines and running cables and getting everything situated. Yeah. So got the bid for next year already. Correct. That's right. Yeah, we're coming Congrats. back. Coming back. I'll, I'll fill you in on. Some well of the, deserved. I'll fill you in on some of the stuff that we're hoping to do for changes next year. Oh, nice. Don't want to announce it because we don't have things lined up, but yeah. at least you'll, you know, kind of know it's we're, we're headed in the right direction. We think we're going to fill all the fields by changing, by tweaking a few things. Mm. Nice. Nothing wrong with that shot gets down especially if it gets down a little bit more is protected by the you know five, what maybe you know what oliver's got a rail first on the nine where he gets free position on a bank yeah is he even gonna look at it it's free right uh yeah because the way the cue ball comes off it's just that the only thing i don't like about that is the nine is so far from the pocket hmm. whoa never what mind. if you could just, just cut said, a ball in for yeah. free does he get the stiff bank? I think it goes, oh, guys. Yeah. God, he shoots straight, huh? And there's nothing wrong with drawing to the nine right now. Do you Don't do. go in the side. Came out of it smelling good there. Woo wee. <laughs> Look at the way these balls lined up.
John Mora in the foreground battling it out with Roland Garcia. Oh, there you go. I can't remember who asked. There you go. Roland Garcia is still in the tournament. Someone was asking about Roland. And Beato, but I, Beato I knew was out. What about two rel in the one ball? Those balls are kind of goofy. Can't afford to try to move one of those balls over because then you move the cue ball up. You go to the in bottom rail, fan something. He's shooting the three. All right. Yikes. So, yeah, if you're going to do that, why not just one, two rail to one ball? That was, uh, you had a chance of making it and still leave the cue ball there with the, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Because now you just added another ball to Oliver's side. You didn't, you didn't, um, you didn't position yourself better there. I mean, you didn't sell out a shot, but I don't know why you didn't two rail the, two rail the one, leave the three on his side up there. Huh. I think I'm still sending the one in that direction. I think I'm still sending the one in that direction and either draw into the short rail or yeah. sending the cue ball forward to the bottom rail. Look at this. Look at this. This yeah. is so damaging. High, low, got two in the center. You can't access the ones that are closest to the pocket. I don't know. He might be able to twist quick, quick pardon me, twist kick off the short rail to hit this 14 ball, but then you might not get a rail if you hit it on the wrong side because you can't gamble hitting it hard enough to guarantee getting a rail. Can you use the nine or the three to take any of these balls out and get the cue ball to a good spot? I don't think so. Mm, this is what we like to call rough. a spot right here. Lee Van is in a spot. What he does with this shot will massively affect the outcome of this game. Could potentially come uh, play through the four if he can drift the, the cue ball down between the one and 14 towards the pocket. Just mm -hmm. bank the four. Back up just a little bit. Just roll roll the cue ball Catch down. the nine ball. It's disaster. Yeah, just he like that. did not that. catch the nine yeah. ball. Nice shot. Nice shot. Fetter texted me 30 minutes ago. I think he's going live for a podcast. He says, yo, you busy right now? I'm maybe, like... Maybe he wants you to side bet on someone. I'm like, <laughs> could you not tell? <laughs> right. You're like, what, what, Fetter? You don't watch the stream? Yeah, what, are you not watching? Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, no. Not, nah, got actually doing something. I got nothing cool going today. on. Yeah. Maybe that was a sarcastic, are you busy right now? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, you know. Chris, Chris says, this is what makes him one pocket exciting to watch. It's also what makes it not exciting to the people who don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the problem that, that Oliver's stuck with right now. Almost all the balls lay good for Banks towards Lee Van's hole. Depending on where he leaves the cue ball, he can't leave the cue ball in a place where Lee Van can fire at his hole and get the cue ball clear of danger. Yeah. Whatever he does, I mean, if he could, if he could, yeah, he's just going to fan this nine and take it up table. Oh, he caught more of it. That's actually, I like that shot. I don't know if he protected the one fully, though. If he could see the one, he might be able to blast into the one, two rails, and it'll take out the 14 as well. I don't know where the one will go after that, though. It might stay there. Stephanie Paul is going off. So is Jennifer Rabbit. <laughs> Don't be a tater hater. <laughs> My chat is so ridiculous sometimes. What is he looking at?
Hmm. Almost looked like he was looking to try to bank the one and go into the 14. Yeah, just like that. Didn't pay off. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Oliver, make this one. Get roll straight up the table for the four next. Did we have a blunder from Levan Corteza? Yeah. He so the two balls that were by Oliver's hole, he tried to oh try yeah. to bank the one over. I, and that was the first the shot that I saw. That was the first shot that I saw, and then I immediately thought, "Good lord, that's risky." But if it works, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one ball needed to go over a whole nother diamond for it to have been a benefit. got a pocket this four ball oh gosh he hit that six ball earlier that same way he missed it by a half a diamond wow so the pressure man uh oliver should have six yeah six to five yeah and missed his seventh ball wow and look where he laid if he would have made that oh yeah yeah That was it. I mean, yeah, he, it. yeah. I mean, he laid up in a spot where this fourteen would have been a great bank for him to to get the ball at least real close to the hole. Yep. And now Lee Van back in a pickle. You can bank the three, and you gotta, I think, shorten up the cue ball just a touch to to kick the nine out of there. Yeah. Unless he's gonna kick. T the touch three it inside. You bank. Yep. Yeah, I like this. At least it's over there. Oliver has to think about it. Uh, it's bankable, actually. The way it's sitting, it's bankable. Yeah. With a flat ball. You got to make sure you don't collide with the 9 or the 14 so that the cue ball can go clean up and down to get clear of the, uh, the danger, you know? Yeah. Well, if you're going to hit either one, if you can hit the 14 he in the face, that's out. good. He just takes it out because of the traffic up table. Yeah. But I'm going to shoot out here the 14. It's the 9. You can twist it. Get it close. Cue ball is running over by that 4 ball, though. Or is that the 5? That's a 4. Do it. Do it. Twist it back. No, don't do it. See you, Chad. Thanks for stopping in. Here it is. Opportunity for Oliver Ruger. He is jacked up over the four if he wants to shoot at the nine, but I think he's got fairly good cueing if he wants to bank the 14 ball here. Yeah. And if he makes it, he's going to have a fairly free bank, free bank on the nine or six, <clears throat> depending, sorry, nine or three, depending on where the cue ball ends up. I thought Lee Van would just try to bank the nine ball straight back down, even if he comes down by the first diamond. Good shot. Good try. Watch it tie up the three. Look at yep. this. Lee Van's got to cross the nine. Yeah. It's a tougher bank. Unless you're Tony Chohan, he'd be kicking behind that three ball to his hole right now. Oh, is he going to spin the four over there? These are pretty shots when they work. It was heading that way. He didn't get it down far <laughs> enough. <laughs> Look at the dance. Yeah. Look at the dance. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Should get this ball pretty close. 
The question is, where does this cue ball end up in relationship to the nine ball? Yeah. Almost like bringing it over by where he's at now. Yep, right there. Because then even if you don't miss, it's a that's even a, better rolling down. Well, you leave a cut shot on the four. Yeah. Real thin. Up here would have been like perfect because that, that's a tough shot. He ain't going to shoot that yeah. shot. Probably just take the four out. Yeah, because he can't push the 3 and 14 over more that way and open those up because then he'll leave Oliver a, a one railer on the 9. A potential one railer. Going to have to bring the cue ball back over to that side rail. He doesn't want to leave Oliver a shot. Did pretty good. Did real good. Cue ball. Right on the rail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's just time to kick the four out. Yeah. Is Gris going to let you build a permanent booth there now that they have seen yours? I, uh, um, Brandon is planning to build a permanent booth uh, kind of close to where this camera is, actually. Good shot there. Lee Van might try the same shot, twist this four ball back, but try to get the cue ball tucked up behind the three. This second try at it, he might, let's see if he comes closer with it. Yep, he did. Better, <clears throat> better shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Much better shot that time. Lee Van keeping the upper hand now, even though he's got the... Uh the ball count deficit. Yeah. Yeah, he's keeping that pressure on. He's kicking it out the other. Oh, little double kiss action. Well, I mean, sometimes you can play that double kiss. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure if that was intentional or not. I don't think it was. I think he was just trying to cross the ball and send it up near the nine. Yeah. I think um, he got tired of seeing him twist that ball back like that. Yeah. Three railer go from here? We're looking at a cross bank? What's going on? I think he's looking at cutting the nine. I think when you get an opportunity like this, you got to go after it. Just put a bunch of high right on it? Uh, I think you just got to make the table. ball, man. I think you just got to make the ball. I mean, you can try to get there. Man, but with that four ball sitting right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. see, I was wondering if he was going to come down. Look, he might scratch. No, no, no. no. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now Oliver's got the upper hand. Oh, position. yeah. That, if oh he can yeah. bank this and miss the 14 ball, even if he doesn't get it in his hole, if he gets the cue ball up on that short rail, Lee Van's going to be in trouble. Got to miss the 14 here. Cue ball a little shy. Hmm. Correct, Leo. They cannot be shooting into the same pocket. Correct. Just going to come off the nine. Now you bank the three, right? Does the cue ball cut loose? Cue ball might cut too loose. Uh, yeah. Well, biggest concern is the way it lays. If the cue ball happens to clip the 14, I'd just be worried that it goes towards that corner pocket. Yeah. I mean, if you catch it. Yeah, because you're going to be cutting it so much. If, no, I think you're okay. If you if you just clip the 14, you're not going to scratch. You have to you have to you gotta get this ball close so full. you don't have to worry about Lee Van banking one of these other balls back at your hole, at his hole, I mean. Yeah. Well, if this hits the four, it's going to be really good. It's it's going to go in the hole. Ooh, Oliver says, I'm sorry. A little bit. But of, I'll take it. A little bit of fortune. If you send the balls in the right direction, things might just work out for you. Yep. Well, well, well. Oliver Ruger, ladies and gentlemen. What a tournament from the escape artist. Oliver Ruger. Betty's, yeah. 
Come on, you can't be that good of a person <laughs> <laughs> to be that upset over winning that game. You put yourself in the right spot, things just might work out for you. Oh, by by the time his cue goes in the case, it's a it's already done. Yeah. Being upset's already gone. Oh, it's, by the way, it's guys, like who's my next victim? <laughs> by the way, guys, are we going to watch the Tony Chohan versus Oliver Ruger match, or are we going to watch the winner between John Mora and Roland Garcia play Mark Vidal? Ooh. I think you got to take Oliver Ruger. Tony Cho Chohan. That's what that's who I would take, but I'm biased. Let's put it in the top of the uh, YouTube chat on post up. Let me grab the YouTube chat right here. And while he's doing that, I'm going to say peace out. Thanks I'm going to go get out, some Randy. food. Yeah, that no, always. I enjoy it. Thank you. It's always it's always fun. Chohan. Cho, 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 yeah, it looks like. Hold on, hold on. It looks like. I'm going to say that poll is going to be 72. Here's the poll. If you want to have some input, get to the top of the post-up YouTube chat. Who wants Tony versus Oliver? There's always going to be some contrarians. Oh, gosh, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm out. Later. It was fun. Thank you, Collins. Later, Randy. Anything? That was fun. No, I'm okay. good. Energy drink? I've got one. Coffee? I got water. I got energy drinks. Right. Oliver's going to take a little break either way. If you guys want to watch this whole table, you can check it out on the post up, or sorry, the Windows Open live stream, okay? This one between John Mora and, uh, and, uh, Roland Garcia. Spit it out. Spit it out. I can't speak. Do you want the door open until you start the next one? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. That's because it is. Here it comes. 86% in favor of Tony versus Oliver with 180 votes almost. Is SVB getting in a little action on the side? Lee Van is now out of the tournament. Yeah, that was one last side action, guys. Guys. Loser there takes 700. <clears throat> now it just depends on how deep Billy Thorpe runs. If Billy Fo Thorpe gets first place in this tournament, I think there's a chance that he overtakes Lee Van Corteza in second place for the all-around. But stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what, how the, the points tally up. Yo, Dave Gross. Dave Gross. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the Venmo, man. He says, you've got the perfect stream for a snow day. That's what I like to hear, baby. Yeah, tell me about it, Edie. The, ch the poll isn't coming out at 50-50. It's amazing what can happen when you put up a landslide opportunity. Tony on his way over to the table. Hey, want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, guys. Thank you for the support from our sponsors that uh, allowed it allowed us to throw together this event. Diamond Billiard Products for the beautiful Aramith Balls. One PKT for sponsoring this one pocket event. If you like this game, check out One PKT for some good ver good merch. Premier Billiards, the sponsor of our all around contest that we've been talking about the last few days. Uh, shout out to them. Check out premierbilliards.com if you want to, if you have any needs for billiard supplies. Town, town products of town chalk, town tips, and the town max rack. The official rack, the official template of this year's U.S. Open 10 ball and U.S. Open 8 ball championships. Uh, Fast and Loose Designs, Chris Santana does some great work with the, uh, Promotional material that we use for these events. Check them out. Also has some merch of his own. Uh, Michelle Griffin, Realty. Realtor. 
Michelle Griffin Realtor. Ask her if you have any questions or if you're looking at going into the into buying some real estate anytime in the next year, give her a call. She can answer the questions for you or hook you up with somebody that can fix you up. And of course our our title sponsor, Q Tech. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for everything you've done for this event. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Freedom from pay per view. That's what I'm talking about, John Disc. This event is brought to you free, and it will be next year. Rock and roll. I'm going to leave you guys maybe like right here. Oh, here comes Oliver. Here comes Oliver. There you go, guys. Leave you right here for a minute. I'm going to take a quick break from the booth. I'll be right back as soon as Tony's ready for the match.
Did my music stop? Oh no, it's just real quiet. Okay, guys. Here it is, guys. Last match of the evening. This is for 5th, 6th. Loser takes 5th, 6th. Winner comes back tomorrow for 4th place match. Roland Mora match is being streamed on Windows Open. You're welcome. Oliver is looking for his case right now. I guess his Q case has gone missing since the end of his last match. Which hopefully doesn't end up distracting him too much. he was looking for his socks yeah <coughs> pardon me Mike Bjorum uh, good luck with that take care of yourselves be careful No, he has his playing cue. It's it's just his case that's missing, and, and uh, hopefully he can sort it out. think he thinks he doesn't think it was ripped off by the way guys i don't think he thinks it was stolen he just thinks he's mispl misplaced it Mike and our good helper, Michelle Griffin. The ones that make it happen.
Looks like John Mora is sent to the rail. Roland Garcia moves on to play Mark Vidal Claremont on table 13 on the Windows Open stream. Oliver there now with, with Brandon. Maybe they're looking at cameras. Looks like they found it. I'm going to go get the inside info. Whether or not you guys get to hear the inside info might be another story. All right, boys and girls, we found it. We're good to go. Okie doke, everybody. This is the last match of the day. We got Tony Chohan versus Oliver Ruger. Gunning guys down, all the way down the one lost side. Oliver Ruger playing one last race to three for the day versus the man himself, Tony Chohan, who finds himself on the one lost side after playing a hell of a set versus none other than SVB. Let's get Tony Chohan's name on the board. Update the title of the video, and we're ready to go. Tony wins the break. We're racing to three. One pocket action. Tony's breaking towards this hole. So that means any ball that goes in this hole will score for Tony. Any ball that goes in this hole will score for Oliver Ruger. And I'll tell you what, it looks like Oliver's going to end up with an early score today. First player to eight balls wins. All the rest of the rules are just standard pocket billiards rules. Simple rules complicated strategy let's go and the 13 ball goes doesn't it 
Oh, and he gets on the 10 as well. This is looking pretty juicy out the gate for Oliver Ruger. If he can keep his stroke underneath him for a couple of shots here, he could do some serious damage. Update the title. Boom. We are there. We're, we are in. Folks, we are in. Oliver's going to overcut this 10 ball, and the cue ball is not going to get high enough to protect it. Oh, my gosh. Cue ball goes up high enough to sell out the four ball. Didn't even see the ball. Oh, boy. Tony's not going to be thrilled with that result. Don, I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. Tony takes his medicine. Ball count two to one in favor of Oliver Ruger. I'll tell you what, it is real tempting to fire at a kick into this stack, but it's so easy the cue ball to skip off the stack if you accidentally kick long. Ooh, it's tempting to kick at this three ball. Unless the corner's in the way. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, never mind. The spot is free. So since that ball didn't go into one of the player's two pockets, it's going to spot up. Da -da 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 -da. This song slaps. Oh, Tony firing at this two railer. Oh, is he gonna go? No, nope, short. Didn't really want that ball to go. I want to see if I can grab Mike to help sweat me on, help me sweat this last match. I'll, I'll be right back. We finally found one that works. Three, six, nine, twelve. First game, Oliver Ruger.
Nice controlled bank there. Knew exactly where the cue ball was going to go. Tony's going to have a back cut here on the 11 ball. I think he wanted to get that ball a little bit deeper, but he liked the way it laid. I can't say I blame him. Looks like you're going to run into the one ball here. Not what Tony wanted, but he did get another one down. Oh, shit. Pressing buttons. I shouldn't be pressing around here. All right. 2-2. Two, two. Tony's should just clear this 10 ball out. Tony moved the 5 ball there. He's saying, no, it's good. It's, it's, closer, it's closer on my side, and Tony's going to scratch. It's going to be a mistake. Let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me all right. I'm not even sure if this uh, mic's live or not. And I don't see anything, so I'm not sure the mic is live. Oh. Oh, loud and clear. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Nice starter for Oliver. Playing the one ball here. Going to get back down for the 10. He wants to get beneath the 10 ball so that we can come back out for the 5. Doesn't look like any of these balls play towards Oliver's hole. Hey, Stephanie. Hope you guys are all doing great. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. As Oliver gets another one down. He wants to widen that out. Good shot there. Now, where's he going to play to from here? Kid, has, he, has he got an angle to play into the pack? You don't usually see Oliver play that kind of style. He's usually pretty methodical. Pretty deliberate. Doesn't really take too many chances. He might just select to come up for a bank on the nine ball. Looks like it's off the rail enough to where you can hit it pretty well. And Unless this 15 ball goes... Balls again. Five, nine, four, five, six. I think he's got five. Let's see, three, four, five, yeah, ten. On the table. Oh no, no, that's that's what? it. That's it. He, no, oh, three, four, okay. five. Tony has one. Tony has one. Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. No, I was right. There's nine balls on the table. So yeah, five and five and one is six. Yeah. So five, five, one. Yeah. The two doesn't kiss off as. The 15 towards the hole, does it? Or does the 15 just it just goes? Great. Nice shot there. He's got a bank on the nine ball. I got gotcha. you. It's going to put him at six. He's got a bank on the nine. And like I was saying before, he doesn't like he doesn't play too reckless. He just kind of picks him off. He's got a he's, he's a European player. He's got this like snooker background. Doesn't really, you know, want to move things around unless he absolutely has to. But he makes sure that whatever he is going to do that, you know, it's. His He's execution percentages are realistic. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a nutshell, I mean, like, <laughs> that was a little that's long. a little long. Yeah, but maybe tough to avoid the kiss. Yeah, the angle looked just a little bit funny, and I think I, I'd rather hit it like that than trying to shorten it up and maybe double kiss it, let the cue ball get away from you. You know. So he's got six. Tony's one. After Tony fouled on his last shot. Wow, and look at the way he crossed that ball over. Nice shot there hanger, from Tony. Guys, that shot was a hanger. Trust me, every time you try that shot, it's going in. What is going on in the chat?
Hey guys, quit being selfish in the chat. Let's hang out. Stop trying to show how much better you are at this game than everybody. <laughs> just, um, just everybody relax. I'm feeling attacked here. <laughs> Tony looking to steal this game. Really going after it here. I love the way he plays. Oh, this it is five to oh my god. Five to six right now. Okay. Should be six to six. What if you are better than everyone? Huh. Look at the way he played that one. Just a master class. I want to get this run on replay if we can, buddy. This is why he's asking. He's Tony. He's asking what he needs. He only needs one. Hey, uh, Hulo Mucha Muchacho. You're definitely one of the guys that needs to calm down. <laughs> okay. So. Hey. All right, hold on. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Two. Crazy. Oh, sorry. Watch this next one after this. Hiya, dude. That's it. Okay. This is off the break and the return. Thank you, sir. Everybody behave. Stop just stop waving your you know what around. We'll just have some chill and watch some pool. These are the last two matches of the day. Well, I say two, but this is the last match of the day here on the TV table. Yep. The nice other the there. other matches in play as well. Roland Garcia. Defeated John Moore in the previous round. Now he's facing Mark Vidal. Look at Tony right now. Look at Tony. Oliver's just completely littered his pocket with just morsels of delight. And Tony's actually thinking about banking the seven ball. Litter, <laughs> littered his pocket with morsels of delight. Yeah, look at him. Look at how good they look. Huh. Okay. They look so tasty. Oh, my God. Okay. That's so sick. Did he leave a shot on the 15, though? Okay. <laughs> Littered his pocket with morsels. Okay. I'm right. trying out my inner Pepsi, man. Okay. I'm in another dimension. Littering his pocket <laughs> with morsels of delight. The silver break. Another silver break. <laughs> I have a way with words and no one... It, well... I'm not, I don't really care if you guys like it or not. <laughs> Is that, do I get a say in that? I know what you like, uh, Mike. Don't uh, act like you uh, don't. Uh, don't act like I don't know what you like, Mike. Hey, I think you got the score wrong there, buddy. You got Oliver on one. It should Whoops. be Tony at one. Where's the cue ball going? Huh. Get on the five ball one time. Why not? I mean, he's on it, but I don't know if he's on it. You know what I'm saying? Then he ain't on it then. No, he's on it. One shot for glory. He's lost the plot. 
Oh man, Oliver, 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 Oliver! Do not, do not marry up on this stripe. Don't scratch either. That would be brutal. You shoot the combo? Whoops, sorry. You're so straight here. Do you shoot the combo? No, I'll back cut the ten. Like back cutting the ten here. I'm a sucker though, so I mean that's just me. I don't. Nothing else goes on the other side of the stack. Maybe the eight goes. Oh. That. Get above that seven. And he's got an angle to get to the nine. This is why Oliver Ruger has been going deep in these events. When he get, gets an opening, he just keeps things simple, makes the shots he needs to make, gets lucky when he needs to. You gonna be all right? Do you want to step out of here? You wanna go lay down? No, I'm just a little sick, but I'll be all right. All right. Yeah. Okay, what do you got up here? What's he? What was he trying to do? And, I don't and know. Where did he end up? Plot. He's lost the plot. So. It's a Carl Boyism. Yeah. Boyism. Carl Boyism. Yeah, Daniel, he definitely ate an edible before saying morsels of delight. <laughs> <laughs> He's Fires gonna... at the combo and comes away with a bank. And he can get, he can finish off the run here if he banks his 14 ball in. Do you let the cue ball go? You just saw Tony run. Whatever it was, seven from nowhere. But like for the the, yeah, I don't know. I think you can hold it. Well, never mind. You want to throw the fourteen long because it's close to the rail, so you got to put a little bit of outside spin on the ball. Otherwise, you got to cut it so thin. See, so we're down to four, six players left. We'll, we're down to we're down to four. We'll be no, we're down to six. We'll be down to four after this round. Correct. Yeah, this is the last round of the night. I think it's time to go after it, man. No, no, it's not. He it's not. It's time to respect the fact that you got six balls. You're playing against Tony. You got a chance to make it into the final four. What did we say before we started the tournament? Where we pegged Oliver and where he'd finish at? I said seventh, eighth on average. Yeah. Well, maybe he should have went after it. <laughs> He's playing Tony Chohan. Tony comes up with nothing, though. Look at Tony, man. How good do you hit that to not get rewarded with anything better? Hey, look at this. Man, Tony's got... Tony's got things to do. He's got <laughs> he's got places to be. He is not messing around. This is pretty gross. Oliver really didn't make like any mistakes no. last. He's, he, the last game, Tony but comes out know, of nowhere. And I'm not. I'm really not just saying this. Like, that's kind of the reason why I thought it was time to go because he had a spot. You no, know? I see. I, I I don't mind the way he played it. Tony came with a great shot. You just tap your cue and say good shot. You know. Plus, it's not like that wasn't the game winning shot. And it wasn't even a game losing shot. Tony's just doing Tony things like like the one pocket alien that he is. He's a little flat here, so this may be the end of the run. Tony's got a game to go fire at or something. 
Okay. And then you both needed two. Yep. It's crazy how how he gets all those balls from that spot, man. You know, after just coming with like a highlight one. Shannon. You know, like. Shannon, stop it. Like, it's crazy. To, to, Shannon, come, to come with that with that run out in that spot. Yeah, in that spot is sick. You just develop it from nowhere. Like there's, even if, even if the balls lay in an optimum position, there's certain guys who play elite one pocket that aren't even gonna go after it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because they don't wanna risk too much. Tony's just cold-blooded, man. It's sick. Shannon asks you, how many times do I have to tell you to stop doing this? Look out, look Got out, look ball. out. Oh, well, Tony's gonna have a bank oh, in with his ball. Oh, 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 oh that makes a difference. This. That makes a difference. Now, can Tony get after the one ball here? Can you go back up top? There you go. Now it's on the spot, Tony. Shannon Askew says, here's for all your hard work, this is Collins even. and Molina. What, is it? what happened? What did I miss? She sent a nine ninety or ninety nine ninety nine super chat. Stop it! No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she, she said, did. Super appreciate all you do for us pool junkies and for free. We appreciate you're it, a Shannon. sicko, Shannon. We appreciate y'all for hanging out with us, and we appreciate the the support, without a doubt. It is not easy. It is not easy to uh, do what Tony's doing in back-to-back -back games in this spot in the tournament. And Tony's doing them. He's not thinking about doing what I think he's thinking about doing, is he? Okay. No. You, you thought he was going to come around three rails? No. After banking the 13 ball? No, I thought he was thinking about doing something with a kick shot. Oh, no. He was thinking know, for too long, you know? He, I start getting no, scared. Listen, you, that's the kind of stuff you do. That's why I always want to gamble with you. <laughs> that ain't the kind of stuff that Oliver Ruger does. Old Pistol Pete. Tony going for the three railer himself. He's gonna make the ball. Oh, oh my god, god dude! He's gonna make the ball, Tony, man, dude. How do you beat that? I don't think it's possible to beat that. You know what I mean? No, no I don't you... think you can beat that. He's in dead punch. He was just sitting down for an hour and a half, and he's in dead punch. <laughs> Hit the replay button, son. Something ain't right with that guy. And it's just like, he looks so indifferent when he hits the ball. This is Looney Tune Land. You just over here trying to ruin your clip? <laughs> you did. You did. You did for sure. It's crazy. Tony just stole those last two games. I, know, I mean, he just stole them. Complete, completely heisted. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't think Oliver played. I don't think Oliver played I bad either. I don't think he played a single shot poorly. Yeah. A single shot that he shot at in this match. I don't think he's played bad. And that's what I mean by like, how do you beat that? I don't know how to beat that. Yeah. When a guy's just doing that, I yeah. don't know how to beat it. No matter how, no matter how good you play, I don't know what decisions you could do that are better. He's sending this ball right into the stack, punching to miss the double kiss. 
and trying to send some balls in his. Oh, he's kicking that. Why not just make everything dude, you shoot come at, dude? On, get out of here. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. What in the world are we watching right now, folks? I've seen some like exhibition stuff from Tony, but this is this, this is, is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. It's offensive. It's offensive, <laughs> yeah. What the yeah. hell, dude? I'm sorry. Ike just says, whatever, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And look at the where the two and balls are. Why gonna not go. just read the stack perfectly to, to litter <laughs> litter balls in front of your hole and not give a window to them? Yeah. What the Did he sprinkle his pockets with morsels of delight? Yeah. I would, I would have said littered, but oh, my God. And Oliver's just it's like. crazy, man. Yeah, come on, Oliver. Just play better. Look, he said, wow. Yeah. He just said, wow, there's nothing here. There yeah. is nothing here. How do you not sell out? Find a way to not sell out, Oliver. He's just going to knock the six into the eight, maybe, and try Good to get a little lucky. And Godspeed. Oh, no. I like this shot. Keep it simple. Oh, oh. unless it goes in the hole. Yeah, I mean, Why it's not? like, it's so sick. When it's meant to be, Tony Chohan, it's Look meant at to him. be. He just doesn't know. I mean, he's just laughing like. He lost the match in, in 15 minutes. You know? And he, and he didn't make any mistakes. Except, well, that was a mistake. But the first two games. Was that no, a mistake, though, or was it forced out? Well, you know what I mean? Was it I like, guess it depends how you look at it. Would that be but... an unforced error or a forced error? It's tough to say in that spot. That was a ridiculous spot to be in. Oh, look at this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think, I think he played it that way because he knew I he had a big I think he played pocket. it like, like that, but he, I think that might be the end of his run after the two ball. Is he cutting the... No, he's not. What's he doing here? Excuse the hell out of me, Tony. <laughs> Sorry about that. That is not the end of his run. I'm just going to shut up. Dude, it's just silliness, dude. <laughs> he just sets up on the good side of the balls. It doesn't even matter if he has a shot right here. It's don't, like, don't tell me that 3-9 in 14 ball is dead. He just looked don't at it. Don't tell me that 3-9 14 ball is dead. He's throwing it into the dead spot. And diving Stop behind it. the 15 ball. Didn't Stop get the it. cue ball down. Oliver's going to have his first shot of the match. He's got a chance to sprinkle morsels of delight into his pocket. No, I, I can't. I, I can't stop it. Tony has four here, guys. Can't stop it. Uncle Phil coming in hot. Okay, well, he made a good shot there, and things are sprinkled quite nicely. <laughs> one I forgot he scratched Man. brutal dude whoa the pulling around show coming in the, the chat with a $50 super chat you guys are disgusting the pulling around show go check out that channel on YouTube they do some nice little interviews of people throughout the community not just pool players T-Rex made a ball on the side and needs to get spotted. Well, we're going to find out. So you're saying Tony has three? I don't know. It's up to Tony to not, you know, it's up to each other to help hold themselves accountable. So what happened? What are you talking about? Someone in the chat says that when Tony went into all those balls, a ball went in the side pocket. And so a ball needs to get spotted. Oh. Yeah, we don't. We ain't getting involved in that. No. This computer's just trying to cool down over there. It's trying real hard. Getting a little overheated.
Oops, he sold out. Oliver Ruger's gonna get a chance to swing back. Well. He is human. Oliver helping keep score. Oliver just handed, if there was a ball that went in the side, Oliver just put it on uh, Tony's side. So Two, I don't. Three, four, five, six, seven, it's eight, up nine, to the 10, players. 11. Oliver says, I don't care, I'm gonna run balls. No, no, no. Don't want to tie that ball up. It's not what you wanted to do. That completely... Uh, you're, not, you mean you're not done yet. You're going to come back up for the 11 ball or the... Uh, it eliminates the possibility of a pure run out, though. You got to come with something creative at some point to... You got to come with your Tony Chohan. Yeah. He sure does have a nice cue ball, though, doesn't he? Oliver yeah. finding the proper line. Oh, can you bank the one? Yeah, I think the one banks from here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it can go clean to the pocket. We got gifts. We got gifts. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. We got the gig for next year. We got to take a photo of that thing. With Jennifer Rabbit's face in there. There you go. Oh, hold on. Let me. I got it. Get my arm out of the way. Am there we go. Picture? Hopefully so. Hopefully so. There you go. <laughs> Just me making a funny face as usual. <laughs> there we go. Sick. That's awesome. Jennifer Rabbit, you're the best. She's a sweetheart. Look at that shot there from Oliver. Now, does he have angle? Tony's just helping him out, get dialed in, making sure where that cue ball is going to go. I think he thought Oliver was out. No, 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 no. I think he was just checking the line where the cue ball's coming off. Three, six. Six on the table. Oh, no. The pressure. The pressure, just, it's too much, man. Tony's been firing. Even when you get an open shot, it's tough to get there. When you know the guy in the chair is just... Gunslinging. From another dimension. Yeah, stick to Batman, pal. Pepsi impersonation needs a, needs a little work. All right, this is basically the game winner here. He hit it great. Oh, but, but not, not good enough. enough. Well, it's a game winner probably for Oliver then, in that case. Wow. A bounce. He needs, he needs angle. What's he playing for, Collins? Two more. Sure. Why not get on the nine ball? It's cool. I don't think the nine goes, dude. Well then, no. Did he get on the four then? I don't think so. I don't think either ball goes. I 
That's it. He's going. He's gonna make Tony's ball, here. and this game ain't over yet. Oh no. Yes, it is. Oh no. Tony makes a face. He knows it. Oliver says that's good. He's not conceding the game, but he's he's saying something to him that's oh. kind. What a real class act. Oliver, or Tony's gonna have to come with a shot on the uh, the four ball probably. Got to got to get a real good angle on the four ball here. Unless he plans to bank the eleven. Tony said, don't worry about it. Just stay over there. You're good. Maybe he plans to bank the 11. Here it is. For the dub and a spot in the final four. That's it's going long. long. It's laying up real close to the pocket, though. This game is so cruel, man. How he can just turn, you know, quickly, yeah. quickly. Should be seven six, don't or er, Oliver. That was Tony's game ball. Can he fire this off the table? I mean, in theory, he can. I don't think he needs to, though. Neither do I. He can just Dig take it, it out. Yeah. Oh, baby. That's game over. That's all she wrote. Oliver shakes his hand. Catches the double kiss. Well, good run, Oliver Ruger. Good tournament. You can't win every match, especially when the guy that you're playing is just absolutely. It looks like he's just playing like a kid in a playground. You know what I mean? The good just thing playing is around, doing case whatever the time. hell he wants. Good thing he is, is what? His case. His yeah, case. Oliver found his case. Yeah. That's right. All right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. If you want to watch the last match that's running, it's on the least accessible table for me with my cameras. That's between uh, Mark Vidal, Claremont, and uh, Roland Garcia. You can check that match out on Windows Open on Facebook. But until tomorrow, you guys have a great night, all right? I had a lot of fun today. The Super Chats were outrageous today. Just absolutely silly, you guys. Let's end the day on a good note with the... Oh, my God. Chris Knowles. Oh, my God. Chris Knowles. This is all I have to say to you, Chris Knowles. We got the freedom for the outro today, guys. Freedom! So fresh, so new. Freedom! It's all for you. It's all for you. Freedom! Keep your ears to the ground. Talking about the freedom! It's the best show in town. The best show in town. Freedom! Stephanie Paul, stop it, guys. You guys are absolutely, absolutely ridiculous, dude. guys doing another 40 <laughs> you guys are just sickos you guys are disgusting it's all about man we're here to have a good time we're here to watch some great pool we're here to love the game that we all love one pocket dude the 
chat will always win. It's always going to be you guys. Cutting the stream in 30 seconds, guys. <laughs> Cheers. I'm going to go have a drink on you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. We're back for the final four tomorrow to crown our U.S. Open one pocket champion. We'll see you guys then. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Check out the rest of that match, this match, on uh, Windows Open on Facebook. We'll see you later.